payment terms provided with each advance and available from Community State Bank. If you like bumping and grinding, this Sunday short track Nextel Cup race is made for you. Presents the Food City 500 live from historic Bristol Motor Speedway. Brought to you by the Chevy Colorado Crew Cab, Set Pro Network, BestWesternTexas.com, eSurance, and by Sports City Cafe. Coverage begins Sunday morning at 10.15 with our pre-race show on DFW's home of NASCAR and Texas Motor Speedway. What was the smell of that dirty dog in that present he left for you on the living room floor? Don't let yet another year go by without getting the help that you and your dog deserve. From man's best friend. They have boarding and training and private lessons available. They work with all behavioral problems from housebreaking to chewing everything up. They teach obedience training, socialization, and home and family protection. Kelly, did you also know that they install underground pet containment systems to keep your dog in your yard or out of your flower beds. And they give free brush-up training whenever your dog is boarded. Maybe going out to spring break. Maybe you want to go party somewhere. Make reservations because they will be full. Nothing better than boarding your dog. Give man's best friend a call at 972-988-0991. Or you can go online to mansbf.com to learn more and sign up for their newsletter. Get in the zone. Auto zone. Hurry to AutoZone right now during our spring car care blowout for incredible blowout prices on the stuff you need to keep your car running right. Like Pennzoil, conventional motor oil, now only $1.77 a quart. That's right, only a buck seventy-seven. Plus, great car care products like Kit Carnuba Car Wash and Wax, just $2.99. And that's just the beginning. Come into AutoZone's spring car care blowout now through April 10th and get unbeatable savings. Get in the zone. AutoZone. KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, live 105.3, The Russ Martin Show. And, and, and you use a daycare service to watch your herd. <laughs> My herd? That's a nice way to put it, I guess. Um, yes, I do have a daycare center. And, and that doesn't bother you knowing that you're leaving your children with the strangers every day. I don't leave my children with, with strangers. I leave my children with people that I know and I absolutely trust to take excellent care of them. Mm -hmm. and, and how well did you know them when you handed your newborn to a person you just met? I did background checks and all those things. Right. And, and background checks always pan out, as we've seen from bus drivers. <laughs> no, but I think you need only look at the news and see other mothers who are home full-time with their children and cutting off their arms in some cases to know that... Now that's Child a, staying home with a mother isn't necessarily always perfect what, either. What did she just She's say? She's talking about the plain old mother that cut her baby's arms off. That's what does that got to do with this? Nothing. No, it means it, what it has to do with it is that not not always is having the child home the safest thing. Not either. always, but not you can't always? you can't throw out a nut and say all that's mothers are nuts and cut off their baby's arms. That's absurd to bring up, and I can't nuts. believe you would even throw that into the conversation. Oh, but obviously, you're, you're losing. Trying to <laughs> insinuate that putting your kids in daycare is bad for them. Stay it is not. not I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's not the best thing for a child. A child doesn't need to adapt to your lifestyle. It should be the other way around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's not necessarily true. That's yes, it is. That as a parent, you should eat the Isn't food. Isn't it amazing? All these women yeah. that, right. that have these jobs that also have kids, they don't. They, there's no way they're going to see the other side. Mm -hmm. No, you can tell the argument's going poorly because first she points her finger at J.D. And yeah. then she starts talking about, the, well, what about that lady that cut off her kid's arms in Plano? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what does that have to do with well, that? Well, why don't you throw this thing out? Mothers should never bathe their kids. Look at Andrea Yates. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, took, I took a bunch of songs and I, I went because I was going to cut up a bit of like Brokaw doing some of his yeah. favorite songs. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just funnier at the house. It doesn't really seem to play out well. And, uh, There's a guy that says you gave him a heart attack yesterday doing the Brokaw bit. But <laughs> by the way, he did on the email here. Uh, Russ, a few years back, I remember a news story about a woman who suffered from seizures when she heard Mary Hart from Entertainment Tonight speak. I passed it off as just a crock. Then yesterday, while driving home, I was listening to you, as always, and upon hearing your Tom Brokaw voice, Minnie Lee busted out in laughter, accompanied by a squeezing sort of pain in my chest, <laughs> slightly up to my neck. I think the sound of your Tom, Bro Tom Brokaw voice actually made me suffer a slight heart attack. I'm 29 in good health, so the only explanation could be the one above. 
Not only does the voice make women run over Jaguars, it makes guys crash off the side of the road. It actually may have made my heart explode. Sorry to hear that. Make a disclaimer. should be run before you do the dump roll call again. He's from Austin. It's uh, Carl Meyer, Austin Community College. Which one would you like to hear? Would you like to hear... Uh What I did, I was looking for songs where it had words that Bro Call could normally do. Oh. So that was most of them. Let me try this one. Like Bon Jovi? I love you. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier at the house. It's not funny here, so I'm not doing the whole thing. Hi, David. Hey, Russ. How you doing? Good. Uh, first time I'm calling, but uh, this is what I wanted to say. Yes. And to find out from any other listeners if they heard um, that movie guy, Gary Cohill. Cogill. Uh, yeah, Cogill. Yeah. Uh, talk with um, with Debbie Demon. They they had some comment about, um, and mind you, I got this at the middle of the whole conversation, that uh, they wanted to acknowledge that... Uh, their friends at 105.3, the Russ Martin Show, uh, is watching whatever it is that they're doing, and uh, they just wanted to let you know that. Let me know what? Um, I'm not sure what they were trying to say. What was it they actually said? Um, that they just wanted to acknowledge that their friends at 105.3 and uh, the Russ Martin Show um, are avid. And, and, and they're what? I'm, I'm a fan of Good Morning Texas? Something like I'm that. I'm not a fan of Good Morning Texas. <laughs> I'm an eyewitness. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> the Russ Martin Show. Come on. Let's go. You want to go? The Russ Martin Show. Man, that rocks, man. Afternoons at 3. <laughs> Come on, we go. The Alternative Talk Station, live 105.3. Quick, three empty sheets. Slow down, man. There's all the guys there. Yeah, good call. Two turkeys neat and one on the rocks. Wild, Wild turkey. turkey. Oh, I say we stand right here. <laughs> Look directly behind you. <laughs> Do you think my shirt is too tight? Yeah, but it looks good. What about from the side? You're bad. <laughs> okay, we can stay. <laughs> Twist my arm. Hey, another wild turkey, anyone? Uh, uh, yep. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> now, whose turn is to get that round of turkeys? Here's when real quality friends get together, it's time for real quality bourbon. Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. The real deal. Honoring 150 years of tradition, our process takes longer, but it's worth the wait. That's how we bring you and your good friends the best. Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Uncompromising people drink responsibly. Wild Turkey Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 50.5% alcohol by volume. Austin Nichols Distilling Company, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Copyright 2003, Austin Nichols and Company Incorporated. Are you thinking about buying a house or refinancing a house? Hi, I'm Rodney Anderson with CTX Mortgage, and I want to be your lender for life. Here's the deal. You want to get pre-approved to buy the home of your dreams. No matter if you're buying from 80000 up to multi-millions, the seller wants to know you're approved. You want to know what your payments are going to be. You need to know everything. I'm going to be your lender for life. If you're thinking about refinancing, do you know over 40% of Americans still are eligible for refinancing? Let us look at your situation. We know it's just a house to many people, but I know it's your home to yourself. I want to be your lender for life. My number is 972-985-5208. That's 972-985-5208. Call me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Again, 972-985-5208 or 24 hours a day. Log on to RodneyAnderson.com. We partnered with Monster to bring you all the tools you need to reach for greatness in your career and find the job you want in Dallas-Fort Worth. And all along, you've been telling us about what Monster has done for you. 
And now we're celebrating those successes. Joe from Arlington emailed us his monster success story through Live1053.com and won dinner for two. And you can too. The process is simple. Just go to Live1053.com and click on the monster banner. Tell us how monster is helping you reach for greatness in your career and you could win dinner for two. Plus, you'll be automatically entered to win our grand prize of a weekend at the Four Seasons in Las Colinas. Remember, go to Live1053.com and click on the monster banner. Give us your monster success story or post your resume today. Tonight's top story is about a couple in Yonkers who... Oh, who cares? Did you ever get the feeling that your TV is, well, bored? Our next guest is a hot young actor who's very much like all the other hot young actors. Bored of the same old ideas? Okay, Maggie, $10,000. Now all you gotta do is eat this entire plate. Maggie, hi. Is she sleeping? It's time for DirecTV. With over 225 channels, all in 100% digital quality, DirecTV is bringing excitement back to your TV. That's why in just one year, more people chose DirecTV over all other cable and satellite providers combined. DirecTV. Rethink TV. Act now and pay just $45.99 a month for the first three months, and DirecTV will give you over 50 premium channels free and get up to a four-room DirecTV system free. Call 1-800-DIRECTV or visit directtv.com. Just activate the Total Choice Premier Package with your annual commitment to any Total Choice programming. Offer on 730-105 and is subject to approved credit hardware and programming sold separately. New customers only. Restrictions apply at $4.99 a month for second and each additional TV. Cabaret Royale, the ultimate entertainment complex where you can park and party all night long. Dance all night with our entertainers to help you party and stay for breakfast since the new expansion allows us to be open in the fair room until 6 a.m. Everyone is welcome at Cabaret Royale now that there are more rooms to party in with more than 200 entertainers to keep you happy and more plasma TVs to watch more sports than you could imagine. You can get in with your sports ticket stubs free at Cabaret Royale. All this fun packed into one giant complex. Cabaret Royale is the first upscale gentleman's club in Dallas, and they offer all your entertainment needs in one convenient location. Topless girls or nude girls, we have both. Bring your friends, bring your brother. We've got what you need to party till dawn with free breakfast till 6 a.m. seven days a week. Cabaret Royale, Dallas's first upscale adult entertainment complex. 10723 Composite Drive, 214-350-0303. Free lunch weekdays, 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. And zero cover. For over 20 years, it's been the biggest event in sports entertainment. And this Sunday, live and only on pay-per-view, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Los Angeles, California. WWE presents WrestleMania. Starring the game Triple H in an epic battle with the animal, Batista, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, GBL clashes with John Cena as the WWE Championship is on the line. Undefeated at WrestleMania, the legendary Undertaker collides with the legend killer, Randy Orton. Plus, Raw showstopper, Shawn Michaels, takes on SmackDown's Olympic champion, Kurt Angle. And it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit featuring the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rattlesnake! The Rattlesnake! WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Don't miss WrestleMania. Live this Sunday at a special starting time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on pay-per-view. Don't miss WWE WrestleMania 21 this Sunday at 6, live and only on pay-per-view. Order WWE WrestleMania 21 through your cable or satellite provider today. Want to cash your paycheck for free? Sign up for a VCOM membership at 7-Eleven during March. Then you can cash checks free until tax day. And we're open 24 hours at participating 7-Eleven stores. So, we're thinking about knocking down the wall and expanding the living room and... Uh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Hello. This is an early warning alert from LoJack. Your vehicle may have been moved without your authorization. Oh, um... I'm sorry, I think I need to check on my car and... Report to the police that the vehicle has been stolen. Now that activates LoJack and the police tracking computer installed in our patrol cars and our helicopters. Which is telling me that the black SUV behind that liquor store is the one I'm looking for. Now, because early warning alerts owners to check their car so quickly via phone or email or alpha pager, we can recover the vehicle before it's damaged and get it back. To where I was yesterday when LoJack called me. Anyway, we decided to call 1-800-4-LOJack or visit LoJack.com to find a dealer near you. LoJack. Get it and get it back. Your attention, please. Northern Tool and Equipment has decided there are entirely too many occasions dedicated to women. Women have Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. Women have the wedding anniversary. Well, it's time we created a holiday just for men. And so from this Saturday forward, this holiday shall be known as 
the Demo Day Power Sale, where everything will be 10% off. That's right, 10% off everything Northern Tool and Equipment carries this Saturday. So while she gets a dozen long stem roses, you get an 8-horse diesel power generator that'll never die. While she gets fancy French truffles, you get a pressure washer that can remove all traces of the color pink. This new holiday is also a good time to restock on grease, work gloves, and duct tape, too. Or to simply watch a demonstration of your favorite tool in action. The Demo Day Power Sale. Another giant leap for mankind. This Saturday, power up for spring at Northern Tool and Equipment, where warriors prepare for battle. Visit us in Garland, Grand Prairie, and White Settlement. Some exclusions may apply. See store for details. Kevin was talking about eating? Yeah. Is that his name, Kevin? Yes, it is, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Do they boil them before they pickle them? He said uh, you can do both. You can boil them or you can just pickle them. Or you can boil them and then pickle them. I don't know. I have no clue. I haven't even seen it. I've seen cow tongue. Well, I've seen uh, That's pig's cool. feet like sitting on the counter at small convenience stores. I never thought to eat it. I just thought it was... Amusement. De- yeah, decorative. Yeah. Like the little octopus at the beach you get that's in the jar. I've never seen those. Oh, yeah. Something you get on a trip, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But you don't go home and eat it. <laughs> sure, a lot of gay Kevin's foom- food comes in pickle <laughs> form. <laughs> no. You just wonder how hungry you got to be. I. There's a lot of stuff that I won't try. Yeah. Well, you guys have been trying to talk me into eating calamari squid. Uh, it's so good. But it's only good if it's dressed up, right? Well, not really. I mean, it's it's breaded, as many things are. But Well, but what I'm saying, if it wasn't breaded and seasoned, some food's okay as it is. Well, but if you got to do that much to it, why eat it? It's like... Um, it's not that much, really. No, it's, it's really kind of like, Well, I can see his point, because I can eat raw shrimp boiled, but I can't eat, I don't think I could eat raw calamari without some crusting on it. Well, but even beef, we season and... Well, yeah, but it would still be okay if it wasn't seasoned. This other stuff, what is the the, uh, the slugs? Um, Snails. Escargot? Yeah, escargot. That's got to set in a garlic Garlic sauce sauce, or nobody will touch it. Now, I'm with you. That's over the line. I've had that, but... You know, I agree. No one would eat it if you didn't doctor it so much. So yeah, so why pay all that eating. extra cash just because it's going to sit in garlic? But calamari is not that way. It's not so seasoned that you miss out on the calamari itself. Oh. Is it gamey? Not a bit. Mm-hmm. It's not fishy either. It can be chewy if it's not cooked properly. Oh. Well, but you go places that cook it properly. Who brought it up the last time we were here? Was it Hofbrau? Might have been. Oh, they wouldn't have squid, would they? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Most places do for appetizers. Oh. It's very popular. Yeah, oysters is one I can't stand. My dad used to eat. My dad used to put oysters in turkey stuffing. They're like Thanksgiving Day stuffing. And they expect me not to notice. It was terrible. I can never understand oysters anyway. Aren't they the things you're not supposed to bite? I don't know. Supposed what if you slide? bite them? I don't know. I just hear you're supposed to let them slide down your throat. I'm thinking, what's the point? Yeah, you put a bunch of horseradish. 
I don't remember. Other stuff on them. Hey, some people love them. No, that's just a technique. You, you can chew them, except when they're raw like that, it's best to just let them slide down your throat because if you try to chew them, it'll take you 10 minutes. I used to have an uncle that would eat sticks of uh, a margarine and uh, Cheerios. He would take the stick of margarine and jam it into the Cheerios oh. and eat it. But I think he, yeah, he'd chew it. How long did he live? He's still around. My mom's side of the family was it's just chock full of freaks. My grandmother, instead of uh, using milk in her cereal, would use coffee. I've heard of that. Very efficient. <laughs> yeah. All right. The hell is that in the other studio? <laughs> we were saying that. <laughs> what ago. is that? That's, that's yeah. Kelly. With no makeup and hair rollers on. My glasses on. No, you, you might not want to do that. Yeah, right? hang on. Oh, she can't hear us either. She's putting on makeup. Mm -hmm. She's got on those uh, big hoop hair curlers. Where's she going? I don't know. Party Artie Lang show tonight, I'm thinking. What time is that? I think it's twice, 8 and 10. I know she it's ain't 10. She ain't going to make it. I, <laughs> well, I have to get to the 10 o'clock. Uh-uh. She's going she's gonna to have to hit the late show. I just want to watch for a second. It's almost like watching something in its natural habitat. Yeah. She's putting on mascara. Almost expect her to start picking mites off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we watch long enough, she'll chunk grind on the window. <laughs> Quit it. Kind of fun knowing that they it's can't hear It's a great visual, it. though. She just turns around <laughs> casually. <laughs> she looks, up against looks the at screen. us, goes. <laughs> Maybe we should drive, drive up with a bag of feed. What? Oh, somebody just walked oh. in and told her. Turn around. Look this way. Come on, look this way. That's nasty. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to look good for a chick. With those big hoop curlers. We need to do her boyfriend a favor and take a picture right now. Who's she dating? I don't know, some guy. And just say, here's what's tomorrow morning. Who is, who is it, Dan? It's uh, that same Rob guy from that comes into town occasionally, I think. Oh. How long has she been in there doing that? Since the show was over, 20 minutes. How long does it take? I would imagine she'll be in there till 4, 4.30. Longer. Five? A couple hours. It takes a couple hours to do makeup and she ain't doing a movie? <laughs> I really don't know how long she's going to take. Well, she hadn't even started on her hair. No, she got it in those big hoops. <laughs> Who's a blonde chick with the ratty hair in there? No. Kelly, turn around. No, now we're on in there. Turn around. In there. It's, it's like watching a contractor. <laughs> I feel like we need Marlon Perkins or somebody to narrate. Uh, well, there's, you don't need any narration. Uh -uh. This is this is the only thing that would make it better is if it was in uh, HD. Because then I'd watch all afternoon. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've watched some stupid crap in HD. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's it's high definition and it's at the clean crisp. I've watched reviews of homes. I told you I watched that gorilla sitting in the tub one time. <laughs> Funny. What show was that? <laughs> it's just it was a close up of of a gorilla sitting in like a natural hot pond. Okay. No, I don't think it was hot because you could see his breath. But he just sitting in the water. <laughs> How long that go on? I don't know. He looked like um, Star Jones. Hit the hair. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting okay. in the water was just the the, the whole demeanor. I understand. But a, you could just see the breath, and that that's. That's all it was. And I just watched. <laughs> Is it HD? Yeah. Yeah. What's she doing now? Uh, she's talking to somebody and uh, about to put something else on. She's still working on her eyes. Yep. See, that's the thing. I can't date a chick. If it takes more than three or four minutes to get your makeup on, then you're doing too much damage control. I don't know any chick that could ever put her makeup on in three or four minutes. Ever. Amy's quick. Is she three or four minutes? Yeah. Wow. What, Dan? 
I was going to say, my wife's usually done in about five minutes, unless it's like a very extravagant occasion, like wedding or something. Yeah. No, Amy goes in, takes a shower, comes out. You can tell she's put a little something on, mm-hmm. maybe the lips, for the most part. There you go. Yeah. She looks coming out the way she went in. That's the way that I want a chick to be. Yeah. The ones that have that great big thick glob stuff on where you can tell when they smile, their face cracks. <laughs> yeah. That's too much. I've seen that. Yeah. Well, big show tonight. Maybe she wants to look her best. Who's she going to suck? Mm-mm. Nobody. <laughs> that one's for you, JD. No, I'm not saying a word. I just... Normally, she doesn't go to this length unless something's going on. Right. She going to hang out with that arty guy? Possibly. I really don't know. I've never seen the rollers before. That's new. Line seven. Yeah, Joy. Hey. Yeah. Kelly and Pugs are opening for Artie Lang tonight. Opening and how? They're uh, master, mistress of master ceremonies. Are they going to do an act, or are they just going to introduce him? No, they're going to go on stage and introduce him. All right, so they're not doing an act? Tonight. All right, thanks for coming. Well, I don't know, Artie Lang might have him doing something. You never know. All right. Are you going? Am I going? No, I'm not going. I didn't get my ticket in time. Oh. Didn't you call yesterday? Oh, I call all the time. Oh. Well, we're happy to have you. Thank you. Uh, Enjoy your show. Bye. Hey, Grand Dragon. Hello. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Line five. What is it, John? Uh, they're digging in your yard. Who's digging in my yard? The guys who screwed up your electricity. I saw, I saw them down the street digging when I left. Yeah, and now they're, uh, you know, the... The bottom level off to the left where the, the gate is? Yeah. They're digging right there. They're all the way up in my yard? In your yard, right next to the fence. I'm on my way back there right now. Who are you? <laughs> Which guy are you? I'm the John, the groundskeeper. I didn't the know guy. I had one. The, lawn, the, the guy who's supposed to do your flowers. Have you talked to Rob yet? What's the name of your company? The Groundskeeper. That's the name of your company? Yeah, I came up and, and helped you put the Batmobile on the trailer. And, uh, oh, that's right. Mm. Yeah. Well, go see who they're with. If they're with Charter, they can be there. If they're with anybody else, go shoosh them off. Okay. You're in charge. Okay, I'm on my way there. All right, good. Great. You're in charge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got a mission. He does. He's very thrilled. Everybody watches that freaking house. I know. You know the words coming out of his mouth right now. I'm in charge. Shoosh. Yeah. You guys are going to have to go. Authorize. I'm in charge. <laughs> Move along. <laughs> I'm the groundskeeper. Yes, I am. See the truck? Yeah. See the sign on the truck? Mm. That's as good as a badge. Because <laughs> I'm in charge. <laughs> oh. It's almost like that house is watched nonstop. That's good. That is good. And you don't need Rob to move in and to be security. He still wants to. I know he does. How's that been going? That's This has been going on for a little while now. The Rob thing? Yeah. He called last week from Puerto Vallarta, drunk, telling me how things for me and the show are only going to get bigger. Okay. And he said, things are, are going to get way beyond what we can control. Somebody needs to live in, <laughs> Somebody needs to live with you as live-in security all the time. So anytime you get ready to go someplace, this person's always there. Somebody. Wendy and I would feel mm. a lot better. I'm not making any of this up. <laughs> That's what I always do on vacation, you know, ever just think, think about Russell security. Right, <laughs> right. right. So Wendy and I would feel a lot better if we always knew that you were safe. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to pay him? He ain't moving in. Might not be a bad idea. Great big house. Beautiful home, mm-hmm. by the way. Thank you. Enjoyed your party very much. Mm-hmm. Are you the one that sent me the, the thank you note? Yeah. Okay. It was a little hard to read. Really? It didn't have a return address. I put E up in the corner. I didn't <laughs> know if possibly you ran out of time. <laughs> well, no, I figured you'd know who it was. All right. Thank you. Line one. We got a break? Soon. All right. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Russ. Take a look at your house. Make sure there's somebody there that's supposed to be there. Yeah, if you would. Uh, you'll uh, Once you get there, you'll need to be in charge over the landscaper guy, since you have the, the police car. 
I'm heading from uh, about 114. I'll head down there and be down there in about five or ten minutes. All right. You're in charge. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can see a power struggle happening <laughs> in the front yard now. Yeah. It's going to be a rumble. <laughs> I'm the groundskeeper. Yeah. On property, I'm in charge. That's your first. Yeah. First of all. Yeah. It's called jurisdiction. Look it up. Yeah. <laughs> Russ told me I'm in charge. Right. Just because you got a gun and a police car don't really mean nothing to me. I'm the groundskeeper. See the sign on my door? It's as good as a badge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Uh, oh, I forgot about this. Hmm? Hi, Robert. Hello, boss. Yes, sir. Congratulations on the ratings. Thank you. And happy anniversary. Thank you. Well, is it six years now? Uh, actually, it would have been on Sunday, but this is as close as you can get. As close as we get. April 3rd was the first day on the air here. Right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, and y'all are, you and JD are the only two originals left from the switchover. Uh, Unless there's some staff I don't know about, like engineers or whatever. No, Everett was here with us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when this when this station went on in 2000, we were on in the morning. Mm-hmm. They had Ed Till in the middle midday. Is right. that right? Yeah, yep. I forgot about that. And then AW. AW and Martha. Mm-hmm. Uh, what they have on at night? Tom. Was Like us on? Tom. I think so. And then Love Lines. And then... Uh, John and Jeff from Los Angeles overnight. So. Oh, I remember that driving into work every morning, having to listen to them. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, like is his original lineup because yeah. he, he never left the station. He never left the station. He just got shifted around with the time lines and all that other stuff. Yeah. So that's but. like us are the only original. All right. Thank you for remembering, mm-hmm. Robert. All right. Mm, bye bye. Uh, I obviously missed an email or something. The uh, anniversary party is where mm, it's nowhere. It's not to be held. Very similar to the ones they've planned previous years. And it's one one, one year. Wasn't there one? We weren't invited to it. It was while we were on the air. Yeah. Oh, they they had it in the other room so we could see through the window (laughs) Mm -hmm. of them having a party. Exactly. Rob just sent me an IM. What is it, Rob? Gavin just came in here and um, asked if I was hosing them. And I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And he goes, well, legal just called. They need me to speak with Russ immediately. About what? He doesn't know. He needs to get the lawyer and you in the office to talk. About what? I don't know. He needs to get you and the lawyer in the office to talk. Oh. Okay. Did you fart? Yeah, I'm sorry. I was going to wait till you were done with that. <laughs> Thanks for the timing. Sure. That's Sam in promotions. Talking about oh, that, oh, that's, uh, that's right. He's a fireball. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Let me call Gavin. It's Gavin. What are you doing? Working. What is this whole uh, legal thing? You, I, need- I, you know, I have no idea. We just take a break and we'll figure it out. Are you won't tell me. Are you jacking me? I haven't jacked you in a year and a half. I got a feeling you're jacking me. Who called you? Our head attorney. And she's like, I, I need you to go in there and go to a break. I don't think Jennifer Babin, is that who you're talking about? Yeah. yeah I don't think Jennifer Babin would call you and no. tell you to pull me off the air I, so we could talk. And I understand. That's why let's go to a commercial break and let's call her. Why can't she just tell you what it is? I don't know. She won't tell me. She says she wants us together. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. What did you do? I don't do anything. I bet you're getting fired and I'm in charge. Could be. That's what it is. Let me see. Friday, first of the month. Yeah, that's normally when they cut them loose on a Friday. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. I'm in charge. See that sign on my truck? (laughs) It's as good as a badge. (laughs) Are you jacking me? Do I really need to come in there? No, I'm not. I'm not jacking you. I wouldn't jack you about our head attorney calling. And I, I said, well, can it wait? And she goes, no. well, she goes, you know, if, if you can get them to go to break now, she goes, I want to talk to you and Russ. 
Okay. All so. right. I'll, I'll be in there. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Gavin's got a nice April Fool's joke planned for me. Mm. He oh. thinks we don't see this coming? Is that what it is? Okay. I got emails again today. What are you guys going to do today? Yeah. Today's the day that we rest. Yes, I know. I realize. It's when the rest of you goobers come out. <laughs> All right. Uh, line five. They're, they want to guess what? Who had the, uh, the stinkiness you were talking about yesterday? Oh, the bacterial vaginosis? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I mean, I know you refuse to tell us, but how about if I take a guess at it? Will that work? Sure, go ahead. Is it Gavin? <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. That's, come on. Come on. <laughs> Rob doesn't want me to say <laughs> the real name. No, the, oh. who it is? Oh, of course not. What's the story? I don't either. No, the joke was it was Gavin, no. but I can't say anything because Rob doesn't want me to say. Follow the show. I'm trying. You got it, didn't you, Manly? All right, thanks. Was it Gavin? Rob doesn't want me to say, indicating that it was Gavin because I can't answer. Now I get it. I'm a little slow. Sorry. Did you not sleep last night? I'm fine. I slept great. Just missed one turn. Call me Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> Sorry. Is that another joke? Yes. I'm going to sit here till you come up with a good one. <laughs> <sighs> See you guys Monday. <laughs> Wait. All right, go ahead. I know one about midgets and whores. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Break. Tell me that one. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. It's an afternoon fraternity. A lot of hazing. The Russ Martin Show. On Live 105.3. Hello? Good afternoon. Do you have time to answer a few questions on career satisfaction? Sure. Okay, tell me, how often do you leave work energized enough to go to the gym, the movies, or dinner with friends? Often, sometimes, or rarely? Well, my hours are long and draining, so I don't have much of a life otherwise. Sounds like rarely. Is your current job life-enhancing or life-hindering? It verges more on life-less. Not exactly your ideal job? No, if that existed, I'd applied a long time ago. Well, it does exist. You'd be much happier in a customer sales, collections, or management job at City Cards. They offer the flexibility you need to enjoy work and life, plus an excellent salary and great benefits. The Irving City Cards site is dynamic and energizing with long-term opportunities to advance your career. They really take you places. Wow. Do you have their number? one 800 714 2484 or go to careers.citycards.com 1-800-714-2484 I'm calling them right now Bring balance to your world by joining ours. City Cards is an equal opportunity employer. See it all, see it now. See the new Gold Club at PT's Plaza. The Gold Club. DFW's newest and finest adult club megaplex featuring the hottest international showgirls showing you everything you want to see. The Gold Club. A BYOB party with all your favorite sporting events on 100 128 plasma high definition screens. The Gold Club. Luxurious rendezvous seating in our oh so private VIP enclave and extreme skyboxes. The Gold Club. Five star international cuisine from Chef Ramon. Enjoy a complimentary, lavish 70 foot luncheon buffet Monday through Friday. Full menu service till 1 30 a.m. daily. And our own special legs and eggs breakfast buffet every Friday and Saturday night till 4 a.m. The Gold Club. Two for Tuesdays, where all dances are two for one and $10 Sundays with $10 cover and $10 dances all day. The Gold Club. BYOB and all nude all the time at the all new Gold Club at PT's Plaza. Plano Road at Miller Road. Just north of 635 in Dallas. The Gold Club. Be there tonight. 
the enemy has numbers on its side. You've got the power of Spectracide on yours. The power to protect your home from invading weeds. Control them quickly. Conquer them completely. With Spectracide Triple Strike Grass Weed Root Killer. It starts to work immediately and kills all types of weeds and grasses. Completely down to the root. Spectracide Triple Strike. Protect. Control. Conquer. Just when you thought it was safe to go back outside, another invasion hits. You've won the war on weeds. Now it's time to battle bugs. With Spectracide Triazicide, our number one brand in outdoor insect control. Triazicide gives you the power to protect your lawn and landscape from all types of invading insects, including grubs. To control them quickly, conquer them completely above and below ground. Spectracide Triazicide. Protect. Control. Conquer. All right, you can still uh, get the 34-inch uh, HD TV monitor for uh, $700 from the guys at Digital Planet. Normally, these things go for around 1000 so these will be moving fast. Digital Planet, your go-to guys for all your uh, home theater AV needs, uh, like uh, high-definition television, rear projection, DLP, LCD, and, of course, the flat panel, uh, flat panel plasmas. And LCDs that hang on the wall just like a picture. When it comes to high-definition television, they are the go-to guys in the industry. If you want to hang it over the fireplace, they can do that. If you want the biggest TV that's made, they can get that for you. If uh, you want a 120-inch screen in your media room, they can design that. They've got a professionally trained staff and certified installers. They can get the job done right, and they'll get it done the first time. So there's nobody going back through your house and trying to figure out where they screwed up. You can call them now, 972-265-8500. Uh, and don't forget about the 34-inch HD TV monitor, $700, normally about a grand. They're the go-to guys. Digital Planet, 972-265-8500. On USA Network, Sunday night is the toughest night of the week. Go, Jack. Huh? What kind of name is that? I've got soul! Starring in his first television series. And I'm super bad. Ving Rhames is Kojak. Hey! You think I look tough? I'm a lot tougher than I look. <laughs> Bald is back on the streets. You lie to me one more time, I'm gonna smash your face in. And he's carrying a lollipop. Are we cool with that? It's a whole new take on an unforgettable cop. Who's this guy? A cop who's not just bad. And I'm super bad. He's super bad. You play by the rules, Kojak. Come on! You play by my own. And he swears to serve and protect. Nobody should ever get away with murder. By any means necessary. My city, baby. Once you go bald, you'll never go back. So what are you gonna do about it? Ving Rams. You know how this goes down, right? Chaz Palminteri. Now you do what you have to do. And Rosalind Sanchez. You're not asking me to bend the rules. You're asking me to break them. I've got soul! Catch all new episodes of the new USA original series, Kojak. Sundays at 10, 9 central, only on USA Network. I'm with the Wilson family. Go ahead, Patty. Hi. Well, we decided to switch to the fair and flexible plan at Sprint because our old wireless company charged us huge fees for going over the minutes in our family plan every month. So we sat down for a family meeting, took a vote, and decided it was all Wendy's fault. Yeah, that was a tough time for her. Mom. Well, it was. But she's the one that suggested Sprint, so it all worked out. Good call, Wendy. Thank you. No more huge overages. The Sprint PCS Fair and Flexible Plan for Families automatically adds anytime minutes as you need them. Start with two lines and share 800 anytime minutes for just $70 a month. And every 100 extra anytime minutes cost just $5. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Offer N61205. Requires two-year agreement per line and preferred credit. Taxes and Sprint surcharges excluded. Activation and termination fees apply. See store for details. Try an old favorite a whole new way. Try a Subway Fresh Toasted Sub. Subway, eat fresh. I'm Johnny Caraba. And I'm Damien. Caraba's Italian Grill is getting ready for dinner. It's not your typical Italian. Our ancestors are from Sicily. They came in the late 1800s. They had first-class tickets on Boeing 747. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> they wanted a better opportunity, so that's why they left Sicily. Our family migrated to Texas, and we made our homes in the South. There's a lot of correlation between Sicily and Texas. You've always heard of Southern hospitality. 
hospitality. But here, our hospitality is doubled. Like Carabas Italian Grill, it's kind of like Southern hospitality meets Southern Italian hospitality. <laughs> Carabas is from the Corleone area. It's a real Sicilian name. Growing up, people always had a hard time pronouncing my name. People chop it up pretty good. You know, Caraba, Carababa, Caramba. It's a really easy name to pronounce. It's Caraba. Come to Carabas for dinner. Enjoy chicken marsala, garlic mashed potatoes, and a little touch of Southern hospitality. At Carabas Italian Grill, it's not your typical Italian. Ciao, y'all. Visit Carabas in Preston Center, one block southwest of Preston Road and Northwest Highway. Chevy's NCAA March Madness event. Big deals for the big dance, now extended through April 4th. There's big savings from GM, an official corporate champion of the NCAA. It's Sybil from the Pugs and Kelly Show. Join me this Sunday from noon to 2 p.m. at Sports City Cafe, 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard in Mesquite, and we're going to be there for a big NASCAR watching party. I'll have your NASCAR tickets out there for the Texas Motor Speedway, including tickets to the Bush Qualifying Race, the IROC Series, and NASCAR qualifying tickets. Also, tickets to the O'Reilly 300 Bush Series Race. So join me, Sybil, from the Pugs and Kelly Show this Sunday from noon to 2 p.m. at Sports City Cafe in Mesquite, 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard with the Alternative Talk Station, Live 105.3. For over 20 years, it's been the biggest event in sports entertainment. And this Sunday, live and only on pay-per-view, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Los Angeles, California. WWE presents WrestleMania. Starring the game Triple H in an epic battle with the animal, Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, KBL clashes with John Cena as the WWE Championship is on the line. And undefeated at WrestleMania, the legendary Undertaker collides with the legend killer, Randy Orton. Plus, Raw showstopper, Shawn Michaels, takes on SmackDown's Olympic champion, Kurt Angle. And it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit featuring the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rattlesnake! The Rattlesnake! WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Don't miss WrestleMania. Live this Sunday at a special starting time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on pay-per-view. Don't miss WWE WrestleMania 21 this Sunday at 6, live and only on pay-per-view. Order WWE WrestleMania 21 through your cable or satellite provider today. Hey, honey? Yeah? Should we add one or two more lines on our new America's Choice Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless? Who's the third for? Uh, Marcy. Don't you think she's too young? She's not too young to tie up my phone for hours. Maybe she could tie up her own. How much? $9.99 monthly access per line. Only $9.99? Yeah. Well, her birthday's coming up. And I'll get my phone back. Okay, but get one for Natalie, too. Well, she's only 13. Yeah, but she can already talk her head off. I thought I saw something roll by. Pick it up, Brad. Pick up the new Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless, now with no roaming charges, and you'll get two lines for only $59.99 monthly access. And you can add a line or up to three for just $9.99 each. So sign up today at a Verizon Wireless communication store or inside Circuit City and join America's best, most reliable wireless network. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Subject to two-year customer agreement, $15 activation, and $175 termination fee per line. Other charges and restrictions. Coverage not available everywhere. K-L-L-I Dallas, Fort Worth I know you are, but what am I? It's all about morals and values And we're proud to say <laughs> We have none The Alternative Talk Station Is live 105.3 What? Come on We gotta get this taken care of I'm not buying your bid It's not my bid, it's your bid I don't Is have it a- your bid? I don't have a bid no. I called Purdy and I said, what's going on? He doesn't know anything about it. Are you coming? Go to Best Of. <laughs> so he was telling Robin Hall to do. What? Get Best Of ready. Why? Why were you hiding? I wasn't hiding. I had to go to You were back. clearly hiding. I looked in your office. I looked down in Rob's office. I looked in my office. Where were you? I wasn't with you. You weren't in the bathroom? Not the entire time. What does Jennifer want? She won't tell me. Then obviously it's a hose and I'm not falling for it. It's is it your hose on me? I don't have a hose. I don't know. Excuse me. Talk about me, wanna talk about I wanna talk about number one. Oh my me, my what I think, what I like, what I know, what I want, what I see. I like talking about Why don't you find out what she wants? She won't tell me unless you're present. Obviously, well, and if she won't you. tell you, then somebody's pulling a hose, and I'm not falling for it. I don't have time for your silly April 1st games. I don't have time for them either. This is a busy day. Busy doing what? I got stuff to do. 
What is that? That's dope. Oh. What do you want us to run? Oh, pick or choose. Let's do uh, JD and the pump. I thought he was dead. <laughs> it's the Pope. Oh. <laughs> He's not dead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was a funny bit, and I bought it. You win. It's not a bit. Why would I play a bit? I have not played a bit on you since I've been here. Okay. Why would Jennifer Babin call and say she needs to talk to you, but she can't tell you what the problem is unless I'm in there? It's a good question. All I know it's is a bit. she called me, okay. and she said, uh -huh. get Russ off the air. I need to talk with him and you, and call me back. That's all she said. And so I put her on hold, and she's been on hold. Is she on hold right now? I had her on hold. Chloe, load up a break. Go back and get her on the phone, and I'll come in there. Stick a bumper there. We'll be back. Now go lock the door, Chloe. <laughs> Line one. What is it, John? Hey, it was Charter out there. In my front yard? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're uh, they're going back and fill it in right now. I got there, and then uh, all these cops started showing up. Yeah. Did you tell them you were in charge? Yeah, I was in charge, man. All right. I, I took my off watching the house, and and, and he, he started going off about uh, how the electricity went off. Yeah. And that it wasn't his fault. No, I understand. Yeah. He's talking about the charter guys. Because mm -hmm. when that crew down on the corner cut the uh, the power, mm -hmm. they also cut my broadband. Yeah. But it wasn't. I think, I think it was Verizon. I'm not sure, but it was some different crew down on the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said that it was the locator's fault. The guys who come out and mark the ground. Yeah. He said it was their fault. Who They, they didn't mark it right. I understand. So that's All right, what happened. Well, you're, in, you're still in charge. I'm still in charge? Yes. I feel awful impotent. Get off my property. <laughs> what? Dan? Gavin's on the hotline sounding quite perturbed. It's not. A, it's the, I, I'm not buying it. It's stupid. What is it? Are you coming in here? No, I'm doing a show. Come in here. I almost want to go in there just to see what he's got planned. Yeah. I got nothing planned. What's the punchline? Are if, you hosing me? If I come in there and it's not a good punchline... There's no punchline. Are you hosing me? I don't know how to get a hold of Jennifer in New York. Is that what he said when he called, Dan? Gavin? Yeah, he just said, uh, yeah, put me through. Yeah, I went... Yeah. Oh, it's the Laura Miller approach. <laughs> put me through. Yes. Put me on now. No. no, I went to come back in, but you locked the door. Mm-hmm. Just tell me what the bit is. You got me. It's a really good one. And saying Jennifer Babin's in on it, that it's nice. It's a nice uh, touch. touch. There's no yeah. bit. There's no bit whatsoever. And I don't have the time today to deal with this. All right. There's no bit. Okay. I'm on my way in. You're coming in? Yeah. Playing a, playing a bumper now. We'll be back. All right. A lot of news. What am I supposed to get out of this? I don't clue. He's not going to leave you alone. Which way he's going it with is. it? And none of it's going to get on the air, so we don't get a punchline out of it. No, that's he didn't probably think that part through. That's why he sits in there, mm -hmm. and we're in here. Mm -hmm. People that can do, people that can't sit down and piss. <laughs> no. Uh, one more call, and we'll do news. Yeah, well. Yeah, hey Russ, I've uh, I've been a fan of yours since your Sunday night uh, community service spot on the Eagle, mm -hmm. and I uh, am moving to Austin on Sunday. And I know you hate taking requests, but it would make my day if I could hear "Thank God I'm a Colored Boy." I don't remember that one either. Hold on. <sighs> Show information. Uh, 
RussMartin.info is not coming up. Songs. Songs of the Russ Martin Show. Asian Farts. Bang on my mom all day. Big Headed. I like that one. What? That was about you. What was that too? What song? Uh, uh, Hot Blooded. Okay. I'm Big Headed. Check it and see. Mm -hmm. My circumference is 103. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> Catchy. You've had so many good ones. All of my hats, I had to finance. I'm big-headed. Yeah, big-headed. I forgot about that. You cannot read my mind through this thick-ass melon rind. Honey, it's a chateau. Yeah, it's supported with lines, with car tires on the sides. <laughs> Quite catchy. What else did I do? Uh, <laughs> I was going to entertain myself. <laughs> big-headed John. No. Hold on. What? Hang on, uh, uh, Walt. What is it, Rob? David, you coming in? Hi. <laughs> this frequency is, is reserved for uh, show communications. Right. Yeah, I know. You coming to my office? Go to a break. <laughs> I'm going to come in there, and your bit's going to suck, and then I'm going to kick your ass. Hard. This is no bit, and you can't kick my ass. Yes, I think I can. Who's going to say anything about it? I've been, I'm saying I've been working out. Well, congratulations. And why? <laughs> you coming in? Yeah, I'm on my way in. Uh, every day at three, you can see him arrive. He stands five foot ten and his head's just as wide. Mm -hmm. Kind of narrow at the shoulder and head like a steeple. Got lots more face for two more people. That's John. <laughs> when was that one? That's good. <laughs> uh, nobody really knows how he gets at home. Six foot wide is the size of his comb. Gravitational force is still being felt when he spins around the polar caps mouth. That's John. <laughs> I mean, just sit here all day and read songs I that like I wrote. This. These are good. <laughs> well, normally you do it once, you don't hear it again. Yeah, that's, I've even forgotten about these. Uh, I don't have the music to any of these. Uh, you can blow in her eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, devil in disguise. Mm -hmm. uh, the confessional is rocking. I remember that one. Is today a bad day for that one? Yes. Is it? Extremely. <laughs> confessional is rocking. Don't bother knocking. Yeah. Kick off your kids. People keep requesting Popa Cabana, too. Not today. I forgot about that one. I'm the Pope of... I don't remember that one. It was to Copacabana. Pope. What is it, Dan? Uh, JD's right. It was to Copacabana, and the first line is basically um, the Pope, uh, Popa de Catholics. Uh -huh. uh, I don't see it. Good. Your squid is a wonderful thing. Put me in Pope. I got Pope songs. Mm -mm. Put it in Pope. No. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> the R. Kelly spoof. I am a big rapper. I'm in a little trouble. I remember that one. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize I'd written so many songs. Here's one. Joy's Harry Garden. I'd like to be under the seat when Joy's Harry Garden drops a grenade. <laughs> I remember that. It'd come on in. I'd know where she'd been mm -hmm. and what she'd had to eat today. <laughs> I'd float around and wait and see as I, I swim around in this doo-doo gram cream. That's, <laughs> that's fine. That'll do. That's nah, just let's move on. Uh, she thinks my head is sexy. Uh, pigeons rest on it like a big tool shed. There's a pickup truck with Mexicans. Man, that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> All right, thank God I'm a colored boy. But I don't. I don't have the music. I'll see if I can hunt it down for you, Walt. All right. Thanks, Russ. All right. Uh, why are you moving to Austin? Uh, I'm actually uh, relocating for work. What do you do? Uh, I manage uh, for Main Event, and we're opening a center down in Austin. What is Main, main Event? event? It's, a, it's a family entertainment center, like bowling, billiard, laser tag, bar, games. Oh, they got one of those in Grapevine. Right. Yeah. Right by the theater. Oh. Okay. I'll see what I can do for you. All right. Thanks, Russ. Sorry to lose you. Bye-bye. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have time for news? Uh, if you put it out. All right. Mm -hmm. Ready, John? Sure. All right. You want a legal ID? 
357 at KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. J.D. Ryan's here with news. Thank you, Ross. Brought to us by Town East Ford. You can see Clo there Saturday morning on LBJ Freeway. Mesquite will be there from 10 a.m. until noon. Free tickets to see the Dallas Desperados and tickets to the Dallas Cowboy Draft Day Party April 23rd. That will be at Gillies. Friday, April 1st, 2005. Kobe Donaldson from Survivor 2 is 31 today. Holly McGraw is 67. Debbie Reynolds is still around at 73. Gordon Jump would have been 73 today. Over the weekend, Rodney King will turn 40. Billy Dean, country singer, will be 43. Dana Carvey is 50. Marvin Gaye would have been 66 on Saturday. Buddy Epson, our buddy, would have been 97. Mm. Uh, David Hyde Pierce, 46 on Sunday. Alec Baldwin, 47. Tony Orlando, 67. Wayne Newton, 63. And on Sunday, the Alive or Dead quiz. Doris Day. Alive. Correct. She'll be 81 on Sunday. I thought she was dead. I really did. I looked at that and went, oh, that's a misprint. I looked it up. Mm -hmm. And on this day in 1976, the Spring Break classic Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett was released. Here's another Dan Day. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. You want to hear it really quick? Sure. I really like that one. (laughs) It's the oven and the spark thing. (laughs) It helps when they have meaning, too. Yes. That's more meaningful than some. Yeah. Did you get that picture I sent to you today? Yes. That is so sad. It's a picture of Dan Lewis on his website. Yeah? Because I looked just to see if there was a different excuse of why he got fired from 990. Right. So he's got pictures on there. And I looked to see if he still had pictures from our studio on his website, right. even though he disavows any association with his show. Right. right. And there's still plenty of them on there. But there's also a picture of him out in front of a theater. Uh, it's the Lakewood? Yes. Uh, studio movie, movie Girl. Studio yeah. Movie Girl. Here it is. Everybody wants to see it. Yeah. yeah. What does the marquee say? Welcome, Dan Lewis and 990 fans. All right. And how many people are standing out front? <laughs> Aside from Dan? Yeah. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you think ahead when you take pictures like that? <laughs> it just looks sad. Yeah, it really does. Uh, let's see. What did I call that? Where's the B on this thing? No. Yeah. There it is. We'll do a quick version of this, and then it's off to news. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Monday morning, you lie in the dark, head in the oven, can't get no spark. There it is. It's another Dan Day. No need to get dressed, nowhere to go. Head to your front porch, time for a show. Hey, 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 it's another Dan Day. Is that enough? No, that's good. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I just want you to pass the spark pie. I love that. <laughs> Myself singing that odd, at odd times in a weekend. I'm cleaning the truck and I'm like, and in the oven. <laughs> can't get <getting> smart. <laughs> Pope John Paul II was clinging to life today as his condition deteriorated further. And the Vatican said his breathing was shallow and his kidneys were failing after complications from a urinary tract infection. Uh, millions of faithful around the world prayed for the fading life for the pontiff today. Paddling is out of the question now. In Dallas school districts, uniforms are in. Dallas school trustees voted yesterday to end corporal punishment and to mandate uniforms for students through the 8th grade. Trustees voted 7-0. to zero. What's this going to do? Make them more manageable? It says basically they've figured other ways to um, discipline. So pa- punishment's out. Or it's, paddling's out. Yeah, and, the, and as far as the uniforms go, I don't know. I never did understand that really. Well, people can't express their individuality. and Okay. Colors and gangs exactly. and such. Okay. Trustee Ron Price, who supports paddling, said the district has successfully provided alternative methods to discipline. And what is that? Or what are those? It, doesn't, it didn't elaborate. I didn't even realize they still allowed corporal punishment. Me neither. I don't know. I get paddled. Yeah. Yeah. It, when I was in school, anybody could whack you around for any reason. Mm-hmm. A coach. Normally, it was a coach that carried around a paddle. Our principal did at Adams Elementary. But very seldom did you have any... Nobody wanted to get mouth. Nobody wanted to mouth off and get swatted around by Coach Allen. No. So there would be no corporal punishment. No more paddling, and uh, up through eighth grade, yeah, everybody wears a uniform. Well, I guess the theory behind the uniform is it puts everybody on an even, even playing field. Right. There's really no classes. You don't have to worry about what you're going to wear that day. Mm-hmm. You're going to wear the same schlock that you wore the day before. Exactly. So you can go to school and think about 
school. Same colors, et cetera. If you can't afford the nice shoes like everybody else, it doesn't matter because everybody's got to wear the same crown. Right. Where, you know, if you're going to get kids ready for the real world, maybe it works. Well, and I, I know, it would seem at least anyway, that school today is much different than it was when we were growing up. I mean, they have metal detectors and people bringing guns and gangs and I mean, all sorts of things big that deal. we didn't have. When a, when a cop moved into, I went to Richardson High School, when they, we actually had a cop get take office in the school, it was like, what's happened? Why is there a police officer here? Now it's standard. Yeah, well, and it, it, it would be a big deal when it would be dog day at the school. Okay. they bring the dogs in and go sniff everybody's locker. Oh, see, I never even experienced that at all. And if you were out in the hall when the dogs came around, you were in trouble. What, Dan? I was going to say, you mentioned the dog day. My high school, I think they did that, if not on a weekly basis, uh, definitely a monthly basis. Well, what year did you graduate? 98. So and we're, 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 talking, we're still talking about 20 years difference between you got out and when I got out. Yeah, and it's even, I would even venture to say it's probably a little bit worse now than when I graduated. And they would uh, take, they had random uh, metal detector every day. Well, when you class. were in school, did you ever worry about getting stabbed, shot, anything? I never went to school worrying about it, but things I'm, happen I'm just, all I'm the time. I'm just kind of wondering at what point all of this stuff started happening. Well, somewhere between me and you. You and me? 75 to 79, the dogs, because I never had the, in Richardson High School, we never had the dogs. Yeah, 78, 79 is when they started bringing the dogs in. What about you, Chloe? No really big threat. Mm. thought of it every once in a while. Okay. Grapevine Colleyville Superintendent Kay Wagner said Thursday that she's going to make a recommendation to school boards about whether the district should test students in extracurricular activities for drugs including steroids. The school district, by the way, has been under scrutiny since February 4th when the story in the Dallas Morning News revealed that nine Colleyville Heritage students admitted using steroids. Tom Thompson from The Lab, which conducts the drug testing programs for more than 40 districts, spent most of yesterday's work session explaining how the program operates. Mr. Thompson said his company charges $14 per test for illicit drugs and $120 for the steroids. Per That's test. per student? Per test, yeah. Oh, they'll never pay that. I don't think so. It's a lot of money. Yeah, 14, 14 adds up quick, 120. I'll never pay that. They've got to pay some sort of lip service to all the scrutiny that they've been under of late, though. Yeah. I mean, they can't just let it slide. It's much bad press as they've gotten. Well, if you don't have the cash, what are you supposed to do? Well, I don't have know. people watch students closer to see if they look like they're on steroids? I don't know. Coaches are already there now. Coaches know. These coaches they know, know. They know. They know which kids are on steroids. There was something in the morning news that some kid was talking about being in school. And even their coach was selling steroids. Not that school district. Right. But selling steroids, calling them supplements. <laughs> so these people know what to look for. Yeah. They just ain't saying. When the story first came out, O'Malley just shook his head and smiled. It's like, everybody knows this is going on. This isn't a revelation. How big of a deal was it when you were in school, Dan? Because you played football, right? Yeah. Um... Off the top of my head, I would say we probably had five guys in my, on my junior year football team, uh, the varsity. I'd say there were probably five guys that were... Five out of how many? Probably 60 or 70. All right, so it's not an epidemic. No, it, I mean, it's, it can be, and it still doesn't need to happen, but it's not like people are going nuts and everybody's jamming. No, it's not. But then again, it's also it also depends on, you know, the other players on the team and in the school, because like in the Colleyville situation, I think they said they had nine. That's a... I would say that might be an average, maybe a slightly high number. Yeah. But if if it's a, in other words, if you have one clique of friends, say that are jocks, if one guy does it, peer pressure sets in, or they want to be like the guy who's already making. Well, games. you know, all all of a sudden the bar's been raised, and if you want to keep up with that guy, then you got to start debating back and forth. Well, you know, if yeah, this short guy, term. yeah, this guy's going to get my scholarship. Yep, I got to do roids now, or I got no chance to you know go to college. Mm. And the other thing is, sometimes it's not always just about a scholarship. Sometimes players just want to get that starting position, and anything else that comes after it's like, well, I'll worry about that later. But they can't get the scholarship unless they're starting, and they can't start unless they have something over the person in front of them. And if I had the opportunity when I was in school, somebody said, "Hey, look, you can do a few injections of this, and you don't get your ass kicked every few months." Mm -hmm. I probably would have thought about it. When you're in that situation, all you want to do is yes. get to the end of the tunnel. You just want to get out. Make the stop. So you don't think of long-term ramifications. No, especially as a teen. No. You think I mean, you're bulletproof anyway. Yeah. Our, your brain's not designed to think long-term when you're 17, 18 years old. You don't have any frame of reference. Yeah.
I'll just get, I'll just get me out of this, and then I'll stop. Yeah. And by then, you're probably hooked. Uh, duh. How are we doing, Chloe? How badly? Right, go ahead, John. One of the scariest and saddest things about the Terry Schiavo tragedy is that many women right now are at risk of the same fate. The reason Schiavo ended up in what the courts ruled was a persistent veg- vegetative state may be lost a lost lesson in her saga. Terry Schl- Schindler was a young woman who desperately wanted to be thin. As a chubby teenager, she binged and purged her way down to 65 pounds, or 65 pound weight loss, rather, and a slender body that eventually caught the eye of Michael Schiavo, who became her husband. Court documents... God, she was hot. So she yeah. was. Chavo's heart stopped uh, from an electrolyte imbalance caused by bulimia. Her husband was later awarded $2 million after it was ruled that Terry's doctors failed to detect her eating disorder. Eating disorders have long been known to cause heart failures and other potentially fatal chemical imbalances. On the UTD campus on Thursday, by the way, only a handful of students showed up for a presentation on extreme measures, quote unquote, women take to improve their body image. Better care, it goes back to steroids. Yeah, it's a, pretty much the same story. You just, you just, you just want to get to the end. I just don't want to be fat anymore. It's five pounds. Well, and you never think that you're going to end up like Terry Schiavo. Of course not. Well, how many? How often does this happen? Well, infrequently, but you know, you never think. Think of all the people that have bad consequences from eating disorders. None of them ever, you know, would ever envision that they would end up in dire this, this straits. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hold on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, Clint. Hey, man. Uh, as far as steroids are concerned a lot of it doesn't even have to do with the peer pressure a lot of it has to do with the coaches pushing the kids you know to the limits where you know they want to do better for the coaches you know because a lot of these small town schools like you know where i grew up at you know out west of fort worth it was all about sports well that's friday night you know football is is huge right now when these coaches are pushing you do any of them say hey you know what if uh you want to pick up another half second on the field? Maybe you want to jam this in your arm. Mm-hmm. That ever come out of their mouth? No, not really. It's just you know, either you know, you weren't anything in school unless you were on like the varsity football team. I know it. So <laughs> you know, Don't, it's just please. you know, it's, what? Don't you were something in school? I wasn't. No, you were popular. I, but I, I didn't get anybody good. No, you certainly made up for Thanks, it, Clint. <laughs> I didn't get Joni Mewburn. I didn't get I didn't get uh, uh, Kelly Duncan. Oh, I know. Most guys don't. Tony get- Clevenger. I say Joni Mewburn. Yes. Yeah. That's my favorite. Uh-huh. I've had a crush. I still to this day. Have you seen her since? Do you have yeah. Any- yeah. I saw her at the reunion about five years she ago. Look all right. She still looked good. Wow. Married. Yeah. Live around here. Uh. Yeah, I think so. What's holding you up? I don't know. Been busy. Yeah, uh, you have. Very. That reminds me, we have a, I have a high school reunion coming up. They sent out a little sheet of paper saying, here's the people we haven't been able to get a hold of. Two names stood out on the list. One was Bill Engvall, the comedian. He was you went my, to high school with him? Yeah, he was in my graduation class. And the other one was, I won't, I won't say his name, but he was the kid that killed himself our senior year. I was like, I don't think you're going to get a hold of him. What was his name? I'm not going to say it. Why? I'm not going to say it. Well, you didn't kill him. I, no, I didn't. What was his name? Let's just say let's just say Mike. Let's just pick a name. I don't like Mike. Is that, is that his name? No. <laughs> well, say his real name. I don't want to. Why? Well, there's probably family and friends are still here. And when did this happen? Seventy five. They dealt with it. I know. <laughs> what was his name? Let's just say. Uh, what was his name? Nikki. Nikki what? I don't want to get into this. I don't want to say people's real names. I just don't. Nikki Michaels. Yes, son. that's the name. No, who was it? I'm not going to say the whole name. Please, I don't want to. It makes me uncomfortable. Just uh-huh. just say Nikki. All right. All right. Is that his first or last name? It's his first name. He okay. killed himself over a chick. Why? He just, I don't know. You're twisted off. You're all bent out Did of Did he shape. do it in her front yard? No, he is. Oh, well, that's stupid. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's sorry. the whole idea of killing yourself. How'd he do it? Gun. Shot himself in the head? Yeah. And he didn't do it in her front yard? No. That's stupid. No. <laughs> well, well, the whole idea is to do it and make her regret every single day. What was her name? I don't even know. I really don't. Oh. What was his last name again? I don't know. Dallas police officers being given the opportunity to buy their own... Was it something weird? Assault rifle. So they can... Ma- every time something like that happens, a kid's got a weird name. Like the, the kid ever knew on the bus that <laughs> screwed the horses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he had a weird name. What was his first name? Lee. Yeah. Was it a three name? Yes. Let me turn the mics off. This always makes me yeah, laugh. Yeah, I know. What is it? 
that's all. Horse <laughs> <Or> screwer. <laughs> so did this other guy have a funny name? No. Dallas, was Michael in it somewhere? No. Dallas police officers being given the opportunity to buy something their like Cooter own assault rifles, <laughs> Nikki Cooter, so they can match the firepower Hand bone. of heavily armed criminals. Thursday, many of the officers did just that as they prepared to hit the streets with their more complete arsenal. Pending city council approval, the department has ordered 80 AR-15s to replace the shotguns some officers carry. Still, uh, Chief. Uh, David Kunkel has made it possible for patrol officers to now buy their own assault rifles. They're a little pricey, though. They're, you know, eight, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars well, Yeah, the cops where I live now, they've got those. Do they really? Yeah, they showed me. Wow. Those are nice. Local police... Uh, the only problem is they're locked up in the trunk. Oh. Well... Like a pump shotgun is mounted right, right over their head. They get it when they need it. Right. <clears throat> they got to keep them in the trunk. I don't know. I think they're talking about mounting them inside the squad car. Local police knew they needed to make a change after the November shootout with the takeover bandits in Richardson. Police with pistols and shotguns were outgunned by the automatic weapons. Hold on. Break. Yes, All right. We'll just go. Oh, the Russ Martin Show. On Live 105.3. Hey, what's up? It's Rob Riddlemoser from the Russ Martin Show, and I've got your hometown dealer, Lone Star Pontiac Buick GMC General Manager Ken Johnson on the phone. KJ, they called me away from the gym, said I had to get to the station to record this spot. What? is going on at Lone Star. Well, I tell you what, at Lone Star, Rob, we're not fooling around. They came and got you from the gym because even though it's April Fool's, guess what? We're not fooling around. We've got up to $18,000 off these 04 Utahns. i got to get rid of them. Sierra 1500s and 2500s. Take half the MSRP. 1500s, 2500s. Take half the MSRP. i got to get rid of 30 of them. i got to get rid of them this weekend, Rob. Tell all your buddies in Russ Martin Land to come see us. 1-866-8-LONE STAR. 1-866-8-LONE Star exit 39 off 75 north or online Lone Star Autos with an S.com. And I'm spreading word around the station. I think you're going to have some people coming up to see you from uh, KLLI, KJ. So are you ready for the craziness this weekend? I'm ready for all of them. Come see your hometown dealer. Tell them to see your buddy KJ. Let's get it done. I've got a lot of great ideas for my house this spring. I just need a little help getting started. You can turn your ideas into reality at the Home Depot. Right now, you'll get no payments, no interest for 12 months with any purchase store wide of $299 or more. Just use your Home Depot consumer credit card. I could use a new refrigerator, which means I'll need a new sink. Do even more with 10% off your first purchase when you open a Home Depot credit card account. Apply on the spot and save up to $200. Your one chance to take advantage of both offers together ends Wednesday. We're driving down the cost in all departments to help you renew the look of your home this spring. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Offers valid in U.S. Home Depot stores subject to credit approval. Additional terms apply. 10% offer valid through 41005. Some exclusions apply. 12-month offer valid through 4605 and not valid with the Home Depot Rewards MasterCard. Finance charges accrued not paid in full within promotional period. Maximum APR 21%. Minimum finance charge $1. See store for details. I climbed the building with suction pads. 40 stories below me, the neon city glittered like an ocean. I let myself in with a skeleton key. There were Rembrandts on the walls, and the walls went on forever. This was a man who could have anything. His face smiled from every picture on the grand piano. Acapulco Beach Party, Paris Nightclub, Ski Lodge, and always the glass, the ice, the liquid gold. I had a hunch, and yeah, lying on the shelf, there was the purple bag. The diamonds were in it. But if the diamonds were in the bag, where was the bottle? I found it in the wall safe, the unmistakable round shape, moonlight dancing on gold, crown royal. And that's when the alarms went off, like a pack of cats in heat. Crown Royal, blended Canadian whiskey imported by the Crown Royal Company, Stanford, Connecticut, 40% alcohol by volume. Enjoy our quality responsibly, but don't drink if you're under 21. Know how you drink a Crown Royal hanging from a skyscraper? Straight up. Scusi, signora, but I wouldn't do that. Do what? Eat me. You're a slice of pizza. I'm supposed to eat you. Okay, bambina. All I'm going to tell you is that you should not eat me. I'm a basically a warm, greasy sponge. But you look pretty good, pizza. Trust me, Bella. When you eat me, I'll kick around like a professional football player. So what do you want me to do? Why don't you go to a Subway restaurant and get yourself something delicious? Hmm. They have a very special deals every day, so you kind of save your wallet and your stomach at the same time. I can't believe I'm saying this, but you've got a good point, slice of pizza. Grazie, buono. <laughs> 
try our new Zesty Festo Chicken Sandwich at Subway. Roasted chicken breast, melted American cheese, and creamy pesto Caesar sauce. Try it toasted or not toasted. The Zesty Pesto Chicken Sandwich for a limited time at participating Subway restaurants. Subway. Eat fresh. Subway is a registered trademark of Doctors Associates Incorporated. How do you make a Sunday? With TV Week and the Dallas Morning News. Every Sunday, TV Week highlights the biggest shows and names you'll be tuning into. TV critic Ed Bart grades his weekly pick, and the color-coded 24-hour TV listings makes finding any show a cinch. Got satellite or digital cable? That's cool. We got that covered, too. Just grab a friend, TV Week, and let the viewing begin. TV Week in the Sunday Dallas Morning News. It's how you make a Sunday. Oh, and I need to run up and grab a new pair of work boots. Ooh, shopping! I'll go, too. No, not shopping. Grabbing a pair of Georgia boots. Of all the things a man goes through in his Georgia boots... You can't just grab. You have to think about style, fashion. I think comfort, durability. Tough working conditions, 15-hour days, falling objects. Uh, but what will the other guys say? Shopping for them has to be the worst. Come on, we'll find something cute for you. Yeah, the worst. Get it done in Georgia. Georgia Boot. Do your feet a favor. Check out the latest Georgia Boot styles up close and register to win a free pair. Visit the Georgia Boot display outside Gate 1 at Texas Motor Speedway, April 15th through 17th. And while you're there, get your picture made with a Georgia Booter. Work and outdoor footwear from Georgia Boot. No matter what you do, you can get it done in Georgia. Don't forget, Georgia Boot display on the Midway at Texas Motor Speedway, April 15th through 17th. Be there. I am a Just Breaks customer for life. Just Breaks has a very loyal following. I got pads and shoes at Just Brakes, and they're guaranteed for as long as I drive my car. They know that Just Brakes will install new pads and shoes on all four wheels for $99.88 and will guarantee them for life. They understand brake systems like no other mechanics I know. Just Brakes customers appreciate that our certified brake safety experts are trained to bring your brakes as close as possible to new car condition. Just Brakes will be there for me wherever I drive. And they know that their Just Brakes lifetime guarantee is honored at the hundreds of Just Brakes locations across the country. I will never need to buy pads or shoes again. Come into Just Brakes today for unsurpassed expertise and for only $99.88, the last pads and shoes you'll ever need to buy. I am a Just Brakes customer for life. Just Brakes. Earning your trust at every stop. There are additional charges for additional repairs. Offer good for most cars and light trucks. This is it. It's your last chance to take advantage of the incredible Truck Month deals. Sunday is the last day. Sunday, they're open until 9 o'clock. They'll stay later if you're already there. Final days, that's it. It ends on Sunday. Won't do it again until next year. Incredible deals. They've got over 1,000 new and used trucks ready to deliver this weekend. You can drive them away. But again, Sunday's the last day. You can get a brand new Ford F-150 truck. They start as low as thirteen. Eight ninety eight, saving thousands of bucks. Uh, Ford Focus, brand new, nine thousand six sixty eight. You'll never see these prices again now for another year. Ford puts all their incentives in this month. I don't know why, but that's what they do. Hundreds of used cars, trucks, SUVs, all at great low prices. Go out and see uh, Tim Kirk. See, see him, tell him I sent you. He'll direct you in the right way. They've got uh, finance managers right there on site to get your payment wherever you need it. Bring your W-2. They'll even do your taxes for you, and you can use that toward your down payment because they're trying to make it easy. They're moving a lot of trucks. Get out there. Get the best deals. And once again, Sunday's your last day. I-30 at Beltline Road in Grand Prairie. It's Grand Prairie Ford. the Texas Motor Speedway's Total Access NASCAR Pre-Race Show. Hosted by Brad Gilly, Bell Bottoms is located at 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills and was voted the best NASCAR bar in Tarrant County. Every Wednesday night, it's Channel 15 with $3 you call and set Bell Bottoms. Every Thursday night, Bell Bottoms has Jet Black, $1 domestic drafts, and $2 wells. And tonight, April 1st, it's DJ John's April Foolish Party. And the craziest undies contest with major crash prizes. I mean, cash prices. Saturday night, Jet Black plays all your favorite dance music at Bell Bottom. It's all NASCAR this Sunday. The live 105.3 Total Access NASCAR pre-race show live from Bell Bottom. 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills. And remember, at Bell Bottoms, there's never a cover. This Sunday, register to win tickets to the Chevy Suite for the next till 500 at Texas Motor Speedway. Brought to you by ChevyThunderDays.com. Spectracide, triple strike. Protect, control, conquer. Football.
<laughs> okay, seven card stud, nothing wild. About time. Any up. That includes you, Kessler. Pass that wild turkey over here. I'll take some turkey. Anybody need ice? Don't touch my cards. <laughs> <laughs> turkey neat. Nice. Time for some cigars. Oh, wow, smells great. Hey, not inside, guys. What? What? It's poker. You're kidding. I'm serious. Go outside. You are so whipped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. What is it, then? It bothers Kara's sinuses. <laughs> you are so whipped. <laughs> Shut up. And why is it so hard to use a coaster? <laughs> Shut up and hand me that wild turkey. <laughs> when real quality friends get together, it's time for real quality bourbon. Wild turkey, Kentucky straight, bourbon whiskey. The real deal. Honoring 150 years of tradition, our process takes longer, but it's worth the wait. That's how we bring you and your good friends the best. Wild Turkey, Kentucky Straight, Bourbon Whiskey. 50.5% alcohol by volume. Austin Nichols Distilling Company, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Uncompromising people drink responsibly. Time Magazine calls Battlestar Galactica one of the best dramas on TV. Get the president on the line. Tonight on the Sci-Fi Channel. It's time to do your part and realize your destiny. They will show us the way. If you're one of the millions of viewers who are totally hooked. As long as she's president, she's dangerous. I will not have blood Shit. Colonel, this is wrong. This is the one episode you just can't miss. Madam President, stand back. This is mutiny. You know that. Please tell me this was not all for nothing. Time Out New York says staying home Friday nights just got a lot more appealing. Whether you like it or not, I'm your only hope of getting off this planet. TV's most provocative fantasy adventure says TV Guide. What the hell are you doing? Go! No! Day calls it the best show on television. Battlestar Galactica, the shocking season finale. Tonight at 10, only on the Sci-Fi Channel. The Alternative Talk Station, Live 105.3. Grand Prairie Ford now has over 1,000 new and used vehicles to choose from. Grand Prairie Ford is open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Sunday through Friday and is easy to get to at I-30 and Beltline Road. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. Call Russ, who is impervious to all that surrounds him. Now, at 214-787-1053. Gavin's yeah, still adamant about getting me into his office. Just go and see what he needs. It's going to have no right. punchline. I know. He's going to get Jennifer Babin on the phone. They're going to come up with something like uh, I'm being sued or somebody filed another complaint with the FCC. Something, something like idiotic like that. Yeah. And I'm going to stand there and I'm going to wait. Then they'll giggle. <laughs> and they'll point. And then both of them go to pee sitting down. <laughs> no. I don't have time for the little April 1st. I, I know. You think he would know that if that's what he's in fact doing. He looks quite serious, but you never know with Gavin. Maybe he thinks because he's got Jennifer in on it. Yeah. And normally you can't get somebody in legal to go along with anything. No, they have not a good sense of humor. Well, yeah. And as a lawyer, you have your code of ethics to abide by. So you can refuse to... I mean, you have to refuse to do certain things. I didn't know that. Oh, sure. You're a lawyer all the time. Well, but pulling a hose isn't illegal. Yeah, but I, I'll give you an example. All right. Uh, one time you, you had contemplated a bid in which I wrote someone a letter on my legal letterhead. And I wouldn't do it because I couldn't hold myself out as a lawyer. What bit was this? And I don't even recall. We, we never did it. It was something a while back. It was something you just mentioned in passing yeah. some time ago. But yeah. that's... An, the first example that comes to mind. You know, I couldn't send a letter purporting as a lawyer to say someone's being sued, for example. I don't remember that. But okay. Well, I mean, it's okay. It's it's an example, though. I got it. Even though it wasn't illegal. You couldn't do it because of some... It's unethical. Okay. You don't remember what it was? I, I don't, because I don't think we ever got past that point. You were wanting me to send a letter to someone telling them they'd been sued or something like that. I, and I don't remember the particulars at all. Uh -huh. It's been a long time. All right. Gavin. Yeah. Are you done with your bit? There's no bit, man. <laughs> man. Bits like this. I've already called my general manager. And what did he say? 
I left a message for him. Telephone. I don't want to talk to these people. Just get in here. I don't have time, and I don't have time for your silly bits. It's not a bit. If I come in there and it's a bit, you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a bit because obviously it's a bit on me. How could you have our attorney play a bit on me? Exactly, which means I'm not in on it. What exactly did Jennifer say? She said, can you go in there and get Russ off the air? She would never do that, so I'm not buying it. How do you know she would never do that? Jennifer to tell you to come in during the show and pull me off the air? She's our head attorney. All she right. She says, can you do that? I said, I think he's going to go to a break in a while. And that's when I went into Rob to IM you. Okay. And when I went into Rob, I said, is this a bit on me? Mm -hmm. And he says, I don't know what you're talking about. So clearly you had this mastermind all day. Absolutely, and as you can hear on the air, it's a dynamic bit. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand why you do this to me. I'm not doing anything. Well, I'm not doing anything to you. Oh, why so, would I pull a bit on you? So Jennifer's pulling a, a, a nice gag on all of us. <laughs> CBS New York uh, legal nothing department, they got nothing else to do on a Friday but yank around and, and pull at your pud. <laughs> I, I don't know. But there's no reason. I have, I have no precedent. And there's no reason for her to call me into your office to tell me to, for, I, that I have to be in there to know what's going on. But I've never, you pull hoses on me all the time. Well, I, I, don't do it, I don't do it on this day because everybody expects it. Today's for the day for the uh, amateurs. So why would I do it? What did I just say? I'm wow. not an amateur. Okay. Just you, tell me what the punchline was going to be so we'd know. So, so everything that you, went to, you work for... Isn't useless. There's not a punchline. Okay. There's not. We've already established I'm not funny, so I'm not going to throw punchlines. All right. I want to know. <laughs> yeah, we got to know. How's this end? It ends by you saying, "Jokes on me." Well, that's not very funny because that let. That's stupid. <laughs> I'd have to be in on it. I know. Then why'd you do it to me? I didn't. I have to go. So frustrating. I understand. Fine. Does anybody know? Of course not. No, I have no oh. idea. Okay. Uh, you want to pick up where you left off? Sure. Oh, by the way, Rob brought us some pig's feet in case we wanted to eat them. God, did you see the list of things he bought on the receipt? No. Well, oh, it's the... horrible. Horrible. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I hear you to get, oh, you talked about pig's feet, so now we get a bag of stuff. Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. No, this is fresh pork skins. Well, you can't even eat any of this. None of it's cooked. No, no. Look look at the receipt. Hold on. Oh, this 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 mm. got stench even wrapped up. Sweet breads, fresh. What is that? What it's is like that? Some kind of a pressed meat. Why did he get this? I talked about pig's feet. Oh! Oh! Oh, God, what is that? There, it's, it's a bunch of dead minnows. Why would you need dead minnows? Look. I don't want to see them. But you're right. They are dead. What do you do with them? What does it say they're for? Uh, actually, they're sardines. Oh. Just... Dried, salted sardines. Oh, that's a snack? Yeah, and it's still got the eyeballs. Beef kidneys, fresh. Uh, Cameron Seco Pequeno. Dried salted shrimp. Fresh chicken livers. Have I done something? No. <laughs> Seven? Yes, Ken? Sweetbreads is brains. Is it really? It's one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in the supermarket. Yes, oh. breads and brains. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Why does it say uh, brains? I, I don't know. And no. how do you know what it is? No one would buy it. It's a marketing ploy. I <laughs> uh, hear chipotle peppers. I don't get that. Uh, livers. Have I looked at everything? There's another bag. 
Here's the pig's feet. And can you eat this right out of the jar? I have no clue. Are they boiled? Uh, refrigerate after opening. That's all it says. And semi boneless packed in vinegar. You can probably eat them. Yeah. Eat it. No, I'm not eating that. Eat that. I can't even look at it. Eat it. I'm not going to eat it. Don't eat all of it. Just oh, chew I around that. Just chew around the claw. Let me see it. Are you going to eat it? I'm going to just smell Don't it. Don't take it if you ain't going to eat all it. All right. I was just going to smell it. You want to smell it? Yeah. I'm afraid we open it, though. We're all going to be sick the rest of the day. Ingredients pork feet, packed in vinegar, salt, and azorbic acid. Distributed by Hormel. See, it's made by Hormel. I know. It's got the. Uh, it's pig, pig's feet. That's what it's got. Yeah. Six grams of fat, no carbs. Good. Uh, seven grams of protein. Mm. Eat it. No, I'm not eating any of that. Their feet. You're talking about eating feet. Feet. Pig's feet. 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 Walked around in pig stuff. We're not talking about thigh or breast <laughs> feet. I didn't say I wanted to. I just said I haven't. And you can stop pointing at your feet. I know where, where they go. Jar up. I'm going to open this. Okay. You want to smell it? No, I'm going to be prepared for the last hole. Oh. Well, let me see what else is in the bag. There's a half foot long jalapeno. Mm. I, I'm not really sure. What is this? Una de gato. Well, gato is cat. Cat, right? yeah. Is this cat? I'll eat that. You won't eat cat. Yes, I will. <laughs> we don't eat cat. You'll yeah. eat cat, but you won't eat feet? Well, maybe this ain't cat feet. <laughs> we don't eat cat. That ain't cat. This looks like wood. Unya. Unya? Unya de gato. That just looks like cat wood. <laughs> <What else? clears throat> Corizo. Oh, that's, that's a sausage. Sausage, yeah. Is this safe? Yeah, that's very safe. That's actually quite good. Keep refrigerated, cook before eating. Well, we can't eat any of this. Mm -mm. But the pig's feet's okay. You can't eat the pig's feet, apparently. And the uh, minnows. The dried salted shrimp. That almost looks like it might not be too bad. But this sweet brain's crap. Oh, Lord. Here, Chloe, take that. Save that for... Uh, JFK Day. <laughs> Kidneys. Got it. You want to taste some of the uh, no, I, uh, I can't. sardines? I'll puke, I swear. Will you? I, I'll, yeah, I'll be sick. Sorry. Let's try the pig's feet. You eat them. Ah, oh, come on. I, I got to eat the whole thing. I will smell them. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, it's, oh. 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 Well, get me something! <laughs> Juice went everywhere. Oh. Now this is just vinegar, right? I don't know. I guess pig's feet vinegar. <laughs> all right. All I all I smell is vinegar. Okay. Touch it. I'm not gonna touch it. Touch it. You you touch it. There, I touched it. You touch <laughs> okay, it. I'll touch it. Oh! <laughs> and what, what? Which part do you eat? I don't have a clue. Oh, don't! Just Chloe, eat it. Eat one. No. Yeah, people would like you more if you ate one. Yes. No. I got a hard time touching this. In fact, you go to pinch it and it just comes apart. Yeah, it's just like pickled flesh. Eat one. I'll give you an extra day off. I, I, I can't. <laughs> 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 he almost yacked. <laughs> oh. What did he say? <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> You're turning beet red, Clo. Are you going to yak? Oh, no, almost did. Because he was thinking about that day off. Went, okay, man, put it in my mouth. And then when this visual hit him, yeah. it was puke time. Clo, people eat this all the time. I know. But Coloreds I love it. <laughs> You don't know that. Yeah, they do. I don't. They sell it in stores. Yeah. Can't be bad for them. And it's Hormel, so you know it's safe. Mm -hmm. Eat one. How do you eat it? Well, it's. I'm sure there's a, there's a bone in there someplace. Feet have the, the bones yeah. that you can hold on to, and you eat the, the pig's feet around the bone. Yeah. What if I puke? 
Well, if you puke. There's a trash can right yeah, there. If he pukes. Well, we we give him anything? Another pig's feet. No, no. You can give him a day off if he eats one. If he, if, if he doesn't keep it down, it's not his own fault. It's not his fault. Yeah, it's okay if you vomited. Because I probably will. Okay. Well, that'll add to the bit. I can't. Just think how funny it'll be. <laughs> oh, if he pukes, I'll puke. <laughs> <laughs> I will. God, this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah. You ready? Hang on. I want a listener to tell me it's okay to eat those. It's it's from Hormel. They're fine. Semi boneless, packed in vinegar. It's got a nice USDA stamp on the side of it. Our government's approved this for you to eat. Mm-hmm. Now eat that. What does the instructions say? There are no instructions. <laughs> it says it says refrigerate after opening, and I'm sure it's already cooked. Yeah, otherwise, it would have directions. Right. On what to yeah. do. There are no cooking directions. Even soup has directions. Yeah. Hold on a second. What is it, Melissa? <laughs> hey, Russ. Hey, Grand Dragon. I just want to let y'all guys know <laughs> that you can eat those pig's feet. It's just like pickled eggs or pickled pig's feet is all it is. Okay. Thank They're you. They're completely harmless, but uh, let JD eat them. No. What is it, Jason? Hey, uh, Russ. I'll yeah. just tell you that uh, the cow brains, those are the best part of the cow. We, uh, I'm a Mexican, and uh, we eat those all the time with a uh, tortilla. That's, that's the best part next to the tongue. What about the pig's feet? Pig's feet are good, and uh, the shrimp, those little baby shrimp, if you love seafood, you'll love those. They're salty, kind of garlicky, yeah. and Let's they're eat great. I'll eat one of those. All right. Thanks, Jason. All right. All right. You going to eat the pig's feet? I'll try. All right. All right. Give everybody get a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding if I watch him puke. Not me. I just want a good seat. Yeah. Would you like a drink or something before we start? Say something afterwards. John, uh, I think there are Coronas still left in the cooler over there. You want a Corona? That's cool. Where's the opener? Do you have one? Okay. So I'm going to have something right afterwards. I understand. What about some Jack? Or would you rather? I don't don't care what it is. It doesn't have necessarily to be Corona. All right. There's a bottle of Jack. Ever open that way? Sure. Ready? You got to get, not, get a nice big one. Okay. All right. That's it. And hey. also get your finger on the delay. <clears throat> All right. Let me pour some of this vinegar out so I can get my finger in there. Oh! Oh. All right. Let me dig around in here and find you a good one. What do you got, John? I was going to get a knife in case you couldn't get the oh, yeah. jack open. All right. Let me find a bone to grab a hold of. Here's your whiskey club. <sighs> what are you turning away from? I just can't even watch this. I'm uh, seriously not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Chloe. I'm still hunting you a good one. I may have to go to the bottom. That's where they hide. Yeah. They, it keeps coming apart. At least you know it's tender. Mm, look at that. This one's still got a lot of rind on it. Oh, I found one with a bone. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Going to the bottom. <laughs> How do you put your hands in there? I'm used to it now. Okay. There. No bones. That's a nice. That's a nice fillet. Oh Jesus! You ready? And don't swallow it. I want to see you chew it. It just looks like raw chicken. It does. That's. It, you know what? got to have some kind of taste to it. Mm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's not horrible. There you go. <laughs> Caller said it was really good. All right. You put the trash can close to me. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Go ahead. Uh, stick it. Stick it. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh. I'm right with you, man. I'm right with you. You know what? I may eat one. You go ahead. Hang on a second. Let me see if I can handle this. It's just got a lot of fat in it. All right, what about that? Is that big enough to eat? Sure. Any of it. You ready? If you'd like to. All right, here we go. Oh, God. That's some nasty crap. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you black people? 
so gross. God! You ate <laughs> <laughs> money! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Ow! 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 Chloe, your turn. I dropped. I need another piece. I just actually dropped it. Oh, all right. Let me get you another good one. I had to I dig for that one. You know, it's not horrible. It's just, I don't, I don't understand the... You won't eat calamari and you just shove that in your mouth. Well, I've eaten pig before. I, well, hang on. Eat. I got you another good one, Flo. Yeah, this one's got gristle you can hang on to. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here. You got that? That's part of the hoof. Just hang on to the hoof and eat around it. Okay. The hoof? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's feet. Yeah. All right, it's here feet. We go. go ahead. Can peace. Ha! Go ahead. It's too good. You're going to have to put your teeth around it and scrape it I off. Know! Scrape it off the hoof. Does he have to swallow? Yeah, he's got to swallow okay, it. I, I swallowed mine. I know you did. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should. Oh, I can't do it! <laughs> Here he goes. I can't do it. Yeah, you can. I can't. Yeah, I'd be all right. <laughs> <laughs> God, this is a guy who can drink till he passes out and don't get sick. I have no words to describe the face he just made. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Are you gonna yak? Oh, mm. it's teasing us. I know. I know. I'm trying. It's just, I'm just a pig's feet. Thing. Eat pig all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't in long enough. <clears throat> no, he didn't, he didn't even bite all the way down. No. You want another one? Oh, Russell, that looks just that little pile you've got going. Well, I had to dig through to get him a good one. I tell you what, why don't you close your eyes? That way you don't know what's coming in. I'll drop it in your mouth. Okay. All right. All right come over here. Lean your head back. Close your eyes. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hold on. Swallow it. Swallow it. <laughs> swallow. Don't puke. Swallow it. Swallow, swallow it. Swallow it. Swallow it. Swallow it. Swallow it. Yeah, you can. Okay. Swallow. swallow it. Swallow it. Come on, all the way down. See, it's all right. It's delicious. Swallow it. Go on. Go on. Oh. 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 <laughs> swallow it. All of it. You make it worse. <laughs> oh. oh no! Just one. You all right? Not yet. I can still see it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. We'll get rid of it. Swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gone? Jack, please. Yeah, I'm there. Oh God! I don't want to have a hard time with it. That's. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <sighs> How was it? Uh, it wasn't terrible, terrible. Just the... I the, think it's because the, te the, the texture. Yeah, because it's so slimy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it just looks nasty. Like you're eating just raw flesh. Uh, yeah, normally when we eat stuff, we like it to have some type of crust or, or right. something tangible to it. <clears throat> Jesus. Lack of presentation. Yeah. What do you want to eat now? Anything after that. You want some shrimp? Yeah, sure. And you want some of this cat wood? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I gotta go wash my hands because this crap is all over. Here, here, here. Have some of this. What is this? This is an antibacterial wipe. Do we need a break? Anyone? Uh, it's, yes. Actually, what? right now. We go club. Oh, sorry. Here. <clears throat> we'll clean up. Who's on the hotline? Larry North is. Let me take this. What is it, Larry? Hey, Russ. Yes. Give me How another wipe. Handy wipe. Thank you. I'm fine. Uh, I just wanted to touch base with you. One, uh, uh, you know that I appreciate. Uh, uh, actually, before I say that, I was looking at some photographs of you from when, before you started working out. Where did you see those? To now. Uh, the, um, Rob sent them over to me. Oh, okay. And they look good. I'll tell you, you you've done a great job. And, I, and listen, I, I want you to know, I appreciate 
you promote the living bejeebers out of me, my trainers, and my company. But Give me I did want to let you know that it's not free publicity. What does that mean? Well, you know, I, listen, I don't mind, by the way. I, it's no problem, but Give I was looking... One. We did, we had a Thank financial you. meeting uh, for our one of our for South Lake basically, and I looked at the financial. I, I had a question about uh, complimentary sessions, and your personal training right now costs more than most people's mortgages. What? I don't know what he's talking about. What do you mean? I pay for my training. <clears throat> no, I I believe I I, would, I believe I do. Oh, you pay for it if I come to the club. That was the deal. Right, right, and and you've been. Well, at first we start out a couple times a week, and by the way, I think it's great you're working out. But right now, we're, we're I think we're at about twenty two sessions a month. Are you being a tight ass? I don't think so. It's just, man, I, I didn't know that you were going to train that much. I'm surprised. We went from originally, I'm not going to work out at a, a gym. Right. I'm not going to lift weights. I'm not going to change my eating. I'm not going to eat those stinking bars and supplements. To now, uh, you're working out five, six times a week. I think it's great. And? And uh, it's uh, just wanted to let you know. <laughs> so you don't want to pay for any of my sessions anymore? No, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. All right, well, shut up. <laughs> just because you move closer to his gym. So? Well, I'm saying you're working out there more. That, that ain't the whole reason. And what's else? I save $50 every time I go there instead of training here. <laughs> tight ass. <laughs> what? You are a tight ass. That's a lot of cash. Well, it is. But most people have to pay it every time. Well, how, how many of his clients have radio shows? Very few. How much free radio has he gotten? Quite a bit. Now I know why they kicked him off the word. <laughs> <laughs> he don't have a show on there anymore. I know. <clears throat> Keep acting like that. People are going to know you're a Jew. <laughs> God. <laughs> what? Nothing. It's just... How many times you work out here a week now? He used to work out three times a week here. Yeah. Now, how many? I hate this place. No. <laughs> you got an entire workout room. The radio station gave you, what, 100 square feet at least? Yeah. For workout room. And okay. Now you go to the gym every week. I don't have to pay for it. Because it's free. I, when, they, when they write down my training session, yeah. I get a nice big C. <laughs> Complimentary. Yeah. Here, I got to pay for it. Yeah. Because I got to drive out here. You're doing that. them a favor. Why? Well, because they're not having to drive out here. Yeah. Also, he's it. the one that made the offer. I never asked for any free training sessions. I don't think he thought you were going to end up doing them every night up at the club. I don't go every night. Well, he should have thought that through if he wasn't willing to follow through on his offer. Yeah. You're going to be a tight ass. Think these things out. <laughs> you want to talk. He gets a lot of free publicity out of me. Mm -hmm. And you calling him a horse face. <laughs> Pete thinks like that stick. Yeah. Uh, what did you? What is this message you sent me, Dan? Did you want some of the pig's feet? Yeah, I'll give it a whirl. I already threw them all away. All right, never mind. What else you want to eat? I got, I got the dried up shrimp. I got the catwood. <laughs> catwood. Somebody's got to know what that really is. I got the uh, uh, dried sardine, uh, salted sardines. Oh, yeah. Make him have one of those. I have the sweet bread fresh. I'm not doing the sweet bread. I've heard way too many different ideas as to what that stuff is. Is it not brain? Apparently not. Um, one person called in and said it was bull balls, but that's not right. That's not right. Uh, I think what it is, it's a gland out of the neck. Really? Yeah. I'd like to see what this looks like. Maybe if I took it out, we could tell. Possibly. All right. <clears throat> Get a little bit square of it and put it in the microwave for 30, 40 seconds. It'll cook it. You want to eat this, Club? Uh, <laughs> Just a little half inch square. <clears throat> Let me open it and see what it looks like. It can't be anything that exotic. It's, no. it's $1.72 for pound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like a big wad of white meat covered in snot. Yes. Mm. Does it have a smell from where you are? Let me see. <clears throat> smells like a wet dog. Really? <laughs> smell it. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. German Shepherd. <laughs> okay. I wasn't really thinking of breed, but all right then. <clears throat> It's just kind of without form. It looks like 
Kind of a boneless chicken. Yeah. Eat this, Chloe. Unless it's pro- professionally cooked, I'm not eating that. <laughs> mm. All right. Get the stuff out of here. It's starting to stench up on me. <clears throat> Treat yourself. <laughs> the cat stuff is cat nails? That seems to be the leading answer mm. that I'm getting. This can't be cat nails. It looks like little hunks of wood. And I don't know what you do with it. <clears throat> Another person called in and said it was a type of plant and that you're supposed to uh, put it in tea. Oh. And it's supposed to have a health benefit. All right, fine. I'm done, I'm done with the gourmet section. Uh... Line one says it's neck gland. The sweet bread. I don't care. I'm not touching it. Break here. All right. We'll be back. (laughs) We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. is out. At Dodge, we've added over a million proud new owners. My Dodge Magnum can really haul stuff. And it just plain hauls. My Grand Caravan's got exclusive stow-and-go seating and storage and 0% financing. No wonder it's America's best-selling minivan. Join us during the Dodge Spring Sales event to get the most award-winning lineup in our history. Get 0% APR financing plus a March bonus cash allowance that can save you thousands on the new Dodge car, truck, minivan, or SUV of your choice. Hey, I got a V8 in my Dakota. Lots of room and 0% financing. You gotta love those numbers. My Durango came with a smooth ride, bonus cash, and tons of room. My Dodge Ram's got great looks, and I got 0% financing. Join the millions. Log on to Dodge.com slash spring event and see what the buzz is all about. Yeah, my Dodge Ram's got a Hemi, and the deal? Sweet. Actual savings vary with loan amounts. 0% APR financing not available on Magnum. Financing and bonus cash for qualified buyers extended through April 4th. Not all buyers will qualify. Hey, it's Sybil from the Pugs and Kelly Show with Jeannie from New Fine Arts. Jeannie, when you think of spring, what comes to mind? Well, Sybil, I think of birds chirping, little bunnies, flowers blooming, a couple holding hands running through a field. Really? Because I just think of And I know just the place. New Fine Arts. What's the special this month, Jeannie? We're going to keep the buy one, get one free deal on all four-hour DVDs. But for all of you VHS lovers... Is that some new fetish? No, Sybil. VHS tapes. (laughs) All multi-hour VHS tapes are buy one, get one free. So spring ahead to New Fine Arts. New Fine Arts has three locations. West Mockingbird near Harry Hines, Northwest Highway near I-35, and Shiloh at Northwest Highway on the east side. Or call 972-869-1097. New Fine Arts promotes safe sex. And And lots lots of it. it. In the Kitchen with Johnny Caraba and Damian Mandola, founders of Caraba's Italian Grill. Hey, JC, what's your favorite dish at Caraba's? Hands down, it's the Polo Rosa Maria. Let's make one right now. What do you say? Come on, man. Get with it. See this fresh chicken breast I have there, Johnny? Oh, that's pretty. Now, look, I'm going to put prosciutto right there on that butterfly chicken breast. Look what I have here, JC. Fontina cheese. It melts in your mouth. Oh, man, that looks good. Okay, look, I'm going to put that cheese on top of the prosciutto. I'm going to fold that chicken breast back over. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. And we're going to let that... Just Ooh. sizzle away. I can see a little of that Fontina cheese oozing Starting out. to ooze out, baby. While that's grilling, let's make our sauce, huh? I'm going to take some mushrooms here, white wine, fresh basil, a little touch of lemon juice, just to kind of spark those flavors up. You're an artist. They say Michelangelo was pretty good, too. <laughs> We're going to put that chicken on the plate. Here comes the sauce. Is that delicious? Mm. Come to Carrabba's for the Polo Rosa Maria. It's not your typical Italian. Visit Carrabba's in Lakewood at the corner of Gaston and Abrams across from the Lakewood Country Club. Chevy's NCAA March Madness event. Big deals for the big dance. Now extended through April 4th. There's big savings from GM, an official corporate champion of the NCAA. It's another early morning. Time to get up with the sun. It's time to pack up the truck and get ready for another long day. That's right. The NASCAR Bush Series is in town. And the only thing you'll be working this weekend is the grill. 
So grab your friends and some cold bush beer and get ready to party well into the night because a fan's love of the race has no finish line. Beer and easy drinking Bush Light for 24 years running. Proud sponsor of the NASCAR Bush Series. Speed ruled, fan fueled. Head for the mountains of Bush Beer, Anheuser Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Please drink responsibly. How'd you like to have satellite television and 100 bucks cash back? You can get it with the Dish Network today. There's no gimmicks. There's no hidden fees. you got to call them, though. 888. What are you doing? 834-1999. The stench won't come off my hands. Hand me the, the, the little ice right. It's over here. Here, close. Spray my hands. <clears throat> Thanks. That vinegar is tough to get out. Yeah, this isn't the vinegar. It's the... Uh, the Calbrine? Whatever it is. <clears throat> yeah, the thing that smells like wet dogs. Okay. Yeah, walk out of the studio and then walk back in. It's oh, really a reek in here. Uh, yeah. Overwhelming. All right. Oh, we got two more cans of Lysol. Uh, 888-834-1999. They're going to give you 100 bucks to switch over to satellite television. It's better than free. Uh, they have the lowest all-digital price in the country. It's thirty one ninety nine per month. That it gives you the local channel, so you will not get that with cable. Try. Go ahead. It's going to cost you about 50 bucks a month. And the equipment and installation, that's free, too. Normally, the cable company helps you, pays, you know, charges you to install that, but not with Dish Direct. Up to four rooms with a Dish and with a DVR recording in every room. Or if you go high def in two rooms and DVR in two rooms, you can take your pick either way. And you still get the 100 bucks. And they'll do it on your schedule. 888-834-1999, seven days a week. It's the only way to go. And they'll give you the 100 bucks just for switching over to Dish Direct today. 888-834-1999. Well, folks, five more minutes and this 2002 expedition's all yours. Oh, we were a little scared. Credit's a little shaky. Yeah, then we saw the banner on your roof. We welcome bad credit like food poisoning. Welcome stomach pumps. <laughs> Catchy, huh? Oh, the credit manager's looking over your numbers as we speak. Is he, uh, tough? And, uh, tough? You folks like riddles? All right, that's a credit manager. Humor him. Uh, yeah, we love riddles, don't we, honey? Mm-hmm. Terrific. Here's one. What's got four legs and won't be driving home in that Ford expedition today? Ooh. That's no good. Uh, we'll take that as a no. At Drive Time, we only work with people who have bad credit. That's all we do. And because we're our own bank, we can put your past behind you and get you financed. That's why we're different than other dealerships. Come in today to see the difference in a great selection of quality used vehicles, like Chevy Tahoe's or Ford Mustangs. For the Drive Time dealer nearest you, call 1-866-DT-LET'S-GO. Credit status affects payment APR, down payment, and term. You'll have to excuse him. He's nursing a boil. Happy to hear it. I heard that. Oh. Low Jack recovery story number 110,004. Par for the course. There are some places you would never park your car, where you just know shadowy characters are lurking and hardened criminals roam freely. Places like a country club in Scottsdale, Arizona. But that is where a woman tempted fate and parked her new sedan one morning before hitting the links. And a couple hours later, the 19th hole turned out to be the empty parking space where her car used to be. Fortunately, her golf bag came with a cell phone and her car with low jack. So within minutes of reporting the theft, the police had the car in their possession and the country club Tufts in custody. Proving once again that while there is no place your car is ever safe, neither is the thief who steals a car equipped with low jack. The only security system used by police to recover stolen cars, low jack. Get it? and get it back. Over 3,000 cars are stolen every day in this country. Look after your car. Get LoJack, the only stolen vehicle recovery system that works with the police. LoJack. Get it and get it back. Nail salon. Hi, do you have Wi-Fi? We got Manny's Patty's Massages. You want your back wax? Pizzeria. Uh, do you guys have Wi-Fi? Is that a type of cheese? Body shop. Hi, do you have Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi? Sounds German. I could order for you. Might take a couple of weeks. Need to work wirelessly? Don't get stuck searching for limited Wi-Fi hotspots. Get Verizon Wireless Broadband Access and work on your laptop where it's convenient for you. With wide area coverage, you can work throughout the Dallas-Fort Worth area and 29 other major markets across the country. And with average speeds of four to 700 kilobits per second, you can download large files and email attachments quickly and securely. Millennium Coffee Shop! Hi, do you guys have Wi-Fi? No, but we 
we have a laser light show. Stop searching and start working. Sign up now and get great savings on a Verizon Wireless PC card. For more information, call 1-800-899-4249 or visit verizonwireless.com. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. Network enabled by Lucent Technologies. Coverage not in all areas. Speed claim based on our network test with 5 megabytes FTP data files. Actual throughput speed and coverage vary. Broadband access covers over 75 million people. J.D. Ryan with the Russ Martin Show and DFW Gun Range and Training Center is the Metroplex premier indoor gun range. Whether it's cold, whether it's hot, you want to be indoors. And if you thought about getting your concealed handgun license, only place to go. I got mine there. Russ got his renewal there. Joy's getting hers there. Large selection of handguns. Try them before you buy them. One place only. DFW Gun Range and Training Center, three blocks east of Stemmons on Mockingbird Lane. I'll see you there. A safe and secure workplace is the key to maintaining an efficient and profitable business. And the Southwest Group Protective Services helps you accomplish this by encompassing the entire spectrum of security-related needs. By employing extensively trained security officers that will provide your business with all its security requirements. We're also available for personal protection and private investigations. Call the Southwest Group Protective Services, 214-688-0700. That's 214-688-0700. 700 or online at swgprotect.com. For over 20 years, it's been the biggest event in sports entertainment. And this Sunday, live and only on pay-per-view, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Los Angeles, California. WWE presents WrestleMania. Starring the game Triple H in an epic battle with the animal, Batista, for the World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, GBL clashes with John Cena as the WWE Championship is on the line. And undefeated at WrestleMania, the legendary Undertaker collides with the legend killer, Randy Orton. Plus, Raw showstopper, Shawn Michaels, takes on SmackDown's Olympic champion, Kurt Angle. And it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit featuring the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rattlesnake! The Rattlesnake! WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Don't miss WrestleMania. Live this Sunday at a special starting time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on pay-per-view. Don't miss WWE WrestleMania 21. This Sunday at 6, live and only on pay-per-view. Order WWE WrestleMania 21 through your cable or satellite provider today. Number one, thanks to you. Howie Stern, Hudson Kelly, Russ Martin, Tom Likas, Love Live. This is KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, the alternative talk station. Live, 105.3. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. understand what the prayer vigils are for. I have no clue. Uh, raise your prayers. I don't know. But look how look how many people are just outside waiting for him to croak. Yeah, what are they going to do when he dies? at the Vatican? Yeah. What's the point of waiting outside the Vatican? I, I, I really don't understand. The idea is just to be close to him. I, I don't get it. When he dies, Catholicism's not going to collapse. No. I'm not bagging on the guy. No. He was a cool dude. He's had a wonderful and, life. Yeah, he's had a bunch of stuff. I don't understand what the prayer prayer vigils are for. It's time. Yeah, yeah they need you, someone who can speak. He's going to he'll you don't have to pray for him to go to heaven. That one should be a shoe in. Yeah. Yeah, if he don't make it work. Yeah, when they throw him into heaven, that should be nothing but net. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't write that down as the promo. Yes, <laughs> yes I'm afraid so. <laughs> it's visual you can't ignore. <laughs> That's right, Pope Net. <laughs> Seriously, but you're right. It, it shouldn't you be celebrating a wonderful life and a fantastic man? That uh, maybe the eyes, you know, and... maybe they're praying that he's not in pain. But really, if he's the Pope, he's covered. Sure, God's got this one. So they don't need a bu- Yeah, they don't need a bunch of people pointing at him, going, "Make sure you got this guy." <laughs> he knows him. Yeah. When he goes to heaven, <laughs> he's there. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. the Italian media is already no backboard. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> The Italian media is already reporting that he's died, which the Vatican, of course, denies for whatever reason. Oh, I was admonished today by Marty, your accountant, too, to tell you not to make fun of the Pope because you don't understand the Catholic religion. So a Jew is going to tell me about (laughs) Catholicism? That's what he said. Make sure Russ doesn't make fun. He doesn't understand. (laughs) Okay, I'll make a note of it. Can we get back to my taxes? Why are we talking to him about your taxes? Just because it's time. Two weeks. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. 
I'll go ahead and have him file my extension now. <laughs> Just bring your stuff to me and I'll take it to him. Will you? Yes. Once a year, I go see Marty and I make sure that Joy calls me 20 minutes at in, in, in intervals to, he get, does, yeah, don't make any to get away. I've done that in the past. Marty's been doing my taxes since 1984. Mm -hmm. And every single time, I have to plan on an escape route because he don't let you go. He gets your taxes done, does a dandy job, does, but he don't shut up. Ever. I know. He's the, he's the follow you out to the car guy. Absolutely. As you're driving away, he's still wanting to talk. And I act like I can hear him through the window. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great tax guy. But he don't hush. No. And he wants to tell me to tell you, lighten up on the Pope. <laughs> okay. You don't I'll, I'll take that under advisement okay. from, the, from the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I don't know the guy. I know. I'm talking about the Pope. The Pope. Nice guy. I'm well, sure he's done a lot of good as his reign as the Pope. And he'll be missed. And I'm glad that people are concerned about him. But in the overall scheme, I don't really care. I know. I'm sad that another human's dying, but I don't know him. But he's had a wonderful life, done wonderful things. And a lengthy papacy. Yeah. 78? Yeah. 79, I think. Somewhere in there. Is that when he took over? Yeah, I believe so. All right. Yes, Cindy? Hey. Yeah. They're praying so he doesn't suffer. They're not praying so he goes. Why suffer. would he? Why would he suffer? Well, because he could suffer. He could hurt. Well, if God could control whether he suffers or not, why would God oh, let him go through any come pain? Come on, come on. Come on, what? Oh, well, I guess uh, you have no heart. Well, no, what? Why? You're not making any sense. Well, I am making sense. He's sick, and he's he's been through a lot, and they're praying. All right, so let suffer. me let me ask you this: If no one prayed, God would let him suffer. Well, no, but All right, people then, feel so, better that way. What? People feel better doing that. Okay. Well, and why is your radio up in the background? Huh? I don't know, because my husband's over there. I'm actually outside. Are you done? Huh? Well, I just want you to understand that. That's what people... It didn't make any sense. Well, he's... His He's the Pope. Suffers. God's going to take care of him. Well, we hope you don't have does. to. You don't have to do any extra prayer for the Pope. He's well, the Pope. He is the Pope, and he's been a great Pope, and he's done a lot of good things. But you understand what you just said doesn't make any sense. Well, people feel better. Well, you can feel better, and, and that's okay. And I think that's basically what you get out of prayer is you feel better about it. As far as what's going to happen, I don't think it changes anything. Well, you never know, though. I'm yeah, so you're right. Russ, I'm suffering. <laughs> Why are you suffering? Because I heard that guy on the news the other day say that bad word. Oh, I forgot about that. I haven't played that audio. No. Did I you really? That. Did you call Channel 5 and complain? Did I? Not yet, but yeah. I plan on it. Yeah, you should. Because I was home with my 13-year-old girl when I heard that. Yeah. And you know what? Wow. They didn't apologize. They started laughing about it. They were laughing their butts off. Yeah. That was a bunch of crap. Mm. Did they, I mean... Can they get in trouble over that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. If I dropped the c word on the air, mm -hmm. they they'd come for. They wouldn't send paperwork. They'd come for me. I mean, all right. Thanks. <clears throat> have you heard it? Yes. Uh, what do I have in here? Well, where is it? Uh, Rob. Yeah. Where's the sports guy, Dewey Groom, uh, dropping the c bomb? <laughs> no, uh, I can pull it real quick. Dewey no, Scruggs. Who? Newey Scruggs. What happened to Dewey Groom? <laughs> that was a ballroom in Fort Worth. Or uh, Dallas. One of the other. Bleep anything out? No, I wanted, I wanted to hear the entire <laughs> word. <laughs> can't, can't play it anyway. <laughs> yeah, bleep it. Got it. This room still stinks. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Um. <laughs> Why is it not in here? I thought they already sent a copy to Chris over at VertBiz. Because obviously, if the word's bleeped out, you don't get the you don't get the full flavor of it. No. But if we put it on the internet, I can float the C bomb. That's true. Yeah, I dropped the C bomb, and there's going to be several multi-jurisdictional investigations <laughs> going on. Coming after you at the door. Yeah, you do it on on television. 
there's no stink. No. They laughed about it. Same channel dropped the F-bomb one day. Yeah, because that lizard jumped on him. <laughs> yes. He's doing one of those, what do you call those shows in the mornings? Just, like a magazine type. Yeah, midday whatever. magazine news sort of happy time. Yeah. They're doing an animal segment. This lizard jumps off the table onto one of the anchors and he screams, what the F? <laughs> Loud. <laughs> Very That's funny. He don't get in trouble? No. Well, there's no delay, no way to catch it, and he didn't do well, it. Well, you know what? That's As far as the FCC is concerned, that's no longer an excuse. Clearly. Well, and it shouldn't be. I mean, you shouldn't be able to insulate yourself against prosecution just because you don't have technology. Yeah, so take the delay out of here so I don't have to worry about anything. Then I can't be fined. How come I don't have the audio? Go get it for me, Chloe. But make sure the C-words bleed. Let me look at my website see if Chris has got it up. <sighs> no. Dan, call Chris at BirdBiz and tell him to uh, post the Dewey Groom audio. <laughs> Newey Scruggs. That's who it is. Oh. Decided I wanted a tug. Mm. <sighs> All right. Ready to go with news again? Mm -hmm. Never really finished. Yeah, we can start again. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, Robert. Hello, boss. Yes, sir. You hit the nail on the head about the prayer thing. It really doesn't do any good. You said that, you know, if it doesn't do any good, why pray? Well, that's, that's the whole deal. It allows it doesn't do anything for the person or to god or whatever it allows you to feel free of the responsibility of having to do something that's all it is yeah. it makes the person who's praying feel better i don't mind praying to say thank you i appreciate this yeah. i appreciate what i got yeah but if you're down there every time and that's the only time that you go to god is when things have crapped out and you're asking him for stuff that's if i was god i'd mash you <laughs> yeah it, it's basically a cosmic coin flip because one way or the other, you're, something's going to happen if you say, you know, somebody's terminally ill and say, you know, I'd like for them to get better. Right. Either they're going to get better or they're not. It's a cosmic coin flip. And anybody who comes back and goes, well, you know, they didn't get better. It was God's will. Well, it's not God's will. It just was, that's the way it happened. Right. It played out that way. Yeah. You, you, you prayed and you prayed on the wrong side this time. Right. Maybe but, next time you'll be luckier. But the person who's praying gets the thing of, well, you know, I prayed and I released it into God's hands. It makes them feel better. That's all that's for. I, I just think it's funny that, that, that people pray and they're thinking that, that God's on the fence about something. Yeah. yeah. Decide. yeah. It's just somebody would tell if me somebody would tell me how to handle this one <laughs> as, as, as ruler of the universe. Yeah. Right. All right. Thanks, Robert. Smith right. and Des Moines could just tell me what to do. It's My favorite month. is sporting events. You know, football games, both yeah. sides praying to win, you know, and you're wondering who's God really for? And you have to wait till the end of the game to Thank find God out. Thank God for this victory. Yeah. <laughs> like God liked this team better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is this audio? Yes. Is it bleeped? It is. Okay. <sighs> okay. I don't know what night this is from. And I think the story is about concessions at the ballpark someplace. Oh, that's what it is. All right. This is audio from Channel 5 and Dewey Groom. <laughs> Excuse me, Dewey Scruggs. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> the sports guy from Channel 5. <laughs> what happened to Dewey Groom? <laughs> He was from the 60s. He was like a country person. I don't even know what he was, really, to be honest. He's never done sports. No. Uh -huh. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. He grew, but wasn't he's, in a ballroom? Uh, he had a, a ballroom. ballroom, yeah. Uh. That's a different guy, though. We don't know that. <laughs> he was a foul mouth. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. The delay on? All right. Just in case. I don't want to get in line behind Dewey. No. There will be a new enemy to dieters at the ballpark this season. Today, the uh, oh concession stand unveiled the big hot dog. That all I got? But you can hear at the end. Yeah. They don't gasp. No. Like, oh. like we're in trouble. We should shut up. They laugh. Yeah. It's funny to them at Channel Five to talk about the C word and being on a diet. <laughs> There will be a new enemy to dieters at the ballpark this season. Today, the uh, oh concession stand unveiled. <laughs> See, they think it's funny when you guys... Well, he's going for a different word. And that's not what? just... 
Gash? No. <laughs> what, Dan? I was going to say, it almost sounded like Jane McGarry liked it. Yeah. You could actually hear the smile in her laugh. I'm guessing the guy is Tim Tom Snyder? Tom, Mike, Tom, Snyder. Mike, Snyder. Mike Snyder. Mike Snyder. I'm guessing that's him, and the person laughing is Jane McGarry. Mm-hmm. You think probably, she's, probably laughing out of professional courtesy. Most likely. <laughs> you think she's laughing because it's funny or because she knows that Nui's in trouble? Yeah. Because most chicks oh, don't yeah. laugh at that word. No. Well, the, maybe they laugh if they hear somebody else yeah. being called that. But maybe she's laughing because she knows now that uh, Dewey's in trouble and he's going to have to sell this ballroom. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. There will be a new enemy to dieters at the ballpark this season. Today, the... Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> unbid, the big hot dog. Now, that was an accident. Yes. You shouldn't be fine for that. No. But as wiggy as the FCC's gotten, he could be. He could ther- theoretically get popped for that. Mm-hmm. That word is a major fine. It's a big one. Luckily, when JD dropped it three years ago, <laughs> don't bring this up. <laughs> we didn't get caught. Don't bring this up. And we there was this room was packed full of people, and we had to go back and listen to the replay before we heard it. I swore yeah. I wouldn't. I couldn't have said that. Well, he's big on sneaking stuff in. You know the backward mm. stuff. I understand, but this one was Hillary Clinton, and he was talking about some of her bitchy comments, and he got he got it right in between bitchy and comments, <laughs> and nobody heard it. How do you do that? I I don't I, know. I, I want to know how I missed it. We all missed it. You didn't. Then Eddie went back and pulled it, and just stood in the window with his mm. pale look on his face. <laughs> One more time. Let me see if it's on my website yet. The clip is up. Yep, there it is. He's got the wrong name on it. It says Nui Scruggs. That's who it is. Did he change it for a professional? <laughs> <laughs> when the ballroom closed? No. <laughs> all right. Check the quality really quick. Internet audio. Why am I hearing that? I don't know. Okay. Oh, I got it. Let me click on this. And. There will be a new enemy to dieters at the ballpark this season. Today, the cup. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get enough of it? I yeah, did. that's good. Very good. All right. All right, the audio's good. You can hear it unedited on the website. And you probably want to hurry because I got a nice feeling that Channel 5's going to send, send me a cease and desist. Most likely. So, listen to it. Tape it. Keep it for yourself. But it's probably not going to be up there long. Okay. Line one. All right. We don't have time for news? All right. Thank you. What is it, Chris? Hey, uh, hey, Russ. Hey, Grand Dragon. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, did you, were you listening to Pugs and Kelly this afternoon by any chance? Why? Because Eric started crying. Dude, uh, died. He, Eric was Eric? what? Yeah, Lip Peter, man. He started crying. About what? Because he thought the Pope died. You know, whenever Channel, was it, Fox and CNN, they started saying Pope died and he really didn't die? Right. Well, they, they said his, his brain waves went flat, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Eric started crying. He was crying on the air and he had to get off the air because, you know, he was like, he couldn't. And then they found out that uh, that the Pope hasn't actually died yet. Yeah. And, I mean, they were, they were ragging on him for a while because he was crying because he thought the Pope died. Like it was his grandfather or something. I understand being sad when somebody of prominence dies. I don't know that I ever get weighty about anybody. No. Yeah, but it's just like you said before. You know, you don't know the guy. You know, it's not like you. You know, you went to a couple ball games with him or something. Yeah, I never saw any of his shows. I didn't hang out. I never saw any of his sermons. I don't really know what he was about. He just seemed like a stand-up guy that put his 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 only life aside for God, and that's exactly. pretty cool. But I'm not going to wig out over it because I don't know him. I got as much respect for the priest down the street as I do for the Pope. Hmm? As far as as far as I'm concerned, they got the same connection to God. Exactly. It was funny, man. They kept going to uh, Eric talking to him, and he's just—I mean, you could hear it in his voice. I mean, he was still like broke up. He he, was—I mean, he was having trouble talking, and 
I mean, you, you could hear the tears in his voice, man. It was crazy. I couldn't believe that. All right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> I heard Kelly out the hall screaming about something about the Pope. It's not somebody. It's not funny. It's not funny. Why would well, who I? Who said it was funny? I don't know. I was in the office, and I normally don't pay attention when they scream. Huh. Rob was hearing it too. I don't know what he said. Well, it is. You know, we can't view it from the same perspective as Catholics no. because it's not our religion. These people were brought up to believe that this is, you know, essentially God's emissary here on Earth. Well, so we know every twenty, thirty deep. years they're going to go away, and there's going to be a new one, and life will go on. Yeah. No, I agree. I'm just. We saying. understand the cyclical nature of uh, the papacy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Very uh, nice. Thank you. Mm. A little toast. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Uh, yeah. And I don't care about taking any of those. Are you on a break here? Uh, yes. Okay. And we'll come back and we'll start news again. Turn it up. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. Number one afternoon show is found right here. The Russ Martin Show on Live 105.3. Hey, honey. Yeah? Should we add one or two more lines on our new America's Choice Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless? Who's the third for? Uh, Marcy. Don't you think she's too young? She's not too young to tie up my phone for hours. Maybe she could tie up her own. How much? Nine ninety nine monthly access per line. Only nine ninety nine. Yeah. Well, her birthday's coming up. And I'll get my phone back. Okay, but get one for Natalie too. Well, she's only thirteen. Yeah, but she can already talk her head off. I thought I saw something roll by. Pick it up, Brad. Pick up the new Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless, now with no roaming charges, and you'll get two lines for only $59.99 monthly access. And you can add a line or up to three for just $9.99 each. So sign up today at a Verizon Wireless communication store or inside Circuit City and join America's best, most reliable wireless network, Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Subject to two-year customer agreement, $15 activation, and $175 termination fee per line. Other charges and restrictions. Coverage not available everywhere. On USA Network, Sunday night is the toughest night of the week. Go, Jack. Huh? What kind of name is that? I've got soul! Starring in his first television series. And I'm super bad. Ving Rhames is Kojak. Hey! You think I look tough? I'm a lot tougher than I look. Bald is back on the streets. You lie to me one more time, I'm gonna smash your face in. And he's carrying a lollipop. Are we cool with that? It's a whole new take on an unforgettable cop. Who's this guy? A cop who's not just bad. And I'm super bad. He's super bad. You play by the rules, Kojak. Come on! You play by my own. And he swears to serve and protect. Nobody should ever get away with murder. By any means necessary. My city, baby. Once you go bald, you'll never go back. So what are you gonna do about it? Ving Rams. You know how this goes down, right? Chaz Palminteri. Now you do what you have to do. And Rosalind Sanchez. You're not asking me to bend the rules. You're asking me to break them. I've got soul! Catch all new episodes of the new USA original series, Kojak. Bad. Sundays at 10, 9 central, only on USA Network. When I say the word free, the first thing that pops into your head might not be bank. <laughs> but that's because you haven't been to South Trust. I just opened a new South Trust checking account and I got so much free stuff, I couldn't believe I was in a bank. First of all, the checking is totally free. Plus, I got a free check card with free Visa Extras rewards. Free online banking with free online bill payment. No South Trust fee when I use other banks' ATMs. And it's all free. No monthly service fee, no minimum balance, no direct deposit requirement, no strings attached. Banks and free stuff. Hmm. If you have trouble thinking about those two things together, it could be you're with the wrong bank. Stop by a South Trust Financial Center today or call 1-800-CALL-STB for your free personal checking account. You're not just another customer. We're not just another bank. Member FDIC. On January 3rd, 2005, South Trust and Wachovia Bank N.A. merged. South Trust is a registered trademark of Wachovia Corporation. If you've been in a car wreck, your bankruptcy things on the future, call 1-800-THE-DOGS, legal representation with BITE, 1-800-T-H-E-G-O-D-S. It's the Frankels, Frankel and Frankel. And the, if you don't have, let's say, health insurance, that's not a problem. If you've been in a car wreck, they have medical facilities that work with them. Hit by an uninsured driver, you still call them. Uh, they may have uninsured motorist protection on your vehicle. Hit by a drunk driver, you may be entitled to punitive damages under Texas law. Punitive damages also are additional money to punish the guy that hit you, pretty much. Studies show that people get larger recovery 
recoveries when they use a lawyer. And they still handle Medicare, Medicare malpractice, nursing home neglect, on-the-job injuries, things like that. Car wrecks, maybe you're looking at bankruptcy, one number to call, Frankel & Frankel. 1-800-THE-DOGS, legal representation with bite. 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S. Did he get it wrong the first time? Yeah, but he, he got it right the second time. The uh-huh. phone number? I like the first version, though. one 800 the gods <laughs> Well, the same thing. How do you do that? They'll both go through. (laughs) (laughs) You can grab life by the horns. Dodge. So I was on Mavs.com the other day, and I checked out SBC Home Court. Home Court? What's that? It's this site that lets you check out pro basketball players' homes. What was that like? Mind-blowing. You should have seen this guy from the Mavericks. Wow. What was it like? Well, he lives in a 60-room mansion atop his own, get this, private mountain. Really? Yeah. And a team of 27 specially trained monkeys waits on him hand and foot. Oh, that is so awesome. Awesome. I've always wanted monkeys. What, what, what else? Uh, his TV set is the size of a swimming pool. Of course. The living room, entirely made out of marshmallows. Oh, unbelievable. I know. I'm, I'm messing with you. <laughs> uh, what? I can't believe you thought he had a room made out of marshmallow. I oh, know. Uh, I knew you were kidding. Well, he did have a team of trained monkeys. That part was true. Really? No. Don't take someone else's word for it. Log on to Mavs.com and see for yourself how your favorite Mavericks players live at SBC Home Court. They'll take you on a guided tour of their own homes and let you see the technology that makes it special. Visit Mavs.com and click on SBC Home Court. Dog, I'm serious. Why is my hamburger talking to me? What? You never heard a hamburger talk? No. Well, I never saw a guy wear a tie with cats on it, but you don't hear me getting all up in your grill about it. I'm going to eat you now. Oh, come on, man. It's ludicrous. You thinking of eating me when you can have a delicious Subway fresh toasted salad? You had one of those yet? Mm -mm. Man, it's all crunchy toasted on the outside with melty bubbly cheese on the inside. And you can get your choice of six fresh baked breads, fresh fixings and whatnot. It's a delectable monstrosity. That's amazing. What amazes is that you haven't tried a Subway Fresh Toasted Sub. Hmm. You're right, Hamburger. Of course I'm right, man. Just run on down to a Subway restaurant before your lunch break in. What should I do with you, then? Man, just go ahead and plop me down next to that fine lady on the bench. Mm, look at it. Try our new Zesty Pesto Chicken Sandwich at Subway. Roasted chicken breast, melted American cheese, and creamy pesto Caesar sauce. Try it toasted or not toasted. The Zesty Pesto Chicken Sandwich for a limited time at participating Subway restaurants. Subway. Eat fresh. Subway is a registered trademark of Doctors Associates Incorporated. Arthur the doorman. Uh, hello, Arthur. Sean Burns from 14B. Ah, uh, yes. B for Burns, sir. How are you? Fine. Did I get a package? Ah, uh, no, Mr. Burns. No package has been delivered. Let me look. Mm, no. Really? It should be here by now. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Burns. Your bottle of Crown Royal has not arrived yet. Arthur, I never said it was a bottle of Crown Royal. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you did. No. Yes, you did. No, I said a package. Oh, no, sir. You said Crown Royal Fine Deluxe Canadian Whiskey, just like it says here on the label. If it hasn't arrived yet, how do you know what the label says? I'm a good guesser. Uh, where are you right now? In the lobby. Mm-hmm. Do you see that man on the payphone across the street? Oh, my. Someone's stolen your coat, sir. That's me in my coat, and do you know what I'm looking at? Mm, a doorman who just found your bottle of Crown Royal. Crown Royal, blended Canadian whiskey imported by the Crown Royal Company, Stanford, Connecticut. 40% alcohol by volume. Enjoy our quality responsibly, but don't drink if you're under 21. Welcome, Mr. Burns. Let me get the door. Thanks, Arthur. Can I have my package? What package? Here in the Lone Star State, the official bird is the mockingbird. The official flower is the blue bonnet. And the unofficial amphibian is the gecko. You didn't know that? Well, then you must never have called GEICO for your free rate quote on car insurance. Or if you've called before, it's time to call again. You could discover the impressive savings that makes Texans love the gecko almost as much as they love the official fish, the Guadalupe bass. In fact, GEICO drivers are so happy with their decision to switch that they've given us one of the highest satisfaction ratings in the business. How much could you save by switching to GEICO? Find out with a simple phone call. Then you'll be all ready to pack up and hit the road in Texas. Just watch out for the official state animal, the armadillo. To find out how much you could save by switching to GEICO, give us a call at 1-800-947-AUTO. That's 1-800-947-AUTO. Or log on to GEICO.com. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Whoever invented the phrase, all that in a bag of chips... Must have been talking Comcast high-speed internet. And for just $29.95 a month for six months. You can see what we mean. Now with up to six megabit downloads, Comcast high-speed internet is faster than grease lightning. Files, music, movies, multimedia, whatever I want, I get 70 times faster than dial-up. And five times faster than DSL. With cutting-edge features like entertainment, sports, and news instantly from the fans. Stream and burn music with Rhapsody. Photo shows, animated photo albums. Plus Comcast home 
network is the easiest way to connect up to five computers through the internet at once. A whole lot of chips and not a lot of green. Just $29.95 a month for six months. Plug in today to Comcast, America's number one high-speed internet provider. Certain restrictions apply. Not available in all areas. Actual speeds vary and not guaranteed. Comparisons for download only compared to 56K dial-up and 768K DSL. Price doesn't include applicable taxes and franchise fees. Claim based on number of residential subscribers as of May 28, 2004 is reported by Yankee Group. Regular rates apply after promotional period. Offer ends for 30 Limited to new customers. Call for details. K-L-L-I. Dallas, Fort Worth. I know you are, but what am I? It's all about morals and values. And we're proud to say we have none. The Alternative Talk Station is live. 105.3. to the Russ Martin Show. Call Russ now at 214-787-1053. Okay, we'll just start news again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, here we go. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at all the different channels. Oh, they're all covering it. All right, nobody says he's actually dead. It all says uh, Pope near death. The other one said no hope for the Pope. I saw that. <laughs> Cute. Uh. All right. <sighs> 533. J.D. Ryan's here with news. Thank you, Russ. By, to us by Townies Ford. Clo will be there Saturday, actually. Uh, he'll have he'll be there from uh, 10 o'clock until noon with free tickets to see the Dallas Desperados and tickets to the Dallas Cowboy Draft Day Party April 23rd at Gillies. Uh, higher, <laughs> higher costs of gasoline in the eat in the household budget. It also means that some sick and elderly people who get Meals on Wheels service every day may get bumped. Each day, 2,700 homebound elderly, sick, and disabled clients get a nutritious meal. Gas prices hovering just about 2 bucks a gallon. Gallon drivers are dropping out, and fewer are volunteering. In the last few months, three times more the dri- more drivers have quit than usual because of the shortage of volunteers. Meals on Wheels now is paying people to go on some of these routes. The organization could spend about two hundred thousand dollars this year to feed about two hundred people. Mm-hmm. During the low carb craze, which peaked back in February this last year, the company called the Atkins Nutritional folks. How do they know when it peaked? And they said it's that's just what they say. It peaked in February, and now it's kind of fading out. Sales must be down of Atkins-related products. Well, actually, they, they had a whole bunch that they couldn't sell, so they ended up shipping them to... Oh, sh- Atkins? Yeah, right. at, the company. 14 truckloads of low-carb food to the Christian Appalachian Project to be distributed to poor mountaineer hillbillies in <laughs> Appalachia. That uh, region includes most of West Virginia, parts of Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Ohio, Virginia, North Carolina, and Georgia. In some parts of the Appalachian region, there are double-digit unemployment numbers, and some people have to choose between buying medicine and buying groceries. That was kind of a nice thing for Atkins to do. Since they couldn't sell it. Well, we yes. Maybe I'm in ketosis. <laughs> 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 Damn. <laughs> All right, out of Wisconsin. <laughs> Say it again. That <laughs> will be funny. Yeah, yeah, it really will. <laughs> Maybe I'm in ketosis. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Pageant officials have stripped the crown from Ms. Wheelchair, Wisconsin, because she was caught standing up. Jenny Lee, uh, who's 30, has muscular dystrophy and used a scooter. She was disqualified after she was shown in a picture in a newspaper standing up with her high school math teacher. Lee had planned to go to the national pageant with her younger sister, who also has MD, and uh, <laughs> on the competition in Minnesota. <laughs> Keep <Keith> tells us. <laughs> An investigator in the Michael Jackson uh, case. Hold on. Do it. Mabel, I'm in ketosis. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, an investigator in the Michael Jackson case testified today that dozens of sheriff's deputies were involved in the search of the singer's ranch just because they only had one day to carry it out. 69 investigators were needed because of this district attorney told them to conduct the search in one day so as not to burden the ranch and its employees with their presence any longer than that. Uh, acknowledged today, or Wednesday rather, that the number of investigators involved was greater than would typically be involved even in a murder investigation. Defense attorney tried to suggest that they went overboard just because Jackson is a celebrity. History came alive at Love Field in Dallas. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I'm all right. Stop ahead. it. Yeah. History came alive at Dallas Love Field yesterday when Southwest Airlines hosted 13 living legends, better known as the Tuskegee Airmen. And uh, But don't tell them they're a part of black history. They just want to be part of American history. A group of honored, the group was honored, rather, thanks to a pair of Southwest Airlines mechanics who think more need to know their story. They were part of an experiment that was designed to fail during World War II. Blacks were considered too weak to fight and too dumb to fly. They fought Nazis in the sky and racism on the ground and beat them both, escorting Allied bombers. They never lost a single aircraft. I never knew that about the airmen. Oh, just, yeah, it's a famous story. It was just cool that Southwest Airlines had a day yesterday, and they had they had old airplanes flying by, and, and they just did a whole presentation. The few that are left, I think there's only like a handful left, 10, 10 or 15 out of 500 that started out. Lee Archer was the first black airman uh, to down five enemy fighters. You <laughs> know, like this. First black guy, to, that normally makes you Somebody that they sent out expecting him to fail. Correct. And not come back. Correct. And he knocked down five enemy fighters, which normally makes you an ace. But the, the very next day, headquarters called and said, we can't give him, he can't be an ace. He only shot down four and a half. How do you shoot down half an airplane? <laughs> they, they just refused to, to say that a, a black guy. Well, they had pilot. to go back and say, well, our plan didn't, really didn't work, work out. These yeah. colored that we didn't think we were going to be able to do anything were. Yeah. Never lost a single plane and were aces. They still uh, took it all with class and grace, opening the door for people like Lou Freeman, the first African-American chief pilot for a major airline. Only a handful remained in the original 500 Tuskegee Airmen, but the inspiration they spread will outlive them all. Now, the blue, bl blue bonnets are out. Texans looking for the Lone Star State's finest wildflowers now has some help at their fingertips. A hotline, Texas Department of Transportation wildflower hotline is up and running. For what? <laughs> Offering... The best spots to get your pictures taken oh. and potentially kill your children on the side of a highway to get a picture and some flowers. <laughs> I thought maybe since it's illegal to... All right, go ahead. No, it just says the best places to go get them. Hotline callers can request information on the seven regions in the state. April is considered the prime time. They just like popped up just in the last few days. Yeah, they really have. I haven't seen them. All down 30, going to Fort Worth. Yeah, I was coming out of down 183 and you just yesterday, they didn't, I don't think they were there. Uh. Today is Drive Your Lawnmower to Work Day and in Richardson... I, I tell you, I almost fell off the side of my house with the lawnmower. <sighs> Dear God. Wait a minute. You fell off the side of your house? Well, the, the, the land on the side of the house. What is it, Dan? The first time I saw it, you're talking about the front yard, right? Off on the side? Yes. The first time I saw that, I thought the first time he gets drunk and tries to mow his lawn, he's going to kill himself. Yeah. Unbelievable. And that's a hell of a drop. That's like six, seven feet. Yeah, with a big old lawnmower laying around on top of you. Uh, what, which part did you see? Because the side of the land, I don't know why the hockey guy that owned the house. Yeah. We've already talked about this, haven't we? Well, the the side of the land, as you look at the house, mm -hmm. there's the fence line on each side, mm -hmm. and you assume that's it. That's all the land that comes with that house. Now, since it's on the corner, he buys all the wooded crap that goes all the way down to the street. Right. So from the fence line all the way to the street, and from the front of the house all the way back <laughs> to the country club. <laughs> Jesus. All that wooded strip he bought, mm -hmm. which means I got to tend to it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's probably at a... But it didn't have any grass, does it? I yeah. thought it had that little plant stuff. No, it's, it's got a bunch of grass and weeds. So I, I got out as far as I could with the mower. Yeah. And I got in one spot, and the mower starts to tilt. Jesus. And at that point, now I know why James told me it's got a roll bar. I was able to straighten it out and go straight down the hill. You really do have a roll bar? Yeah. I didn't know that. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, I was confused. I thought you meant on, if you're looking at the house, the left side of the house with the big retaining wall thing. Oh, no, yeah, I could fall off that. I won't yeah. get anywhere near that with the mower. Because okay. all you got to do is accidentally go a half a foot in one direction, and you fall off. And you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Secondary. <laughs> well, today's Drive Your Lawnmower to Work Day. And Richardson, a handful of outdoor equipment enthusiasts, did just that during rush hour. That was a big add. story on Channel 8 today, by the way. Vinny, was it wasn't really? Yeah. Oh, you can carry it. Vinny, uh, Vinny Minchillo and other members of the 
They have an association, U.S. Lawn Mower Racing Association. Figured that's the best way to spread the word about this alternative way to get to work. Racing Group was founded 14 years ago on April Fool's Day, but has moved beyond the punchline, as it say. They have racer, they've nicknamed their machines like the Turfinator, Sodzilla, the Lawn Ranger puttered down the city streets to promote their appearance during the next lap of the Nextel Cup event at the Texas Motor Speedway, April 17th. Sunday marks the day when you turn your clocks forward. That's right, it's daylight saving time. And it's been mandatory in the U.S. except for Hawaii, Arizona, and about half of Indiana since 1966. According to the stats compiled by the Howard Miller Clock Company, the extra hours of afternoon daylight <laughs> trim electricity usage and reduce traffic injuries and crime. Farmers say actually it throws off animals' feeding schedules and employment researchers say they, that lost hour of sleep reduces productivity by about 30%. If you have trouble adjusting to the time chain, sleep research. Uh, Ray Sheldman says, actually having very intense sex the night before, Saturday night, before the, we changed the clocks. We understand. In, uh, just releases a chemical that helps you sleep. Yeah. Okay. Say it again. Maybe I'm in ketosis. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. There's <laughs> a little bit longer version of uh, Dewey Groom. <laughs> Newey Scruggs. Hmm? Newey Scruggs. Are you sure it's Nui? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was curious to see how much longer they laughed at this. Okay. Because I think at that point, that really is is as damning almost as the word. Yeah, you don't point it out. You just move on like we did when I said it. We didn't say anything about yours because we all missed it. I know. Because you sneaked it in Thank like you do the stuff backwards. Yeah. It was obvious that he said it. And then they laughed at it. So probably at a certain point, to mitigate your damages, mm -hmm. you come back and go, you know what, that was a slip. I was, I was trying to say this, and then this came out. Like the guy did when it was uh, Martin Luther King's birthday? What, I can't remember what he said. Oh, I know what he said. Let's not do it. I don't remember what it was, but he it made was, a slip. It was, I'll turn the mics yeah. off. It was Martin Luther. That was it. Yeah. And, and he, he said it was an accident. And he came back and apologized. That's not an accident. Of all the words to slur it into, that ain't an accident. Mm -hmm. Well, but I think the word after that was such, I don't want to say it, but was such that you could combine King with that word and come up with what he came up with. Let me turn the mics off. What? Oh, I got it. <clears throat> okay. All right. It's a little bit longer version of the uh, Nui. 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 Scruggs. Got it. Shallow left with the bases loaded, but Jackie Garcia yeah. makes the tag, I mean, makes the catch, then holding the runner at third. In the third, the Rangers down eight nothing. When David Delucci comes through with the home run solo shot to right, not enough. Rangers lose tonight nine to six. There will be a new enemy to dieters at the ballpark this season. Today, the uh, concession stand oh unveiled the big hot dog, which is a half pound of all beef meat. The ballpark held the tour of the. What is Snyder saying? Something, something about somebody's going to love that. Yeah. Let me pump up the levels a little bit. Mm -hmm. Six. There will be a new enemy to dieters at the ballpark this season. Today, the uh, oh concession stand unveiled the big hot dog, which is a half pound of all beef meat. The ballpark held a tour of the new menu today. All right. <clears throat> So obviously, they found humor in that. Mm, no enough. apologies. No. Just let it go. All right. Eric Thyssen, a psychology professor at Carnegie University in Pittsburgh, just wrapped up a study that he finds baby talk actually helps babies learn to talk. It's difficult to test this type of thing. Oh, that's babies. what makes them talk like mongoloids for the first few years. Well, uh, kids? Yeah. No, it doesn't. You lean over in the crib and you're going, ba 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 ba. And then the first thing the kid says is, ba, 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 ba. No. Yeah? No. Why don't you just talk to them normal? Well, they say actually since Because they... they're going to mimic what they hear. No, that's not what they say here. Well, well that's the way you learn to talk. Okay. Psychologists have found that they can gauge how much effect something has on a baby by how long it holds his attention. So the researchers read different sentences to 40 different babies, some of them in the little sing-song baby tones, yeah. some of them in a dull adult tone. Uh -huh. Then they played back either whole words 
or parts of the words that the baby had heard in the sentences. If the baby's attention was held longer when the whole words were played, that shows the baby had recognized and learned those new words, and they found the sing song was the way babies actually paid more attention. If you're talking like this, the baby's going to pay attention. Or you poke it in the head. No, <laughs> poke the baby in the head. <laughs> hey. No, <laughs> you don't. Poke in the head and talk normally. No. Yeah. No. That way you're keeping their attention. Tyson believes that this is because of the intonation of baby talk with its swooping changes in pitch from word to word, catches the baby attention, baby's attention, then helps that baby begin to recognize where the words begin and end. I thump it at no. the beginning and the end of the sentence. <laughs> Tyson <laughs> says adults seem to find it very natural to switch into baby talk because parents have instincts. Teach it to fear punctuation. <laughs> <laughs> and instincts are right. Thumping is wrong. <laughs> on Tuesday, Rhode Island State Senate approved a bill that would impose a $100 fine on any pro athlete or entertainer who charges anyone under 16 for an autograph. The bill passed in Why? the Senate unanimously. Because these guys are multi-million dollar paid athletes and they're charging kids money for their autograph. Actually, they have these Well, but a lot of sessions. times people go back and they sell these autographs. Some they put them, them on eBay and they sell them. That's why it says And it. adults will send a kid up to get the autograph. Well, that does happen, I'm sure. Uh, now it goes Hold to on. The, what is it, Dan? I was going to say, J.D.'s right. It's the broad thing within the state, but it's also, it comes from one specific instance. After the World Series, a handful of Red Sox players who won the World Series went to a signing in Rhode Island. And we're charging two, three hundred dollars for autographs. They were specifically there for that. Specifically there for. All right, that. so people knew when they got there they were going to have to pay for the autograph. It Ab wasn't a shock. Absolutely, it's it's not like you see, um, you know, Emmett Smith at the gas station and you ask for his autograph. Right. It's you walk into the place, you know what you're getting, and you're paying for it. And on almost every signing like that, you pay for it now, right? Like if you go in and you go see Mickey Ma or who's somebody alive. Let's just stay with Emmett Smith. Okay, Emmett Smith, you go in, and you know to get a football signed or a jersey, it's going to cost you X amount of dollars because Emmett knows there's a chance it's going to end up on eBay. Absolutely. Well, and the more that he signs, the less valuable each successive signature becomes because there's more out there. Yeah. I don't have a problem with them. I, I, will I go pay to get one? Mm. Not a chance. No. But if you got something and somebody else wants it, then you're stupid enough to give them the cash. You know, like I said, it just charges anyone that... Under 16, if you, if you charge somebody under well, 16. But an adult but can right, send somebody 15 years old to go, hey, go get this on And that will happen, no doubt. And I'll split the cash with you. Mm -hmm. Or I'll, you know, here's $50, go get this signed. You're right. Sometimes that's all the income that they have. Oh, please. <laughs> then nobody wants their, if that's all the income they got coming, nobody wants their signature anyway. Actually, actually, you're right about that in some cases. Because some places, some players may have actually had a pretty good name while they played. Right. And... You know, let's say they just you know ran into some bad luck, like a Hollywood Henderson, until yeah, he, he hit the lottery. Working. You know, his autograph is about the only money he could probably make. Well, JD ended up pulling tickets for Southwest Airlines out of Baltimore or somewhere like that basketball player we oh, talked about. Yeah, what's yeah. his name? Cedric Sabalas. Yeah, gate agent. It's sad to watch, especially like old celebrities. When oh, we went yeah. to California about three or four years ago, I don't me. think you went, Jay. I didn't go. Ever yeah. you went. I was just thinking about that as we were, you guys were talking about this. It was a convention of old TV celebrities. Yeah. And they sit there at a at a big long table in a great big room, and you walk around and you look at the celebrity and you decide, do I want to pay ten dollars to get his autograph? Yeah. And you walk and you walk past him and you make eye contact, and if you keep going, you know that that guy knows it. You made a decision that he yeah. wasn't worth ten bucks. He wasn't the guy. Oh. Yeah, it's almost like being and, and it's all old it's, people. It's like walking through a pound. Yes. <laughs> At the contact. nursing home, like you're trying to pick out an old person to take home with. Yeah, you. nah, I don't like that one. Mm -mm. I feel guilty when I pick out Christmas trees. If I don't pick out one, I feel oh, that one don't. <laughs> it feels bad for me. Well, the tree don't look at you, make I eye know. contact, and you keep going past. Yeah, because there were some pretty big. I mean, obviously, you know, Russell Johnson, the professor, was yeah. there. We, we that, in see. fact, that was the reason we were there. We knew that Russell was going to be there, right. and we were supposed to have dinner later. So we thought, you know, we'd stop by. Uh, Ernest T was there. Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rooney. Now, I stopped. I got his autograph. Mm -hmm. And I felt bad because I walked by and Martin Milner was there from Adam 12. Adam 12, huge. Nobody was paying him any attention. No. And that was a huge show in the early 70s. Wow. And I walked past and he's sitting there and he's by himself and he's got a cigar box and it's full of the cash. And you walk up and you get the autograph and you give him the $10 and he puts it in a cigar box. <laughs> That's sad. That makes my heart hurt.
Yeah, it was very pathetic. And it was even worse than that. There are people there that you knew you'd seen, you know, because everybody there had been on an episode of The Twilight Zone at one point or yeah. another. Yeah. But there were people there that you knew you'd seen, like maybe in that and some other things, but that weren't well known enough to where you even know their name. And they're just, of course, absolutely nobody's paying any attention to them ever. I remember there was this one lady, and I don't know her name. She was in some Andy Griffith episodes, Twilight Zone. Hang on a second. You may, um, you may recall it. She was sitting next to Ernest T. Yes, she was. And I'm getting an autograph from Ernest T., and she starts pushing her pictures over, like, yeah. hey, I have some, too. Oh. Oh. And I looked up, and, you know, she was a sweet old lady. I went, I don't know you. Oh. <laughs> Ross, why would you, you do did. that? Because I'm not giving somebody $10 if I don't know who they are. It's going to be us in the gallery in 20 years. <laughs> I know. That's the sad thing about it. I'm the Martin. I'm going to be sitting at the gallery with my cigar box full of $10 bills. Maybe. <laughs> Russ Martin Milner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think who else was there. Uh, Dr. Smith from Lost in Space. I remember him. Ruta Lee was there. Yeah. You know, because she was big at being at Casa oh, wow. Uh I'm, tr I'm trying to make the room in my head. A lot of people from Everett's right from uh, the Twilight Zone. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it was. It was a Twilight Zone convention. Oh, all right. Well, then. I don't remember Ernest T. being in one of those. I don't either, but he was there. He, he must have been. I oh, mean, Julie Newmar was there. Okay. She looked pretty good. Yeah, she did. All right, how are we doing, Chloe? Thanks. All right, go ahead, John. Okay, this will be some audio. Jane Fonda spoke recently to Time Magazine, and she revealed why she lost her husband, Ted Turner. And she says, basically, she finally spoke her mind about feminism and uh, demanded some changes in their relationship. She told Time that, quote, complete, uh, the complete feminist self finally came out, quietly nourishing uh, mm -hmm. while the marriage deteriorated. As you can imagine, Ted Turner was not feeling the same thing. She says, the fear is always that if you speak up, you're going to lose your man. Meanwhile, also in an interview, this will be cut number one, interview airing this Sunday on 60 Minutes, Jane talks about her visit to the North Vietnamese anti-aircraft gun site in 1972. Cut number one. I will go to my grave regretting that. The image of Jane Fonda Barbarella, Henry Fonda's daughter, just a woman sitting on an enemy aircraft. She's selling a book now, right? Yeah, she is. She got okay. a book coming out. She didn't decide to come out and say she's sorry until this book came out? Correct. All right. Luckily, none of the vets are going to fall for this. You would think. Oh, no, they still go out and protest now, even when she comes to I town. Know. Even though we're talking about somebody from uh, something from 67, 68. So somewhere yeah, in there. Yeah. yeah. They still come out and protest her from something that happened 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. And originally I thought, you know what, guys, let it go. But I'm glad they're still crawling up her ass about it. Still to this day. Barbarella, Henry Fonda's daughter, mm. just a woman sitting on an enemy aircraft gun. Mm hmm was a betrayal. It was like I was thumbing my nose at the military and at, at the country that gave me privilege. Mm -hmm. It was the largest lapse of judgment that I can even imagine. I don't thumb my nose at this country. I care deeply about American soldiers. Really? So that's why you were sitting on an enemy gunner free thing? One yeah. night, Vadim well, brought another well, woman into... Hey, hey, you know, she says now, well, it's a great lap lapse in judgment, but... Again, you're, you're right. Why did it take so many years? And when the book's coming out. And it, it's not like you walked out into public and you misspoke and yeah. you said something stupid about the war or you, you, there was something on television you ran out and went, you know what, I need to protest this. She had to pack. Mm -hmm. She had to get on a plane. Right. She had to go on the plane ride. She had to get off the plane. She had to go on a convoy. And then she went and hung out with those people. It wasn't something that happened just in a blink of an eye. It's something that happened and she had plenty of time to think about exactly. it before she did it. She don't get off the hook for this. I agree. Unless I can play with her cans. <laughs> <laughs> you probably can these days. They're fake. Are they really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I haven't seen her that way. Cut number two, speaking of her sex life, this is about when, when, her, when she was with her first husband, he forced her into having sex with other women. Cut number two. One night, Vadim brought another woman into my bed with me, and... I went along with it. And did you I, like it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yes, you do. You don't know. No, yeah. I really don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, do. I, I, um, Yeah. I'm competitive, so, you know, <laughs> I was going to keep up with the Joneses. It was the 60s and whatever. And I would get drunk. Yeah. And uh, uh -huh. I know one thing. Mm -hmm. It really hurt me. 
it, it, it reinforced my feeling that I wasn't good enough. Why did it hurt her? I felt that if I said bring in a no, she -mail? no, that he would leave. <laughs> no, because those are hard to compete with. <laughs> I couldn't imagine myself. Well, it is. <laughs> they got it all. Well, you know, you admit <laughs> that you... <laughs> what, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? That is like J.D.'s light. They got it all. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is like the convenience store. <laughs> you can't really compete. <laughs> 7 Eleven of swinging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. Do you care any more of that? Uh, There's a little bit left, but it doesn't matter. What else? We'll go on. Uh, Pamela Anderson. Well, that'll be on uh, Sunday night, by the way, in 60 minutes. You can hear her the rest of that interview. All right. Pamela Anderson is throwing her support behind Britney Spears. Tired of the pregnancy reports, Britney Spears this week lashed out of the tabloid media for apparently just making stuff up about her. Anderson told Access Hollywood that she could go so crazy on everybody for misrepresenting or misjudging her character. But at the end of the day, hopefully pe people realize that the tabloids are just awful. On March 30th, by the way, Spears wrote an open letter to what she called the false tabloids. In her letter, she writes, As you read this letter, I bet you're asking yourself, Who? Who, me? Am I a false tabloid? <laughs> well, I don't know, but after this posting, I hope you're asking yourself a lot of questions. Us Weekly, In Star, The Star, and are you desperate magazines? Do you want your employees to lie? Uh, I'd like you to ask yourself some questions. What's wrong in your life? Are you 50 pounds overweight? Is it your children are making bad decisions? Or maybe your husband or boyfriend's cheating on you? I guess Hurry up, I gotta pee. You'll remain false. She's all twisted. Good. You wanna wrap it up? Hold on. How are we doing, Chloe? Badly? What else you got? Uh, Halle Berry dating Heavy D. <sighs> <laughs> Hold on. Who's Heavy D? He's just a big fat rapper guy. Um, trying to think of he had a couple of hits, but I don't think you'd know him. Um, um, now that we found love, what are we, what are we going to do with it? <sighs> All right. So I don't know. He's just a big fat rapper. What does it say about her? Us Weekly him? says an intimate dinner in Los Angeles about two weeks ago. They held hands on the way in and out of the restaurant. But Heavy D's rep said they're just friends. So they've known each other for a while. Why does everybody go ape about who's going out with who? I don't know. It's just it's, something to talk about. It's such a big thing. I mean, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston splitting up. You would. Well, think. I know, and it, and now Brad's with Angelina, mm -hmm. or supposedly. Yeah, supposedly. All. They're doing photo shoots for some movie that they're in. But I don't. I don't get the big draw. It's just it's the tabloid shows. There's so many of them. And they got to fill with something. Yeah. They got well, people minutes. identify with people in the media like that, and. Live vicariously through them. So when things happen like that in their and we lives, we want to see them fail. We want to see them in pain because it makes us feel better. Well, maybe you do. I certainly do. Paris Hilton thinks Wizen in the Sink is hot. It is. <laughs> <laughs> she apparently walked in. Her and Kimberly Stewart, Rod's daughter, walked into a bathroom at a club somewhere. They were in the same stall for quite a while, and they caught some other girl. When they came back out, she was going in the sink. Basically, Paris Hilton was quoted as saying, "That's hot." Well, I was in the stall one day. I came out and Gavin was uh, <laughs> no. sitting in the sink. No, you weren't. Yeah. Uh, it is hot. No, it's not. <laughs> it is. No. Uh, you don't care about that. Let's see here. American Idol finalist smacked his girlfriend around a few years ago. Do you care about that? Yes. So uh, Scott Saval, I guess, may be known for his uh, vocal styles as one of the final uh, nine in the American Idol, but his name, name strikes fear in the heart of at least one woman, his baby's mama. Turns out back in February of 02, or excuse me, 01, Saval was arrested for domestic dispute with Michelle Martin, his then girlfriend and mother of the four-year-old son. Basically, he was moving out, they had a little tiff to tiff, and he pushed her around. She called the cops and had him arrested. All right. All right. Whitney Houston's going went back into rehab. It wasn't her doing. It was court-ordered. Do you care? No. Uh, beauty shops out this weekend. I have audio from that. No. There's news and information. I'm J.D. Ryan. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. Mm. It's an afternoon fraternity with a lot of hazing. The Russ Martin Show on Live 105.3. It's Sybil from the Pugs and Kelly Show. Join me this Sunday from noon to 2 p.m. at Sport City Cafe, 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard in Mesquite, and we're going to be there for a big NASCAR watching party. I'll have your NASCAR tickets out there for the Texas Motor Speedway, including tickets to the Bush Qualifying Race, the IROC Series, and NASCAR Qualifying Tickets. Also, tickets to the O'Reilly 300 Bush Series Race. So join me, Sybil, from the Pugs and Kelly Show this Sunday from noon to 2 p.m. at Sport City Cafe in Mesquite, 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard, with the Alternative Talk Station, Live 105.3. 
GMC's NCAA March Madness event. Big deals for the big dance, now extended through April 4th. There's big savings from GM, an official corporate champion of the NCAA. Your attention, please. Northern Tool and Equipment has decided there are entirely too many occasions dedicated to women. Women have Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. Women have the wedding anniversary. Well, it's time we created a holiday just for men. And so from this Saturday forward, this holiday shall be known as the Demo Day Power Sale, where everything will be 10% off. That's right, 10% off everything Northern Tool and Equipment carries this Saturday. So while she gets a dozen long stem roses, you get an eight-horse diesel power generator that'll never die. While she gets fancy French truffles, you get a pressure washer that can remove all traces of the color pink. This new holiday is also a good time to restock on grease, work gloves, and duct tape, too. Or to simply watch a demonstration of your favorite tool in action. The Demo Day Power Sale. Another giant leap for mankind. This Saturday, power up for spring at Northern Tool and Equipment, where warriors prepare for battle. Visit us in Garland, Grand Prairie, and White Settlement. Some exclusions may apply. See store for details. Want to cash your paycheck for free? Sign up for a VCOM membership at 7-Eleven during March. Then you can cash checks free until tax day. And we're open 24 hours at participating 7-Eleven stores. <laughs> hey. oh, that was so much fun. Oh, I can't oh. believe that was three years ago. Oh, no way! Three years? <laughs> you guys want another round of wild turkey? This one's on me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got one. <laughs> can I get two wild turkeys on the rocks and two with cola, please? I'm starving. Tom, can you check on our table? It has been a while. I'm ready to eat. I'll be right back. Don't drink my turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Olkowski, party of four? You're Olkowski? We called you over an hour and a half ago. Should I put you back on the list? Uh, yeah, I think we'll just eat at the bar. Bartender, more turkey, please. Oh, when real quality friends get together, it's time for real quality bourbon. Wild Turkey, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, the real deal. Honoring 150 years of tradition, our process takes longer, but it's worth the wait. That's how we bring you and your good friends the best. Wild Turkey, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 50.5% alcohol by volume. Austin Nichols Distilling Company, Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Uncompromising people drink responsibly. Time Magazine calls Battlestar Galactica one of the best dramas on TV. Get the president on the line. Tonight on the Sci-Fi Channel. It's time to do your part and realize your destiny. They will show us the way. If you're one of the millions of viewers who are totally hooked. As long as she's president, she's dangerous. I will not have bloodshed. Colonel, this is wrong. This is the one episode you just can't miss. Madam President, stand back. This is mutiny. You know that. Please tell me this was not all for nothing. Time Out New York says staying home Friday nights just got a lot more appealing. Whether you like it or not, I'm your only hope of getting off this planet. TV's most provocative fantasy adventure says TV Guide. What the hell are you doing? No! Newsday calls it the best show on television. Battlestar Galactica, the shocking season finale. Tonight at 10, only on the Sci-Fi Channel. The enemy has numbers on its side. You've got the power of Spectracide on yours. The power to protect your home from invading weeds. Control them quickly. Conquer them completely. With Spectracide Triple Strike Grass Weed Root Killer. It starts to work immediately and kills all types of weeds and grasses. Completely down to the root. Spectracide Triple Strike. Protect. Control. Conquer. Just when you thought it was safe to go back outside, another invasion hits. You've won the war on weeds. Now it's time to battle bugs. With Spectracide Triassicide, our number one brand in outdoor insect control. Triassicide gives you the power to protect your lawn and landscape from all types of invading insects, including grubs. To control them quickly, conquer them completely above and below ground. Spectracide Triassicide. Protect. Control. Conquer. When it comes to your life, no one has more services that revolve around you than Charter Communications. Whether it's choosing from hundreds of great channels, ordering a hit movie without leaving your house, or experiencing the internet faster than ever, only one company lets you do it all. Charter, not satellite. 
Plus, with Charter, you'll enjoy all of your local channels and clear reception in all kinds of weather. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER and save on Charter Cable and Charter High Speed. Charter High Speed Internet Service, now faster than ever with up to 3 megs. That's up to twice as fast as most DSL connections. You can't get all this with satellite. So call now and get great savings on both Charter Cable and High Speed Internet. Packages start as low as $29.99 a month for three months. Plus, save $400 when you ditch the dish and switch to Charter. Make your world revolve around you. Call 1-888-GET-CHARTER and get hooked. Restrictions apply. Call for details. All right. DNM Auto Leasing. Any area code, 35 lease, 35 L-E-A-S-E. When you get a hold of them, tell them what you want to lease. Um, if you've already been to a car lot... And you've got the VIN. Actually, that's going to be the, the most advantageous way to go. If you've got the VIN, give them that number, and they'll tell you exactly what it's going to cost to lease that car because in that number is, are all the options and everything that the car has. Uh, or you can go to the website, dmautoleasing.com. On that website, there are manufacturer's links. Click on those, put together the exact car that you want, the wheels, the engine, the interior, whatever. Uh, the spinning wheels. Put that together, send that to DNM. They'll tell you on the phone what it'll cost to lease that car. And if you're still not sure, do I want to lease, do I want to buy, have them work up both numbers. It, they'll show you what it'll cost to buy that car, what it'll cost to lease. If you decide to lease, no money down. 30 to 40% every month you can save over buying when you lease from DNM. Call them, they'll tell you all this on the phone. Any area code 35 lease or pull them up on the web. It's dmautoleasing.com. Lojack recovery story number 96,510. Take out the garbage. One morning in Florida, a teacher turns her SUV into the parking lot. Then, without even raising his hand first, a man with an assault rifle yells at her to get out of the car. He then jumps into the SUV and peels out of there. But her teacher, clearly toughened by educating 9- to 12-year-olds, immediately calls the police. Forty minutes later, a panic-stricken car thief is chased by several police cruisers tracking the SUV's low-jack signal. The carjacker finally bounces off a truck and comes to rest against a garbage dumpster, a destination made even more fitting when it turns out he's wanted on murder charges. Today's lesson, while a car can be stolen anywhere, it won't get far if equipped with LoJack, the only security system used by police to recover stolen cars. LoJack, get it? and get it back. Over 3,000 cars are stolen every day in this country. Look after your car. Get LoJack, the only stolen vehicle recovery system that works with the police. LoJack, get it and get it back. Weekends are a lot more exciting on Live 105.3. Jimmy Johnson in the middle group. Carl Edwards looking for the lane on the outside. They're nose to tail off the corner, literally touching bumper. Johnson tries to squeeze him. Edwards to the outside. Jimmy Johnson to the inside. Edwards riding the rim on the top side of the racetrack. Down to the stripe. They touch. Edwards at the line. Beats Jimmy Johnson. DFW's home of NASCAR and Texas Motor Speedway is the alternative talk station. Live 105.3. Try an old favorite a whole new way. Try a Subway Fresh Toasted Sub. Subway, eat fresh. For over 20 years, it's been the biggest event in sports entertainment. And this Sunday, live and only on pay-per-view, WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Los Angeles, California. WWE presents WrestleMania. Starring the game Triple H in an epic battle with the animal, Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. Plus, GBL clashes with John Cena as the WWE Championship is on the line. And undefeated at WrestleMania. Of the legendary Undertaker collides with the legend killer Randy Orton. Plus, Raw showstopper Shawn Michaels takes on SmackDown's Olympic champion Kurt Angle. And it's Rowdy Roddy Piper and Piper's Pit featuring the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Don't miss WrestleMania. Live this Sunday at a special starting time, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on pay-per-view. Don't miss WWE WrestleMania 21. This Sunday at 6, live and only on pay-per-view. Order WWE WrestleMania 21 through your cable or satellite provider today. The chase for the 2005 Nextel Cup is found here. KLLI, Dallas. Fort Worth, the home of Texas Motor Speedway is live 105.3.
How many you got? Oh, three or four. They any good? Yeah. All right, hang on to them. Let me do traffic. Hi, Gail. Hi, Russ. What do you got? 7-Eleven and CompUSA. This Saturday, tomorrow from 8 a.m. to noon at CompUSA, get the latest technology at a low price at only 7% over their cost on select products. See store for details this Saturday at CompUSA. In Dallas on eastbound I-30 at Dolphin, only one lane is open. Traffic is backing up toward downtown as a result of that. Northbound's whole way is heavy from Mockingbird Lane past LBJ all the way up there to Keller Springs. On westbound I-30 at Jim Miller, you've got a wreck in the right lane. That backed up to St. Francis. Not that big a deal. And in Arlington, southbound 360 at 303, the two right lanes are blocked and traffic's backed up all the way to 183. So what's inside? The J.C. Penny Huge Sale, Friday and Saturday. Everything's on sale. Everything, plus door busters, door busters Saturday, 8 a.m. till 1. It's all inside J.C. Penny. I'm Gail Lightfoot on the Russ Martin Show. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. With a bunch of... <laughs> A bunch of us buy America online. Go to live 1053. <laughs> That's not that funny. For your free trial. 42 for the low tonight. Tomorrow, the weekend's going to be beautiful. <laughs> Mid upper 70s, both Saturday and Sunday, with lots of sunshine. 65 and sunny. Now, live 1053. <laughs> Whatever. I said you got me. Oh. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do it again. Huh? You want to do it again for the listeners? It's not that. It's, no. I was doing it just to see if I could Gail could get Gail to laugh. Uh, yes, Steve. Yeah, I just had a comment about that uh, Jane Fonda piece in the news. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a Vietnam vet. Uh, I don't accept her apology. It was treason 35 years ago. It's still treason today. Yeah, I wouldn't let her off the hook. If if I was over there and I was having to go through everything that happened in Vietnam, because that seemed to be one of the more nastiest, nastier wars. Right. Yeah. Uh, that you know that we heard about police action. Yeah. And she's over there hanging out with the enemy. I don't know why they let her back in this country. Well, the basic reason is because it wasn't a declared war. It wasn't officially considered aiding and abetting the enemy. Yeah, it's funny uh, how things change if you just call it something different. Mm -hmm. It ain't a war. No. It looks just like one. Never mind the guys are dying. Yeah. Tell them it's not a war. Yeah. Tell the guy that got, got no legs that he was actually, uh, uh, we had those blown off because it was a police action. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that'll make a big difference. <laughs> yeah. It's like they're never, they, you'll, never, you'll never miss them. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So now, quit your bitching. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. It's police action. People lose legs all the time. Hush. Yeah, if I was a Vietnam vet and that bitch was over and I saw any of that, no, she's never getting off the hook unless she lets me play with her cans. Mm -hmm. Would you want to at this point? <sighs> she still doesn't look too bad. Well, but that's on television from a distance with makeup. Yeah, but cans still poke out pretty good. How old is she? 63? Yeah, 60s. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably not. Uh, all right, let me take this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi, John. Hello. Yes? Yeah, I called uh, Channel 5 to complain about what I heard uh, Louis Scruggs say the other night. What did they say? Uh, they really just blew me off. I kept telling him what happened, that my 13-year-old daughter overheard it. They heard him say the C word, and she was asking me what that was. And they were just like, well, you, you took it out of context. No, you didn't. Uh-uh. <laughs> that, that's all he said. Oh, well, you took it out of context, or maybe you misunderstood. Who did you talk to at Channel 5? Steve Young. What did they say his position was? I called, and I just asked to speak to someone there because of something that offended me on the air. And he said, I can handle your call. He was the one that answered the phone? Yeah. Well, you talked to the receptionist. What's that? You talk to you talk to the receptionist. Yeah, I mean, I asked. I told him I had a complaint, and I said, "Who do I need to talk to?" And he says, "I'm the one you can talk to." So you didn't even get anybody get into anybody in programming. No, no, I couldn't get through to anyone else. I asked him, and he just kept. He said, "I'll handle it for you. I'll handle it. What you need?" Hmm. They take. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> you sound winded. Ah, no, I'm fine. No, they take your name or phone number or anything. They did take my name and phone number. And is somebody going to call you back? They said they would, but, you know, he kind of blew me off the whole thing. When did you call? Uh, earlier today. Oh. I did uh, record the conversation just in case. In case there was some kind of FCC regulations or anything like that came up. Can I recorded the call basically because I wanted to show my, my family that they apologized and they were sorry, but he didn't, he didn't apologize or anything. Yeah. 
Yeah, they did, and they laughed at it. Yeah, they blew it off. Can you uh, can you get that audio to your computer and send it to me? Uh, I can probably do that. Yeah. I can't air their part, but I can air your part. Yeah, yeah I can do that uh, right now. Which uh, email do I send it to? Uh, what is Rob's email? R M. Let me say it on the air. I guess you do. Hold on. Rob, is it okay to say your... Uh, hang on. Hang on, John. Right. Dan, give him Rob's email address. That way Rob can cut out anything that can't air. Yeah, that's a good idea. Blow him off. Mm-hmm. No that apology. That didn't happen. Nah. These are your ears. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Ridiculous. I mean, how can they just let it slide like that? Dirty mind. <laughs> Out of context. What's the proper context in which you can use that on television? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could tell he was combining concession with something else. Mm -hmm. It was a mistake, and it happens all the time. What I don't like about it is if I did it, right, I'd be sitting at home right now wondering what the hell's going to happen. You would. For some reason, if it's on television, especially on the news, yeah, you seem to get away with a little bit more. Channel 8 showing the black dingus floating, floating around in the background. That's one of the biggest ones, because that went by... This was a slip that, of the that wasn't Yeah, that wasn't live that television, wasn't live. the Channel 8 thing. No, it went by a bunch of people. A lot of folks saw that, edited it, produced it, approved it, aired it. Yeah. And then it ends up on television in slow motion. Mm hmm I forget who was in the foreground. Quincy Carter. Yeah. Whose weenie was that in the back? I don't... Yeah, I wouldn't admit to it either. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone ever admitted to it. No, because it wasn't a good one. <laughs> Wasn't a good one. It wasn't. It was about that big. Uh, yeah. But you know the weird thing about that is, is you know Cowboys players actually saw that video over and over, and you know they know whose it is. Well, well like, that doesn't make any difference. He Obviously, he walks around in the locker room naked all the time, so they've already seen it. Right, but they don't usually end up on TV. Mm -hmm. so you know that guy's not still... I, I would get a towel. I mean, that one was quite embarrassing. Yeah, I would too. Little bitty elephant trunk. Bouncy. So they got away with that. The black penis. Yes, they did. Slow motion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Channel 5 gets away with dropping the F-bomb yeah. when the lizard jumped on the black guy. I see a, I see a black theme here. Yeah. And then... Uh, New East Scruggs. Yeah. He drops the C-bomb. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets... Everybody's free and clear. Yes. It's funny. Yeah. Let me play the audio again. Because they all laugh at it. Is this it? Yeah, okay. Somebody gasps, and then somebody laughs. I think Mike Snyder is the gasp, and the, the laughing is, is Jane. Is yeah. Jane McGarry. Mm -hmm. The really deep voice is <clears throat> Jane. Thank you. Dowell left with the bases loaded, but Jesse Garcia makes the tag, I mean, makes the catch, then holding the runner at third. In the third, the Rangers out eight nothing. When David Delucci mm -hmm. comes through with the home run solo shot to right, not enough. Rangers lose tonight nine to six. There will be a new enemy to dieters at the ballpark this season today. The uh, concession oh stand unveiled the big hot dog, which is a half pound of all beef meat. The ballpark held a tour of the new... I still can't understand what he's saying. I can't tell. Something, Mike's going to love that one or something along those lines. That's what it sounds like. Maybe he's reacting to the hot dog that's on the screen. I'm going to love that. Uh, Trying to change the subject. Uh, they both react about the same time yeah. that the seat bombs drop. Yeah. Dieters at the ballpark this season. Today, the uh, concession stand unveiled the big hot dog, which is a half pound of all beef meat. The ballpark held a tour of the new menu today. Where's the spray? I have it over here. Do you want it? Please, just spray your butt. <laughs> it still smells from the... Uh, Pig's feet. Pig's I can't get that smell off my hands. That that brain or, or gland, whatever, whatever that gland was, was yeah. that that wet dog smell. It's not coming off. Did you touch it, Everett? No. How you feel, Chloe? I'm cool. Okay. Huh. Take this. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, let me take this and you can rattle off those emails. What is it, Tony? Tony. Yes. Hello. 
Hello? Hi. Go ahead, John. Oh, Kidoki, dear Russ, out of curiosity, how do you decide which companies do you, com- do you do commercials for? Do you just take the money and just talk about them? I understand you can't research everybody you talk about. I kind of like to know if you really trust these people or you just consider talking about them as part of your job. Love the show. Hate of the Grand Dragon. Yeah. No, I just take anything. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, it's you that takes anything. I do not quit it. You were doing spots for foundation repair. You ain't got a house. <laughs> <laughs> I researched them. I met with them. And they did a great job. You that doesn't no, mean I use everything. You got no house. That doesn't mean I use everybody. <laughs> I try and use everything that I do spots for. Well, I've tried Pro to. Pro flowers. In that case. Hoff brow. They wanted else? to be on the show, and I did a research, and they were some very good people. Who else do I do? DNM, the guys from uh, Digital Planet. Mm-hmm. I've turned down people before. In fact, they came came at me with uh, one that's uh, some type of wholesale. I don't say too much. Mm-hmm. Some type of organization you can get in and buy <laughs> stuff at wholesale prices. Got you. I'd heard about it before. I did some reading on it, and I'm not doing this. There have been several I've turned down. What do you turn down? I don't want to say too much. <laughs> i never seen you turn down anything. I've turned down several. What did you turn down? Well, that one that, that you turned down, they brought to me, I turned that down also. Well, you turned it down because I didn't want it. No, I turned it down. Because you knew because... you were going to look like a cheese bag. No, I, no one else would have ever known. Why? Well, let me turn the mics off. What did you turn down? Dang. There have been several others. Never heard you turn anything down. Totally. You used to dress like a pirate. Yeah. I love that game. <laughs> that was <laughs> Captain Morgan. Well, you don't drink now, so the, 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 I the know, shine's off of I it. I still yeah. have the costume. and it's, They didn't come back to get that? Never came got that thing, and that's really nice. It's got the sword. It's got the boots. It's got the leather. It's like a, uh, oh, what do you figure, a $2,000 costume? Every bit. I mean, it's identical to the bottle. Well, it came from Captain Morgan people. Uh, let's see. Who else have I turned down? I stopped doing spots for people because, uh, I stopped doing spots for somebody because they pissed JD off. Yep, you did. Yep. You know about that one ever? I did, absolutely. Oh, that's right. You were involved in the, the paperwork that went along with it. Yes. They screwed J.D. around on something. I stopped doing spots. Mm-hmm. And they didn't understand. No. Well, I don't understand what, what, what our relationship, I, because you screw, and if you screw J.D. around, you're going to screw around uh, listeners. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, no, there's a little bit of research. Normally. Research, we read, we mean, we mean. You don't do anything. You're doing spots for Amdro. You ain't got no yard. <laughs> I did research <laughs> with friends that actually enjoyed uses Amdro. Her dad does. They've got a big farm. They get a ranch. They use it every year. Uh-huh. And what about the foundation repair? I did quite a bit of research on them. They're very well known and very well respected. Do you know anybody whose foundation was actually repaired by Actually, them? I do. I met two people that. that and who was that? How did you find these people? Through them. <laughs> So what are they going to They're going to lie. These are people with houses. Through them. Yeah. Well, like they're going to send no, you to somebody. No, I just drove around and asked yeah. door to door. <laughs> like they're going to send you to somebody that says it sucks. Yeah. Uh, I want you to talk to a couple of these people. Uh, one of them's uh, my uh, brother-in-law and my yeah, sister. Yeah, yeah, this one has a judgment against me. Talk to them. <laughs> I don't talk to him because he don't know. Nah, he's, he's a jackass. Yeah. Um, the guy with a crooked house. Don't talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> it was that way when we found it. <laughs> You should, you should have seen it before we showed up. Uh, let's see. We've had people in the show before that didn't really care who they did spots for. Sure. My biggest thing, it's not really an ethical thing, I just don't want to do spots for somebody and then have some big class action sh- suit show up in the paper, mm-hmm. and I've been doing spots for them, you know, for the past three or four years. Like body solutions. Wow. Mm-hmm. Get my name attached to that. Federal Trade Commission got involved with that, too. Shut them down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was a huge account. Very big. Somebody you throw enough money at them, they'll do spots for anybody. Yeah. They actually threatened to go after the jocks on that one, didn't they? Did they? I think so. <sighs> I can't remember. I, d- I, I know when Dan Lewis said, and Dan lost weight. I don't know if it's because of the body solutions or what, but he was losing weight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it could be, you know, it's... You go back to the thing of, well, you don't eat after a certain time at night, and then you take your body solution. You drink two glasses of water yeah. before you go to bed. Well, immediately you've changed your eating pattern, and maybe that was a big part of it. I don't think it would have mattered. He could have been fat. He'd still take the cash. <laughs> Hold on. Hi, Lisa. 
Hey, Russ. I don't want to take up too much time on your show, but I wanted to say thank you for all of the years that you've made me laugh and made me think I'm moving away and I won't be able to hear the show. Where are you going? I'm going to Atlanta. And and um, who said? I'm sorry, what? Who said? Who said I was moving? Well, um, I'm getting married. And I also wanted to thank you for everything you've done for the police officers and firefighters. My dad's been a police officer for 30 years, and, um, you know, it kind of feels like you've really helped out, you know, the, our family, the police family. So oh. I wanted to say thank you for that as well. Uh, so your, your new husband lives in Atlanta? Yes, he does. What does he do? He is a web developer and a music producer. He's a what? Web developer and music producer. Why can't he do that here? Well, a lot of his artists are in Atlanta, and he just got a contract with Outkast's new label, and so they're going to have to stay there, and I'm going to go and be with them. Oh, okay. But through some really hard times, um, you know, I would listen to your show, and you make me laugh, and I wanted to say thank you. Um, to You're you. welcome. Good. All right, Russ, you idiot. <laughs> <That's my love>. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you let me keep her on the phone a little bit longer? <laughs> I thought it was a nice balance. Your solution uh, to cleaning up our airwaves and society is absurd. You want to ban parents from buying anything that the child might see. Why don't you think more about other people and less about yourself? If you actually stop and think about that... Mm -hmm. That makes more sense than banning anything that a child might see. If you're a parent, you don't get to buy premium cable channels. Yeah. Because right. you're the person that created this entire problem to begin with. You're having kids, and people are worried about what kids are going to see. Well, well, if a kid lives with you, you don't get Showtime. You don't get Cinemax. You don't get HBO. You like, don't get any type of video games. You don't get anything that a child might see that it might affect them. People are going to say, but I'm responsible. I know I know what my kids watch. I have the parental lock. And well, I use they, they don't. I they they want to make sure everything's sanitized so in case their kid, or so they can plant their kid someplace, yeah. and they don't got to worry about it. So as an adult who doesn't want to have kids, I get penalized. Because you're in the minority. You're right, you do. Not everybody has kids. So that's what I'm saying. You're in the minority of people. Most people do have kids. But not everybody. No, certainly not. Yeah, lots and lots of us don't have kids. Yeah. I, well, I know, but I'd say... Hang on a second. Dan, you got kids? What about you, Everett? None. Hello? Not that in All this right. room... In this room... <laughs> I'm in the minority. One out of five people ain't got no kids. <laughs> or uh, one out of... You got the math. Yeah. Yeah. You're in the minority in I this room. I certainly am in this room. You get a point. <laughs> minority. Yeah. That's like saying the ticket's number one in the building over on Maple. <laughs> in that room, they're number one. <laughs> yeah, well, there's And the they same. can scream about that all day. There's the same math working. But in this room, you're the minority. Yes, I am. Sucks, don't it? No, not really. <laughs> Chloe, go get me a cross. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we all got it. You're still in the minority. I'm still in the minority. <laughs> Why did you act shocked yesterday when J.D. told you that Kenny Chesney wouldn't do an interview because his concert had already sold out? You never do interviews or appearances unless you're getting something out of it. So what's the difference? How much money did you get for hanging out with your listeners at the White Trash Party? I didn't get anything. Well, the foundation did. But I didn't get nothing. No, you personally didn't. So I still think not doing interviews, even though your concert's all already sold out, I think it's chicken ass. Hmm. What yeah. happens when it don't sell out? Then they come on radio and go, hello. Well, then, then you don't let them on. I'm in town. Big show. Why wouldn't you want to at least appear to be the stand-up guy and come on the air and say, hey, I'm in town? And, you know, because... You know, they do sometimes. I would they, probably they, guess country artists are more apt to do that than rock or hip-hop. They, they do because they Wouldn't want... You? To, yeah. yeah, probably. They do it because they want to keep a relationship with the radio station. Because two or three months from now, the new single's going to come out. And if the music director and everybody in the station has met... Kenny Chesney, let's say. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna be more like, they add the song. So they, they, they keep a running relationship. I don't want to always get something when I go out. Let me think. No. I didn't get nothing at the white trash party. The foundation did, but you personally didn't. Did you get anything at the parade, police parade, other than just, you know, putting it on? Yeah, I didn't get nothing for that. Nope. I do a lot of stuff. Uh, Pro bono. Magnanimously. Yes. 
Is that right? Yeah. yeah. See? No. Yeah. Uh, country artists do too, for the most part. A lot of them do a lot of stuff for the military. They go over there, do, do perform. I know Toby Keith does shows that you never hear about. I hear about And that's, that's the way to do it. I'm more apt to support somebody like that who will go and do something yeah. that's not waving a flag on, look what I'm doing right now. Yeah. His road manager, David, told me that some of the shows they went to over when the war, as the war is continuing, yeah. they, they've done a bunch of free shows that you never read about in the paper. I just knew they were there because David would email me. Good. I got it. And finally, um, Russ, I was listening to the show the other day. It's your replay of the Friday before where you're going to blow up. <laughs> You'll, you will like this one. Russ, I was listening to the show the other day. It's your replay of the Friday before when you were going to blow up the station's dumpster with a new explosive with a bat symbol on it. All right. We never popped those either, did we? We never did. We got them right here. <laughs> What's what? he he? <laughs> Let me see. Have you seen it, Everett? I have not. Uh, hand me one, John. Sure. And, and, uh, hand me the whole bag first. Uh, don't pull it out. Okay, that's got one of the old ones in there. Okay, yeah. I want to show Everett one of the old ones. Okay. Here's a refresher. That's oh, the yes. old one. Okay. okay. Yes. This size blew the, the lid off the dumpster. I remember it very well. Okay. This is also the one that Rob blew up in Gavin's office that we're still suffering legal I understand. repercussions from. Mm -hmm. Blew all the ceiling panels out. Right. Here's the new one. Oh, my God. Is that, <laughs> is that with the same stuff in it, only yep. that much more? Yep. Yeah. And it's, what would you say, that's three times bigger? Three mm -hmm. times bigger. We're afraid to blow it up. I... You should be. Don't, even, don't. even in the dumpster. Yeah, that, that would probably launch the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to see it go off someplace. I do, too. All I right, really let's do, do it. Well, what's it going to do to a dumpster? First of all, the, the, the concussion is going to go up. So the worst it's going to do is blow the lid off. Yeah. It's metal. Let's go. Well, let's, I'm in. Maybe you have to wait a while. Let's do it now. If, if, the building, if the building's... you got to finish one. i got to finish this email. Well, then hang on to it. Okay. If the building's empty, nobody can prove that it wasn't a sound effect. That's right. That's true. It's a bit. Everybody's already at the... Everybody's, Everybody's already at the... Really? Yeah. Rob. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> yeah. Go run the building. If it's uh, completely empty... We'll pop one of these things. I'm sorry, dude. About? Tell me what you're talking about. I'm trying to do that audio. Or come in here. <laughs> <laughs> Go run the building and see if it's empty. Okay. If it's empty, we're gonna we're gonna pop one of these. I won't get fired? If nobody's here, they can't prove that it really happened. Okay. It's April. Plus, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it inside. Okay. Let me go check the building first. I don't want to. Hey, that's a good idea. Okay. Hey. All right. Nobody in the building? Nobody. Nobody that would rat us out. Okay. Make sure it's just cool kids. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Start again, John. Russ, I was listening to the show the other day. It was your replay of the Friday before where you were going to blow up the station's dumpster with that new explosive that had the bat symbol on it. Right after that, I slid off the road, rolled my Dodge truck and trailer five times. I've spent the last few days in the hospital. They say it will be several weeks before I'm back up to speed. I have several broken ribs, a concussion, and a cracked collarbone. I need to know, did you actually blow up the dumpster? <laughs> and how did it go? <laughs> Is that real? That's yeah, real. <laughs> I, and I know this guy because he's come out to my appearances before. He's brought us bread and stuff. He had a huge bread truck. It was like a 30-foot trailer. What's the name on it? Uh, Don Greenlee. Donnie Green. But he's all right? He's apparently, other than the broken ribs and concussion and the cracked collarbone <laughs> and the fact that he rolled his truck in his trailer five times, he wants to know how, how the dumpster explosion went. Not all to right. mention the unresolved suspense, yeah. Yeah. All right. <sighs> we'll see if we can answer his question. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Speed 
it, buy it, and don't look back. The Russ Martin Show on Live. 105.3. It's Sybil from the Pugs and Kelly Show. Join me this Sunday from noon to 2 p.m. at Sports City Cafe, 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard in Mesquite, and we're going to be there for a big NASCAR watching party. I'll have your NASCAR tickets out there for the Texas Motor Speedway, including tickets to the Bush Qualifying Race, the IROC Series, and NASCAR Qualifying Tickets. Also, tickets to the O'Reilly 300 Bush Series Race. So join me, Sybil, from the Pugs and Kelly Show this Sunday from noon to 2 p.m. at Sports City Cafe in Mesquite, 3808 Town Crossing Boulevard with the Alternative Talk Station, live 105.3. Hey, honey? Yeah? Should we add one or two more lines on our new America's Choice Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless? Who's the third for? Uh, Marcy. Don't you think she's too young? She's not too young to tie up my phone for hours. Maybe she could tie up her own. How much? $9.99 monthly access per line. Only $9.99? Yeah. Well, her birthday's coming up. And I'll get my phone back. Okay, but get one for Natalie, too. Well, she's only 13. Yeah, but she can already talk her head off. I thought I saw something roll by. Pick it up, Brad. Pick up the new Family Share Plan from Verizon Wireless, now with no roaming charges, and you'll get two lines for only $59.99 monthly access. And you can add a line or up to three for just $9.99 each. So sign up today at a Verizon Wireless communication store or inside Circuit City and join America's best, most reliable wireless network. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Subject to two-year customer agreement, $15 activation, and $175 termination fee per line. Other charges and restrictions. Coverage not available everywhere. W's new home of NASCAR is live 1053. Here comes Kurt Busch like he was shot out of the cannon. All the cards are on the table. Here comes Jeff Gordon looking for the checkered flag. Martin leads at the end of the backstretch. They go down into turn three. But Carl Edwards dives to the inside and takes a look at one. Trouble along the back straightaway. Carl Edwards got into Dale Earnhardt Jr. The stars of NASCAR call us home. This is Matt Kenseth. This is Jason Leffler. This is Johnny Andretti. This is Bobby Labonte. Hi, this is Kyle Busch. This is Ryan Newman. This is Terry Labonte. Hi, Ken Schrader. This is Jimmy Johnson. Racing has a new home on Live 105.3. Racing like you've never heard before. Brought to you by RodneyAnderson.com. Dish Direct. Bell Bottoms. Best Western Texas. Coors Light. The Chevy Colorado Crew Cab. Driver Select. Sat Pro Network. And Sports City Cafe. DFW's home of NASCAR and Texas Motor Speedway is live 105.3. It's another early morning. Time to get up with the sun. It's time to pack up the truck and get ready for another long day. That's right. The NASCAR Bush Series is in town. And the only thing you'll be working this weekend is the grill. So grab your friends and some cold bush beer. And get ready to party well into the night. Because a fan's love of the race has no finish line. Easy drinking Bush Light for 24 years running. Proud sponsor of the NASCAR Bush Series. Speed ruled. Fan fueled. Head for the mountains of Bush Beer. Anheuser Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Please drink responsibly. Catch the excitement and fun of a NASCAR Bush Series race on April 16th at Texas Motor Speedway. Brought to you by Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light. Bush, the proud sponsor of the NASCAR Bush Series. You've been in a car wreck, you've been in a motorcycle accident, 18-wheeler wreck, whatever it is, bankruptcy maybe. Call 1-800-THE-DOGS, 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S, legal representation with Bites. They're going to handle your car wreck. Also, a few things they want you to know about bankruptcy. You don't have to give up your home or your vehicle if you file. Chapter 13 and Chapter 7 both allow you to reorganize, reorganize some of your debts and pay everybody off, but they'll do it in three to five years, so they can stop... Uh, foreclosures, they can stop wage garnishments, they'll, they'll work out your situation with the IRS. It's so much easier to have a lawyer doing all that than trying to do it yourself and making yourself sick and people calling your house all the time. Bankruptcies, car wrecks, one number to call, 1-800-THE-DOGS. It's legal representation with BITE, also known as the Frankels, Frankel and Frankel. 1-800-T-H-E-D-O-G-S. Go ahead, Bill. Hi, we're the Pattersons, and uh, we switched to Fair and Flexible at Sprint because our old wireless company charged us huge fees for going over the minutes in our plan. So if your mom called, you think, is it worth it? I mean, is a 20-minute conversation about what the cat did today worth it? I mean, come on, Mom. It's a cat. So you switched. He switched. Yeah, Mom, and I'm glad I did. 
No more huge overages. The Sprint PCS Fair and Flexible Plan for Families automatically adds anytime minutes as you need them. Start with two lines and share 800 anytime minutes for just $70 a month. And every 100 extra anytime minutes cost just $5. Sprint PCS. Now that's better. Offer N61205. Requires two-year agreement per line and preferred credit. Taxes and Sprint surcharges excluded. Activation and termination fees apply. See store for details. Hey, it's Bugs. And Kelly. From the Midday Show on the Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. You know, when it comes time to get a new car, Autoflex Leasing in Richardson and Arlington has the best deals in the country. Do you know why, Bugs? It's because they're like me, easy, quick, and cheap. Autoflex Leasing is a direct leaser, so you can lease direct and save. Their exclusive Flex Lease is a lease purchase program where you can lease your car, save 40 to 50% off your car payment, and at the end of your lease, you can buy it or simply walk away. Leasing is cheaper than buying, and the smart people quit buying their cars years ago. Think for a minute. You can get more car for less money and, depending on the term, always be in warranty. Let's hear that again. You will always be in warranty. Now, isn't that a nice feeling? Yes, it is, Pugs. Autoflex Leasing makes it simple. That's 817 or 972 area codes 234-1234. Finally, find out why Autoflex Leasing has become the number one choice of smart customers. Remember, it's easy, it saves you money, and you'll get the best lease available at Autoflex Leasing. It's 817 or 972-234-1234. Make that call today and be driving your new car tomorrow. I'm Johnny Carrabba. And I'm Damien. Carrabba's Italian Grill is getting ready for dinner. It's not your typical Italian. Our ancestors are from Sicily. They came in the late 1800s. They had first-class tickets on the Boeing 747. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> they wanted a better opportunity, so that's why they left Sicily. Our family migrated to Texas, and we made our homes in the South. There's a lot of correlation between Sicily and Texas. You've always heard of Southern hospitality, but here, our hospitality is doubled. Like Carrabba's Italian Grill, it's kind of like Southern hospitality meets Southern Italian hospitality. <laughs> Rob is from the Corleone area. It's a real Sicilian name. Growing up, people always had a hard time pronouncing my name. People chop it up pretty good. You know, Carabba, Carababa, Caramba. It's a really easy name to pronounce. It's Carabba. Come to Carabba's for dinner. Enjoy chicken marsala, garlic mashed potatoes, and a little touch of Southern hospitality. At Carabba's Italian Grill, it's not your typical Italian. Ciao, y'all. Visit Carabba's in Preston Center, one block southwest of Preston Road and Northwest High Way. DMW's number one talk lineup is Howard Stern, Hugs and Kelly, Russ Martin, Tom Likas, and Love Live. This is KLLI, Dallas, Fort Worth, Live 105.3. Now, back to the Russ Martin Show. Here are the rules for calling the Russ Martin Show. Do not call and ask for phone numbers or websites. Do not call with a joke you saw in a movie, on TV, on a bumper sticker, on the internet, or you heard in the 8th grade. Do not call and ask for advertisers' phone numbers. Call information and ask them. Do turn your radio down. Do get to the point. Practice in front of a mirror before calling. Do not waste time telling Russ your name. He's far too important and busy. You won't remember it anyway. If you understand these rules, call Russ now at 2 214-787-1053. Dan, call over to Fire Station 47. See if they'll come over here and uh, <laughs> they're not going to supervise. That. They're not going to do that. With the uh, control detonation. <laughs> yeah. The smaller ones, I don't mind because yeah. we know what they're going to do in we the dumpster. No, yes. These, it's a, it's three times the size of the old ones. Yeah. Who know? Yeah. You don't know. You blow that thing up, and next thing you know, there's a a, a, a mushroom cloud, no. and there ain't nothing left of us but shadows. <laughs> and you got six more weeks of winter. <laughs> <laughs> the groundhog. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's not. Here. Then you go light I'm one. not lighting one. I yeah. don't even like holding these. I know. It even looks scary. Yeah. I'm not too. Looks like something Wile E. Coyote would have. It's almost cartoon-esque. Yeah, maybe a little bigger. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? Four of these? And then we got one of the old ones. One of the small ones. Which used to be the big one. That used to be the big one. Oh, those um, are cute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what am I doing this weekend? Maybe I'll take one out to the country, blow it up, and tell you what it does. 
and then we can get a gauge whether we want to do one in here. You're the last person that needs one of those, JD. Yeah, yeah he's not right. that I know, but I just know somewhere he's, out the country I can go. He's right. Okay. You hurt yourself plenty without it. Then let's do it here. That's a great idea. Right here in the studio. Let's go. We, we know what they do inside. I know. We don't want that. No. No. Rob's still dealing with that. Mm-hmm. Did you call him? Yeah, they uh, they said they can't make it because they just finished dinner, and right after dinner, they always have some sort of, uh, according to his words, a chiefy meeting. So they have a meeting after dinner. But they said if anything gets out of hand, they'll be the first ones here. Okay. Great. Well, that's good to know that the fire department will show up for a fire. They're not, yeah. they're not 45 seconds away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you laughing at? They just put them on call. Oh, yeah, just... Have them on have them on the line when we blow it up. That way you can go, you know, everything's fine, everything's not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everything's not? <laughs> yeah. What's the really, honestly, besides the shadows on the wall thing, what's really going to happen? I, I don't know. It's going to blow the lid off the thing, and it's, all, this, all the blast is going to go straight up. What is this? That's that phone call I got. Um, From the guy? Yeah. Bitch at the Channel 5? Yeah. Oh. How is, is it any good? It just says the story. Oh. Okay. It's taunting you, isn't it? I got to see what it does. Just keep looking over at the bag, looking over at the bag. It's weighing on you. Praying on me. It is. And JD's right. Nothing's going to happen inside the dumpster. No. no. It's going to be perfectly fine. Rob, was there anybody in the building that would rat us out? Possibly. in the world could be here at 7 o'clock on a Friday night? I don't know. Oh, I know who's here. I don't want to say that. Oh. <clears throat> I guess I could blow up my backyard. Mm, no. Why? Well, you live in a city. Yeah, people are going to call that in. And you're going to have to explain to the authorities, which you happen to know, so... What is it, Dan? Say, so just toss it over your the backyard, toss it over the fence, onto the golf course. Make them prove it was you. Yeah. Find the fingerprints on the pieces. Yeah, that ain't mine. Mm-hmm. This place got plenty of flying things. Yeah. Four hundred thousand witnesses. Ah. Yeah. Flying possums, flying fireworks. It happens. That ain't mine. <clears throat> Throw it next door into the Dallas Cowboys backyard. Let's don't do that. No. And they go running. Mm-mm. Who's on the hotline? That's Johnny from Operation Kindness. <laughs> All right, let me do this really quick, and I'll decide what to do with the fireworks. Hi, Johnny. Hey, Russ. What do we have this week at Operation Kindness? We have 19 puppies under 12 weeks of age. All right, what kind? All kinds, including six beautiful golden retriever mix puppies. Their mom was a golden. They, they're mainly golden looking, and there are three girls, three boys. They're eight weeks old. They just came in from the foster home today. They are beautiful. We also have two little Chihuahua mix puppies. What what uh, breed? What sex? On um, the Chihuahuas. Yeah. You know, I didn't even look because I wasn't going to mention them. But we'll I just, go look really talking quick. Talking to you, I just had to say. Are that. you at the shelter? Uh huh. We'll go look really quick. Well, I had to put you on hold. That's fine. It's well, just funny to me that you're going to look go look between dog legs and come back and tell me something. <laughs> I can look at their cage cards. I don't have to look between legs. <laughs> so. And get somebody else to look for me. No, nah, I don't really care. I don't need another I one. know. See, I'm not bugging you about that anymore. How old were they? Oh, I think they're probably about nine weeks old. The Chihuahua puppies? Mm-hmm. Oh, I got to get one that's already grown into its head. <laughs> I know you don't like those big-headed Chihuahuas. Those apple dome Chihuahuas? That's yeah. got to be one of the ugliest breeds of dog. You know, I showed you that last one we had that was awfully cute. But uh, I forgot what that one was. It was a cute one. That's all I know. Yeah. We is that a male or female? I don't. I just don't like male dogs. I don't like rubbing a belly and hitting a, and a, a Peter. Mm-mm. Yeah, you, you've mentioned that. So I don't tell you about any of the male chihuahuas. We always have lots of chihuahuas up here. But um, Why is that? You know, I don't know. I really don't know. A lot of people get chihuahuas and give them up, I guess. Uh, we just seem to have a bunch of them. Chihuahuas and chihuahua mixes. and I don't know. They're uh, not- what, what's the story on Happy? Is he gone now with that old lady? 
she he is doing great. She called me about a week and a half ago, and he was doing great. She took him up to the vet for a, a checkup, and she's feeding him turkey bacon and Wendy's hamburgers, and he's doing great. Good. So they'll both be on in about three years. <laughs> yeah. They both have much longer than that. So. She don't. Mm-hmm. Well, she probably has longer than he does. I don't think so. But he's doing good. I miss the little guy in my office. But. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else you guys need? Well, I uh, was going to mention that uh, we're going to be at Starbucks on Beltline at Marsh tomorrow from noon till 3 with some adoptable dogs and uh, just a booth set up outside Starbucks. So if anybody's out that way wants to stop by, they can do that. Okay. That's it? All right. Okay. All right. The website is operationkindness.org. The phone number is 972-418-PAWS, 418-PAWS. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Rob wants to know what if somebody else that's not a station employee were to ignite the bat of might, the firework. What about Everett? Well, he's had somebody else that's not associated with the radio station in any way, shape, or form offer, and they're close. I like that idea better than Everett. A friend of the show? A friend of the show. I'm going to mouth out who it is. You can tell me if I'm right. Is it Mondo? <laughs> it's not Mondo. <laughs> <laughs> Like an idiot, I pull my headphones off. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear that. Uh, uh, let me turn it. Do you know who it is? Yes, I do. All right. I still think if we instigate it, okay. they're going to come after me. Okay. Rob's <laughs> do what? What? I said, I'll do it. But if I go to jail, you got to get me out. Uh-huh. And I can't get fired. I'm still fielding the heat on the last go round because I had to take part of the responsibility when Rob blew up the thing in Gavin's office. Yes. I went, tell him I did it. And Rob, being a jackass, wouldn't tell him that I told him. I know. Protect you. Yeah, and Rob he, was, was taking responsibility. I went, they're not going to do anything to me. Right. But he still took part of the heat for it. Well, I'll handle the first part of that if you can handle the second. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, getting, getting him out of jail. Getting him and, out of jail and you take the heat. Yeah. And I go home early. <laughs> Who's on line four? That is Scott. He's the one that made you the bat bombs. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hi, Scott. Hey, Russ. What do you make these things out of? Um, just cardboard tube, uh, flash powder. It's made out of uh, aluminum powder and potassium perchlorate. And wh- why do you make these? Uh, just for fun. I let them off on uh, Fourth of July and on uh, New Year's. Now, are, are these just like concussion bombs? Yeah, that's what, exactly what they are. Like uh, to run birds out of trees? Yeah. All right, what about the, um, what about the bat bomb? Uh, I just printed the, that bat symbol off and pasted it on there and sent it to you. It's just around a regular cardboard tube. And what do you think is going to happen in the dumpster? I wouldn't let it off in the dumpster because of the risk of fire. I'd let it off right out, like on a concrete slab. you feel feel more of the concussion that way. So it would be dangerous to do it in the dumpster? Well, there's a possibility of fire because the fuse is very short. Uh, it's not a short fuse, but it, it lasts 36 seconds per feet. And uh, you've got a few seconds there, and, and it may catch a fire. Hang on, let me look at the, the fuse. The fuse looks like it's about six inches. Yes. All right, so how many seconds does six inches buy me? Um, about 18 seconds. Oh, that's plenty of time. Yeah, but that also could catch a fire in there if there's any paper or anything like I that. I don't care about inside the dumpster. Yeah. But to feel the full effect, you let that out on a, a slab. I let one or two off here on New Year's Eve in my apartment, and it was just crazy. Shook the building. Mm. Oh, we got to do this. Now, it's not... You, those little ones... Those regular M80 size? Yeah. They're, they're loud. This is not four times as loud. It's about twice as loud. It's not actually the size doesn't Well, the other one blew the, the, the lid off the top of the dumpster. Yeah. I remember seeing that. All right. All right. Thanks, Scott. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We got it. We don't got it. Yeah, we got it. No, we don't got it. The power of the bomb compels us. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? I don't know. That's an Andy Griffith thing, isn't it? Yeah. The power of something compels yeah. you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can't remember which episode's on. <laughs> what do you think, Dan? 
Yeah, let's vote. God. <laughs> it's a yes for Dan. <laughs> I'm, man. You got to go. Home? No, you got to we got to do this. I don't want to. Everett's right. We've been we've been compelled. Oh, there's no, nothing compelling about this. Count is Fandelecki told us to do it. <laughs> you know that one? I don't know what that is. That's another Andy Griffith. Oh, okay. yeah. We are so close to the weekend. Please. All we got is four minutes. I beseech thee. Yeah, I beseech me all you want. <laughs> and on your way out, light one of these. I ain't lighting nothing. How about this? Your truck is running. Yes. You light it and you drive off. Oh, no, no, no. I don't light it. Why? No. I don't know. I don't do well with any form of risk. I don't do well on beaches or stages. <laughs> but we've never tried fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> this, could, this could be your expertise. You could be the the the, the, the czar of, of fire. I'm preferring not to. Thank you. Take it, czar. I don't want to. <laughs> Russ is right, though. It's the routine stuff that causes you trouble. This Risk is... may be your friend. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> Why am I the only one that doesn't want to do this and y'all looking at me? As big as this thing is, I'll guarantee you we could show, sh uh, shut every door in this building and we'd be still be able to hear it from the dumpster Ooh. all the way back into this soundproof There's studio. No doubt in my mind. None. You can borrow Mally's lighter. No, I'm not doing anything. Come on, John. <laughs> No, I'm not doing it. Quit looking at me. No. You got lots of people willing. You got O'Malley flicking the bick over Yeah, there. but w we always do this stuff. You do something. I'm not doing this. We want you to do it. Yeah. Good for you. Counselor. Mm -mm. Come on. No, quit it with the come on thing. I feel like I'm in the clubhouse <laughs> and I'm doing, I'm back in the fraternity days. Do it. Yeah. Run, man. What, you want to be in the fraternity or not? Yeah. No. Come on. I'm not doing it. Do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Corona drinker over there, why don't you do it? Go, Jack. <laughs> Everybody's got a lighter. Have you been, have you been drinking? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> this person that could rat us out is the. Because you know who he's talking about, right? I do. I, I do. What's our percentage of getting ratted? Pretty high, if it's who I'm thinking. Yeah. Do we have to take one more break before Lycus? Just a very small one. All right, let's we, do it. We go right into Lycus. Nah, we'll take we'll take a small break and then I'll uh, we'll decide. Plus, we need to run a mic outside really quick. Okay. All right, we'll be back. We'll be back to the Russ Martin Show. Like nothing you've ever heard before. The Russ Martin Show on Live 1053. How do you make a Sunday? With TV Week and the Dallas Morning News. Every Sunday, TV Week highlights the biggest shows and names you'll be tuning into. TV critic Ed Bart grades his weekly pick, and the color coded 24 hour TV listings makes finding any show a cinch. Got satellite or digital cable? That's cool. We got that covered too. Just grab a friend, TV Week, and let the viewing begin. TV Week in the Sunday Dallas Morning News. It's how you make a Sunday. It's the end of How Can All That Food Fit Into One Man's Stomach? Brought to you by Racetrack. Friday, 722 a.m. Evan Brown was a normal-sized man buying an abnormal amount of food. That's three 100% beef hot dogs, one bacon, egg, and cheese taquito, one French toast and sausage taquito, one chicken taquito, and one beef taquito. 99 cents each. In case you forgot, it's 722 a.m. <laughs> No matter how much people stare at me every morning, I would never eat all this food at once. No, he'd wolf them down like an underfed raccoon. I work construction, so I have to buy my breakfast and lunch in the morning. Evan, buy all the 99-cent racetrack hot dogs and taquitos you want. We just don't know where you folks stick them to lunch. And frankly, we don't want to. In my pocket. On the crown of my head. Beneath my hard hat. Above my ear like a pencil. At racetrack, four out of five construction workers find all the delicious 99-cent taquitos and hot dogs they need to make two full meals. A variety of breakfast, lunch, and dinner taquitos. And 100% beef hot dogs with all the toppings. Only 99 cents each. So, Evan. Yes? Keep going to racetrack, where the hot dogs and taquitos come in more varieties than one man has places to hide them. I keep them on my dashboard. He does. Weekends are a lot more exciting on Live 105.3. Jimmy Johnson in the middle group. Carl Edwards looking for the lane on the outside. There's no to tail off the corner. Literally touching bumper. Johnson tries to squeeze him. Edwards to the outside. Jimmy Johnson.
Johnson to the inside. Edwards riding the rim on the top side of the racetrack. Down to the stripe. They touch. Edwards at the line. Beats Jimmy Johnson. DFW's home of NASCAR and Texas Motor Speedway is the Alternative Talk Station. Live 105.3. KLLI. Dallas, Fort Worth. Live 105.3. Is that Rob? Yeah. Hold on. How far is the mic? Can we get out to the dumpster? Yeah. Where are you right now? Give me one minute. All right. What is it, Dan? What? JD's on the hotline. What, what is it? Nothing. I'm saving you from yourself. Say it again? I'm saving you from yourself. Why? I got the fireworks. Where are you? I'm in my truck. Pulling out of the driveway. Rob. Hey, Rob can't hear you. Rob. Rob's right here beside me. Rob, I ain't stopping. I ain't stopping. Move out of the way. Get tell Rob to get out from front of the front of the truck. I don't want to. Move. I'm telling you, move. Okay. I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful weekend. What? Bring me back my fireworks. I'm bringing you back your fireworks. I'm saving you from yourself. You know this is stupid, and I know this is stupid. It's not stupid. It's stupid. It's very well thought out. It's not <laughs> for the moment thought out. No, what's stupid is announcing to the police that you're driving around with illegal fireworks. Oh, yeah. Jesus, thank you, Everett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because those are illegal, right? Simple possession is a fine of up to two grand in okay, Dallas. Okay, I'm coming back down the house. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> really rough. What? You want me to come back? It's up to you. Don't make this up to me. This is not up to me. Are you coming back or not? I'm coming back down here, but I'm just going to leave the power to get out of here. All right, fine. Run off. Do you really think this is wise, honestly? No, it's not wise. That's why we're doing it. Uh, I didn't get to be number one by being wise. <laughs> Jackass. Wouldn't be fun if it was wise. Yeah. There's a the gate. I'm <laughs> coming back in. That's good audio. <laughs> So what do you think? Can we do this and not get popped? It's, it's, as long as you're not going to get it. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think, Everett? In, in the past, I would have given a rat's ass, hey, let's run outside and, and do this thing. But because Rob almost got fired last time, I'm afraid it's coming back on him somehow. My palms are sweating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to go, Dan? I was going to say, that's just Everett's way of saying I'm not lighting it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we should do it, understand, of course. But right. My, but, you, but you don't want to do no. it. No. How about this? We'll light it. We just won't say who actually lights it. Yeah. And then we just make a pact. No one tells. Yeah. Are there any cars around the dumpster? Bit of a car. I don't care about that one. Closest. No, I don't care about the station vans. <laughs> don't throw those at me! Oh, Jesus, JD! Ah. Yeah, the bag comes flying over at me. You, her. 
throwing explosives at us. Dan, you want to light it? I'm not saying who's lighting it. What do you throw these at me for? They're not lit. I don't make any difference. I don't know how these things go off. Do what? They don't go off on impact. Well, then this shouldn't bother you. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that wasn't very funny. Why are you out of breath? Because I ran back here. If you guys want to get my better judgment. You know what? It's after 7 o'clock. We don't get credit in the ratings for popping this. That's right. We good. should wait till Monday. Very good call. Just uh, tell me, Rob. Light the bag. <laughs> <laughs> With all four of them in there? No. <laughs> no, not all yeah. four. Not all four. <laughs> Why light the bag? All right. I hate to come off like a pussy, and I really would like to be the leader of the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. But I'm not lighting this crap. Good. We'll do it Monday. We'll do it before 7 o'clock. So if something happens, at least I get credit in the ratings. I love Tom Likas, yes. but I, I'm not... It's, no. Good call. There we go. There's our tease for Monday. On Monday, I guarantee one of these will go off. Okay. All right. Ready, Dan? I am. Okay. Or should I do it now? Yes. No. I won't see it Monday. Also, Monday, we can have video cameras here. Mm-hmm. Because this is something people are going to want to see. I agree. That's true. If you can film it, that's cool. All right. Don't look at me like that. No. Where the hell did you think you were going with these? Home. Away. Until Eric announces to the police I'm not driving around with them in there. He's trying to help you out. Yeah. They love you enough. They just stop me. <laughs> All right. Ready, Dan? Yes. Okay. Let me get your music. All right, for more information about the Russ Martin Show, pictures, links, video, and more, just go to RussMartin.com. To get answers to any question you might have about the show, go to RussMartin.info. 20 seconds, and this thing's really over. <laughs> I mean, really, you light it, it goes off, and we get the hell out of Let's here. Let's do it. Ever heard? Yes. We were so close. It's after 7. You're not going to get credit for any of this. But he's already gotten credit for everyone waiting over the last hour for it to happen. <laughs> and some things have inherent value. It's not about credit. That's an image thing. I don't want the kids to think that I'm a pussy. <laughs> Nobody thinks that. I got my camera. Video camera? Aww. See, we got a bad video camera. We, got, we, we have no reason not to do it now. Excellent. Every reason not to do it. It's in the dumpster. Nothing's going to happen. Plus, here's another thing. If you wait till Monday, there, you can rest assured there are going to be people here watching because they're going to know it's coming. Now, everybody's at the arty thing. Yeah, and they're, Nobody's they're, around. There are no witnesses. Monday, they're going to be ready for it. Right. And, of course, there'll be no way to catch us Monday because we'll have video on the Internet. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah, that'll help you think. Yeah. <laughs> think loss of impulse control. Have some more. Is that a person that would rat us out still in the building? Why don't you just go ask them if we do this? Are you going to rat us out? Because right. honestly, the, the biggest thing I'm concerned about is just coming back to Rob. Because mm -hmm. they, were, they were about to pop him well, Rob, this last go-round. Rob just has nothing to do with it, then we're all set. No way, shape, or form. So let's just wait. He'll come back, and we'll find out. If this person says they won't rat us out, then we're going to drop one of the uh, goose eggs. It's not that big of a deal. No. It's very thrilling. It is for me. Because I know what one, a third of the size yes. will do. I saw it. I think he's gone. Well, if they're gone, then we got no reason not to there do this. There was a car leaving the same time I was hauling out. Really? Yeah. Let me, let me turn the mics off. What is it, Rob? 
you are such a pussy if you don't like that. I've been driving around in circles for an hour and a half. <laughs> you know what? Give me a little credit for having a little bit of, a little bit of safety conscious. conscious. Buddy, I can't go home. I can't sit in my driveway. My wife will come out and want to know what I'm doing. <laughs> It's not my Come fault. On, you got no control over your household. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do it. All right. Is the building clear? Rob, are we clearing the building? I feel like I'm about to detonate a build, uh, 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 drop a building down. I know, we're not. Rob, are we clear or not? I need a yes or a no. Slow down. Yeah. Nobody, nobody left. We're fine as far as the people that are here. All right, Dan, take it out. You going to do it? Oh, Jesus. You want me to video it? Uh, I don't care what you do. Right. Don't turn the lights off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll hand this to whoever's going to light it. <laughs> <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Let me make sure the mic's still on out there. All right, we're good. Go. In the dumpster? Yeah, in the dumpster. We got a water hose handy. There's one out there, yes. All right. I kind of want to go out there and watch. <sighs> well, go watch. I don't want to stay here. Well, go watch. You can do the play-by-play. -play. I can hear you out there. Right. Get get Rob's headphones from him. You better you better hurry. <laughs> it's going to be loud in here. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, it's in. Sound like he lit it. it did. Yeah. Maybe he didn't. I guess not. Between those cars. They got 18 seconds. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is he ready? He is ready. All right. He's standing right by. Right All right. The mic is pretty close. Right next to the I'm about 50 feet away <laughs> behind the car. Are you ready? Are you ready, Russ? Yeah, let it go. Right, let it go. Okay, whoever it is that's got it is lighting it. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we have... Oh, uh, it blew out. Hold on. I'm watered in. We have... Fire in the hole. Okay, here we go. In about five seconds. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right, bye. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Rob Riddlemoser from the Russ Martin Show, and I've got your hometown dealer, Lone Star Pontiac Buick GMC General Manager Ken Johnson on the phone. KJ, they called me away from the gym, said I had to get to the station to record this spot. What? is going on at Lone Star. Well, I tell you what, at Lone Star, Rob, we're not fooling around. They came and got you from the gym because even though it's April Fool's, guess what? We're not fooling around. We've got up to $18,000 off. These 04 Yukons, i got to get rid of them. Sierra 1500s and 2500s. Take half the MSRP. 1500s, 2500s. Take half the MSRP. i got to get rid of 30 of them. i got to get rid of them this weekend, Rob. Tell all your buddies in Russ Martin Land to come see us. 1-866-8-LONE-STAR. 1-866-8-LONE-STAR. Star exit 39 off 75 north or online lone star autos with an s.com and i'm spreading word around the station i think you're going to have some people coming up to see you from uh, klli kj so are you ready for the craziness from around the world at baby dolls every sunday night get in free with sports ticket stubs and watch all sports all the time on 100 plasma tvs including nascar baby dolls 21st annual dance contest is every sunday night ladies call or show up by 8 p.m to enter first place winner gets 500 cash weekly Plus prizes from sponsors like EliteTrends.com, the audio visual experts, Planet Tan, Electric Boutique, Bacardi Products and Piper Champagne, Intellinet, Skin Technology, Baseball Diamonds, SimulationToolbox.com, and Prestige Hummer Limos. You'll never know who might be in the audience. Maxim Magazine and Playboy were here last year. Get in free with sport ticket stubs and watch all sports all the time on 100 Plasma TVs. Baby Doll Saloon, 10250 Shady Trail in Dallas. Baby Dolls. 214-358-5511. Don't miss the free lunch buffet weekdays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Baby Dolls. Hey, fam. 
Advance Auto Parts. No matter when or where, Advance Auto Parts. Whatever's waiting there. If you're looking for more in an auto parts store, get ready. Advance Auto Parts is working harder to make our stores better than the rest. Get ready for a cleaner, brighter, better place to shop. Get ready for an auto parts store that's better organized so you can easily find what you're looking for. Get ready for free do-it-yourself brochures. Get ready for Advance TV, our exclusive video how-to network, and other in-store innovations you won't find anywhere else. When you want more than just another auto parts store, the first place to go is Advance Auto Parts. Around these parts, trouble doesn't stand. And the chance for the best parts, people and prices were ready in advance. Bring it on for the best parts, people and prices were ready in advance. K L L I Dallas Fort Worth. I know you are, but what am I? It's all about morals and values, and we're proud to say we have none. The Alternative Talk Station is live 105.3. Join the Alternative Talk Station live 105.3. And bell bottoms for the Texas Motor Speedway's Total Access NASCAR Pre-Race Show. Hosted by Brad Gilley. Bell Bottoms is located at 8407 Grapevine Highway at Harwood in North Richland Hills. And was voted the best NASCAR bar in Tarrant County. Every Wednesday night it's Channel 15. With three dollar, you call and set bell bottoms. Every Thursday night, bell bottoms has jet black, one dollar domestic drafts, and two dollar wells. And tonight, April first, it's DJ John's April Foolish Party. And it's the craziest, un.